away. Yeah. Gaming show where we're gonna see our beloved new footage, new gameplay, all capital gameplay in the chat, chat, all capital gameplay in the chat. Whenever you get a fucking chance, gameplay footage, gameplay footage. Ah, no, no. Curie Master! Let me go ahead and solve a puzzle real quick to start my day. Never mind, I'm looking at the puzzle, I don't want to do it. <laughs> Why does that look so annoying? Why does this puzzle look so annoying? Mainframe. Mainframe. Get pixel blocked it in. Oh my god, get pixel blocked it in. Before the before you even get to see the puzzle, get pixel blocked it in. Look at it. Can you guys see it? Unpixel blocked it? Oh my It's barely god. any different. Yo! Okay, guys. All right, guys. Let's get to, let's get to work here. First and foremost, let me get some love in a goddamn for Chops Games, for Devil Burns Trees, with the big boy twenty three schmunts like it's fucking schnutting, like it's fucking schnutting. Mm. All right, guys. Twenty two. Make Alex touch the right wall. Make Alex touch the right wall. Very simple. There might actually be too simple. Might be too simple, to be honest. A lot of people ask me about this technique right here. A lot of people ask me. Um, a lot of people ask about this technique. Okay, here it goes. Boom. A lot of people ask about this technique. A lot of people ask about this technique. Oh my God. Ah, but when you're good, you're good, chat. When you're good, you're good. When you're good, you're good. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I wasn't done yet. Damn it. Oh, you got, oh, the pick, guys. <laughs> such a professional streamer. I'm such a, I couldn't tell the difference looking in the OBS. I couldn't tell the difference, guys. I couldn't tell the difference. You distracted me, guys. Stop distracting me while I work. Jesus, God. Let me get some love in the goddamn chat for Spinal Fluid, my OG. Fucking fellow extraordinary, extraordinary boomer over here. God damn it. Right by my side, though, in the zombie apocalypse. Right by my fucking side. Ain't that right, Spinal? Tier 3 with the 54 months. Now stop blowing up in the... <laughs> if you weren't ready for that. <laughs> Yo, you motherfuckers weren't ready for that. You weren't ready for that oh, mix up right there. Yeah. You weren't ready for the mix up. <laughs> now we gotta do this one again though. Oh my god. Oh my god, she's only oh I got it. I got it. All I gotta do, I gotta draw a fucking big ass thing right here. Boom. 
Godzilla's tail, boom, kick flip over the head. A lot of people ask. A lot of people ask. Guys, what rhymes with uh, Bluff Yukin? Tony Yukin! Come on! All right, we got to do another one. That wasn't it. That was that wasn't it. Down 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 down. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Bro, I know what I want to do. Save her. Save her. Save her. Incredible. the me to the strike to the. Um. I'm going to say everybody's name different today, by the way. When you guys sub, I'm saying all your names different. I'm inventing new names for you guys. Uh, so, uh, big boy, shout out to Seifert in, in Kripatada. With the big boy, 24 months. Uh, let me see here. How the fuck do I? So what? This is pretty hard, dude. Oh, my God. I got it. I actually got it. A lot of people ask about this technique, too. A lot of people ask oh about this technique. Yeah. A lot of people have been asking me about this technique. A lot of people ask about this technique. A lot of people ask about oh this technique. He just needs a little assistance, that's all. I need a little assistance. Ah! Come on! Come on! Why not grab him underneath the coat, bro? <laughs> you guys didn't see the vision. Yo, guys, we got a 49-month prime from... G oh, bum, da, 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 da. No, come on, man. Why does that not work? But ciphering grip it Oh, they need, your name needs to have a T in it. If your name doesn't have a T in it, you don't get any special treatment. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. I just realized. Because I can't do it unless your name has a T in it. For example, Devil Burn the Tree. Da -da -da. You see, it needs to be the T. Sorry, guys. Oh, wait. But I'll still accept yeah. the subs, though. Yo, Maggie Nico. Maggie Nico. Maggie Nico, I know something. I know something that you don't know. You've been subscribed here for 59 months. Yo, Cole Meister with the big boys, 41 months, and Legend 1822. With the big boy 34 schmutz like his fucking schnut. Oh my god, is he trolling? That's like one of the most annoying things to read in my chat, by the way. He's trolling, right, guys? Like when I'm not when I don't solve a puzzle in the first fucking three seconds. He's trolling, right? He's trolling? Is he troll? I need to see your bank statements now. Cause you better not be fucking late on one payment. He's fucking trolling in my fucking chat after three seconds of not completing a puzzle. He's trolling, right? Let me see. Ah, fuck me, dude. Okay, I got it. A lot of people ask about this technique too. I didn't want to have to whip out this technique, but every now and then, every now and then, you gotta whip out the. A lot of people ask. Ah, let me see here. Oh yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Okay, boom. First and foremost, you know this game is this game is more about belief than it is anything else. I feel like a lot of people don't realize that about this game. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't realize that about this game. Now. Ah. Uh, now, he just needs like a kick in the ass, a swift kick in the ass. Like this guy right here represents all the people in my chat who ever said, he's trolling, right? This is you right here. And this and this thing that I'm about to draw next is my size 14s. <laughs> Get shit it on. Uh, let's see here. Uh, hold on. I got it. A lot of people don't know about this technique. A lot of people don't know about this technique right here. A lot of people don't know about this technique. I call this the candy cane strat. I call this strat right here the mind your fucking business. Oh, look. I'm being dumb right now. I call this technique right here the mind your business before you get slapped up, clapped up. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people ask.
damn it, bro. Make Alex touch the right wall. What wall are we talking about? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Oh. Slide to the left. Slide. Okay, what if I... Make Alex touch the right wall. Maybe if I read it 10 more times, it'll click. God damn it. Yo, guys, PC Gaming Show. Who's hyped for PC Gaming Show? Let me get one pod review if you're fucking ecstatic for the PC Gaming Show. There's one thing in particular that I'm really fucking excited about. Really excited about. And you already fucking know what that is. Frost Giants, the goats of, of creating RTSs in the universe. Okay. New gameplay footage. All capital gameplay, just in case new viewers didn't real, just they didn't see the spam. All capital gameplay. If you want to put a space in between in between each letter, feel free. All capital gameplay. New footage. New footage. I sneeze that in my life right now. I sneeze. <clears throat> and then of course other reveals. Of course other games. Of course you know what I mean. Other games. We got to get the list ready. We got to put things on the list. I know. Am I, am I sitting up or, or, or standing down? Am I sitting up or standing down? Let me see how smart you guys are. Am I sitting up or standing down? Let me see if my viewers know me. Because I'm about to start getting real fucking pissed. Holy shit! How do you guys know? How do you know? Standing up, you smart son of a guns. Jesus Christ. Let me guess your guys' position. Fucking sitting down like motherfuckers right now. There's only like three other people with the stand-up game right now. The rest of you guys are fucking shrunk. <laughs> and I'm jealous as fuck. And I'm so jealous. <laughs> uh, yo, JMS with the 16 months. Thank you, man. Forensics. Forensics with the 52 months. Thank you, dude. What's going on, bro? All right, guys. Let me see how. Let me see how. Make Alex touch the right wall. I got it. I actually, I actually have it. I actually have it. I'm so fucking good at video games. Like, do you guys ever watch the gameplay? You're like, holy shit, it's annoying watching C's play games. He's so fucking good. I wish he just sucked so I can fucking feel like I'm better than him. You guys ever go through that? I know you do. It's fine. It's normal. It's a normal feeling to have, guys. It's a normal feeling to have. Oh, my yeah. It's a normal feeling to have, guys. A lot of people have that feeling. And the thing is this, it's not just one genre, guys. It's all those fucking genres. Like, holy shit, seats. Give it a fucking rest, dude. All the fucking genres? Shooters? Fucking platform fighters? Regular traditional fighters? Strategy? Movie nights? Jesus, fuck me, man. Fuck, man. Seats, can I have one? No, you can't. Not a single one. All right. This is not going to work. But it might. It actually might work. It might work. It might work, guys. Type type yes or no in the chat. Just type yes or no in the chat. No time. But can we do a prediction? No. Way too much work. <laughs> Is it going to work? No. You non-fucking believers. Watch this. I hope this, yo, if this works, I'm ending the stream. <laughs> Guys, if this shit works, if this shit works, I'm ending the fucking stream. Somebody was like, see, the more you paint in the circle, 
the heavier it becomes. That is such a lie. I'm telling you, it's part of the mechanic. Well, they need to fucking fix that. I call this next move right here. Watch your mouth. I call this next move the watch your fucking mouth. <laughs> ah, shit. He's trolling, right? Is he still trolling? Are you trolling me? Got it. I didn't know. I didn't want to have to do this one right now. I wanted to save this one for later, but you know what? If I got to do it, I got to do it. That's the thing. A lot of people ask. A lot of people ask. Give me a little bit more over here. Oh my God. Yes. so fucking good it's annoying it's so annoying it's so annoying at this point now what's gonna happen when I release this oh I don't even need to do that a lot of people ask about this technique a lot of people ask a lot of people ask boom all right, one pop reviewer, calm down. I know, trust me, guys. Trust me, I know. Okay, next move, next move. Make, hey, you know what they say? Make your next move, your what, chat? What do they say? Finish it, finish the fucking riddle. Make your next move, the what, chat? I'm waiting. I'm, you got fucking, you got six seconds before I spoil it. Make your next move, your best move. Now, exhibit three. Ha. Huh. But we got we got the thing. We got the whatchamacallit. Yo, hold on, hold on, guys. Wait a minute. We got a $5 donation coming in from MC Jaguar. <sighs> MC Jaguar. He says, yo, dono donation brought to you by winning responsibly in UFC bets last night. The champ has a name. And it's Charles Dubronx. Bro, I bro, you know what? I appreciate you sharing me sharing with me your uh your ufc gambling responsibly is that even such a thing earnings let me get some blowed up in a goddamn for this deuteroni macaroni please mc jaguar i think i don't know this i mean this might okay so that now the next thing needs to be this now this is this is actually where it gets tricky this is where it gets tricky Oh my God, I'm so good. I'm so good. You guys ready? You guys ready? You guys ready? Are you guys watching? Stop what you're doing right now and keep watching. Everything stops, everything stops. Baby gotta wait, baby can wait. <laughs> baby gotta eat, baby can wait. <laughs> this doesn't work, bro. Like painting more does not work. Why do you guys lie? And if that is the case, bro, they need to add that in the mechanics. This is gonna fucking work so good.
That's your fucking streamer! That's your fucking streamer! Oh, way. Next yeah. game! Next game! If she's ever beat game Jess, I beat game fucking primary two, number 22. Watch your mouth. Oh. Oh, we're so fucking talented, guys. All right, all right. Hey, oh my God. And it's almost as if I timed it at the very end of the song. Like, who the fuck am I? Holy shit. Put my funk on right now so I can feel fucking young again. Hey, yo. PC Gaming Wars. What'd that mean? Ho, oh, you putting down wards. Listen, damn, whether you play League or Dota, you gotta understand, I'm a shower. <laughs> PC gaming show time. Let's get it crack a lacking. Let's go, baby. Twitch. No, 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 no. Uh, special events. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Okay, guys, but what is their official? Oh, I got it. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, my God. My man, day nine. Day nine. Oh, day nine type. Day nine type. Hold on. Yo, they, they're starting early. They started early. We're gonna, my title's gonna be extreme bonding. I got, I got the titles, I got the titles. Extreme bonding with CD in the third and the viewing. All right. Well, singe my eyebrows and call me T800. Kill it with fire two looks like a great way to let off a little steam without getting your home insurer involved. Hey, AI, let's see how you deal with upscaling. Let's stick with the ah, kill it, kill it theme, but let's make the danger a little bigger. Wouldn't that be an adequate sized fan? Yo, why? Yo, Bigger. chat I'm GPT, say that 10 times fast. Chat GPT, chat GPT. Can't, two times. Only I can say it only two times. The largest and uh, most oh, seven minutes. This is the pre show. This is a little bit of a pre show. Yo, Pagrax, take it for the 26 source. months. Clever girl. <clears throat> Ferocious. All right, let's see what's going on here. You guys will know that's a Velociraptor uh, Terror Raptors. You guys will know about that though. Don't worry about it. Sean, if you have I any questions about dinosaurs, ask me. Has developed to the point of autonomous thought. I will now attempt a learning exercise. Yo, I turned 23 today, man. I've been watching you since a teenage in high school. Games to recommend a brand Every year has been a bonding experience with you and the viewers. Let me get some non-stop blow it up in the goddamn for that dude, Ronnie Macaroni, please. I am future coming to PC in 2023. And can we get some non-stop feels birthday, man of the goddamn? Need Curtis, but the Breme last waffle. man on earth. Help him birthday set boy. Up the coziest survival Happy birthday, dude. On a skyscraper roof. Build a beautiful, bountiful farm. Defend it at night. Yo, Grim Reeves, whoa! With the 10,000 bits! Explore the flooded city. Yo! Let me get some non-stop seas in the goddamn. There are robots to do chores for you. Let the AI take over your job. Dismantle old world gadgets for valuable resources. Catch some fish and cook it. If this sounds like a good time to you, add I am future to your Steam wish list now. See ya, future dweller. Sean. Based on trends in my training data, I have noticed a near universal fascination. Yo, Curtis, in that's fucking that wild, dude. That is so wild. Joy. 
Were I to select Yo, Grim Reeves, dude, I appreciate you, Bob. Thank you, man. Attention. <coughs> it could be Slime 3K, <coughs> a slime centric spin off of Desperate Game. Thank you for the non positive vibes. I got you, baby. I got you. Open bracket plus I go crack in the goddamn for Deuteronomy Max and Grim Reeves. Pre-game? Oh, this is like a uh, Vampire Survivor game. People love these games. How many of you guys got addicted to like the Vampire uh, Vampire Survivor game? Be honest. And for how long did the addiction last? Crooklyn Cat in the house with the 94 schmunts. Young Crook, what up, baby? Okay, how, okay, I got another one. How, how many of you guys got addicted to Cookie Sean, Clicker? You guys remember that one? That shit got me for like, for like two days. success rate of exciting your viewing public. It combines dynamic airship combat without the very real danger of modern day piracy. Now loading Black Skylands. Oh, Black Skylands. Okay. Nah, dude, this game actually might be fire right here. We're always on the precipice of trying this game too, but we never do. But we're always on the precipice. Can I spell precipice? No, I can't. Mind your business. We dropped a new baby on the night. Yo, let me get some nonstop baby rage in the goddamn for the young Crooklyn Air, AKA Crooklyn Cat. Nonstop C's baby rage in the goddamn. But don't put the C's in there because it's not an emote. Just baby rage. Yo, congratulations, Crook. Let's go, baby. Oh, this shit looks good. Bro, if this shit has PvP, this might be the best game ever created. I'm just saying right now. I don't think it has PvP, though, but this looks really good. Let me throw that one on the list, if it's not already on the list. Let me see. I need to make another notepad. Okay. Black Skylands. Got it. Okay, this one's fire too. We already we already had this one on the list though. Yo, how sick would a game like this be, guys? If there was like, if we could train boxers, and we could fucking bro, like the like you train a boxer, guys, but it's an auto battler, right? So then we could set up a fight online, and we could fight each other. Our trained boxers can fight each other. We don't even have to like. It could just be an auto battler. You just put both of them in the ring and see who wins. That would be a fire idea. I'm going to put this one on the list, too, because even though we right now. Congrats, Sarge. They just added it, so this is like the expansion. Find me the upper city. Oh shit, touching hands. Fast forward. Punch club. All right, we'll throw that one on the list, even though we already know. Oh yeah, Black Skylands has it all. We day got nine, man. I, I learned so much about StarCraft from watching day nine videos. Airships. Hey, AI, Back in the day, guys. I'm basically like a father figure to you. What would you do if outlaws destroyed this entire place, including me? Would you take to the skies, seeking out vengeance on those dirtbags? I would be unable to cause purposeful harm to a human being. Foiled by Asimov. Now. But you'd at least, like, miss me, right? Seize, have I you ever played any of the fake you. games? Sean, I have in Grim Reefs. In your absence, Little I game discoveries later, I'll look into it. Updates. I'm literally going to put fake games <sighs> well, as per Grim no Reefs. can say. I got you, Pop. We'll take a look a little after the a show, pretty okay? Pretty excellent AI. Software capable of... Seeking out and critiquing the latest games coming to PC. It's just a shame. Wait, Victory Road is a boxing auto battler, but I personal. don't think I it's mean, multiplayer. Imagine what a co-host this AI could be if it I'll had put, access let me, to I'll every write that down. bit of information on the internet, but it had the likability, the human touch of say, <gasps> Frankie. Oh, stick around because it is not long until the show starts, and I would hate for you to miss out Let's go. on the biggest exclusives. A yes. truckload of first looks. Yes. And a promising new co-host. Let's, Let's go. Let's start the PC gaming show. Let's go, guys. Come on.
What is this little thing over here? What is this? Get pixel block. Can I move this? I can move this. Like, how, how do I disable this? I'm triggered. I don't think I could disable it. We lost. Hold on. Get pixel blocked with it. Hey, Frankie! What is this? Hope I'm not interrupting anything. I mean, I was just in the middle of deathmatch. Great. Great to hear it, Frankie. Listen, I've been thinking about the PC Gaming Show 2023, and I kind of want to make a few How do I updates. Sure. I mean, it's already packed. Guys, I have anxiety. With world exclusives, in-depth interviews with the biggest studios, crazy good giveaways. What more can we add? Well, look. I don't want to get into the, you know, detail work, the minutia, the fine print, the ethically sinister motives behind true innovation. No, 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 Frankie, what I've realized is that I can't do this show without you. Oh, sure. Or at least a version of you. Huh? Oh, blah, 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 listen to me yapping on when there's so much to do. I mean, we got things to plan, code to write. Oh, listen, also, I brought in some new assistants, you know, to help really bring the show to life. And it would be so great if they could just stop by your place in little old London town, you know, to just get the ball rolling. <laughs> Yo, good. What the, little uh, old I, London I town. <laughs> if it's what? for the show. Excellent. Oh, hey, that's them. <laughs> oh, Frankie. <laughs> Let me say it again. You are one of a kind. Now, please give my love to Gunta and Helga. Ah, oh, they're great guys. Very thorough. Hello, are you, are you Sean's guys? Bro, I like this. I like that these gaming shows are like, I like, this has a, uh, like this Devolver vibes. Like I like that Devolver and I like that PC Your gaming show is doing this. Superman. Like these a skits. Visionary. A visionary. He is a man with his eyes locked Men in black. Like a horse staring into the sun. A majestic horse. Oh, there's no way. Read now, please. If you like the look of game A, then check out this world exclusive of game B. Necessary data acquired. Dear Frankie, thank you for your unwavering service to the PC gaming show. Your services will not be required this year. As oh, damn, fired the on the future. spot. No hard feelings, Sean, day nine plot, AI visionary, and all round good guy. Son of a Get GPT. <laughs> oh, here we go, baby. Come on now. Yeah, the PC Gaming Show, presented by PC Gamer, co-hosted by Day9, co-streamed by The Viewage oh, at CDN The Third. Hello there, everyone, and welcome to the PC Gaming Show 2023. I'm Sean Day9. Not the turtleneck. Today, okay, not I can't. Okay, not the turtleneck. Of the finest upcoming PC games, I. I'm standing with you on the bleeding edge of innovation. Okay. I've revolutionized how this show is made. Production crew, pff, ditched him, don't need him. It's just me, my automated systems, and this one guy I've hired on work experience. Say hi, Dakota. Hey. Not the Steve Jobs. So what does the face of the future look like? Yeah, let's see this. Weirdly, pretty familiar. Why don't you introduce yourself, Frank AI? Hello, broadcast viewers. I am Frank AI, a virtual co-host based on professional gaming Frank, icon, get AI. Frankie Ward, utilizing deep learning neural networks. Oh, super duper. And what do you have lined up for us? I have analyzed the entirety of published games media and surveyed discussion forums for the most anticipated titles. I have then constructed the ideal showcase, including titles like Stormgate, Path of XR2, Pax Day, June Awakening, and finally, Morris Men, Troop Lord of Destiny. Dude! Pax like Day? Dancing guy Hold on! Are you sure that's a real game? You right already know Stormgate. Morris Men is a They're game hit us with the Pax Day footage? based on a holistic survey of the most popular Steam titles. Would you like me to generate another? Huh. You know, instead, 
let's just get things rolling with something that actually exists. Oh, Frostpunk 2. Up, Damn, we got to play Frostpunk 1. Studios, we lost. We return to an icy apocalypse in Frostpunk 2. This is a game you guys have been wanting me to play for a hot minute. <clears throat> Ambition. Do you hear it? <clears throat> Snowflake. It's restless. Ambition requires men to feed upon. Oh, hey, yeah. It also needs time. Damn. Direction. Yo, versatile. With the five months W special event. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But for every man who fulfills this calling. Yo, Battle Bit, mad fun. I got an update for Battle Bit. June 15th. June 15th, we go pro. We have so many games to go pro in now. We lost. We got to get the gamer house now. Open the door to hell. You got all that snow, all that fire, but you still got all that snow. Make it make sense. <laughs> Twenty twenty four, Frost Punk. The city must not fall. Yo, Metro thirty uh twenty thirty three vibes, or was it thirty thirty three? We won. Yeah, the Xbox showcase was dope. Yo, maybe we do a little recap. Maybe we do a little recap. Tear down! Beat this game. Oh, damn. Multi-award winning. This, this game was actually phenomenal. Sandbox heist game. Phenomenal game. Introduces creative modes. A fun new way to play. What the hell was that? I thought that was a piece of dog shit for a second. <laughs> oh, wow. This is actually dope. That's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, but see me in Q remastered though. What, yeah. See me in Q remastered multiplayer PvP. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, tear down. Creative mode. Okay. Hey, check it out. No, that I game don't is even really need to dope. Write my own script for this show anymore. All right, wait. All right. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sparks, thank you for 29 months, baby. We've got a pile of fresh previews for the most visceral, immersive PC releases coming our way, featuring visceral combat and immersive exploration, visceral landscapes and immersive storytelling. Fans of immersion will. Uh oh. <sighs> yeah, it kind of just keeps going on like this. So I think it just needs a little bit more fine tuning. And until that point, Let's just go ahead and dive right into our next previews with Nivalis, Jump Light Odyssey, and Road to Vostok. Okay. Nivalis. Oh, Nivalis. We put this one on the list. Are they closed? Let me just put it. Let me put it again. Okay. So see? far. Okay, dude. Open your eyes. Oh, wait a minute. Nivalis. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is like one of those uh, living, breathing games. Every like every NPC Maybe has a life and shit. That was just a dream. Now it's time to come home. Now nah, this looks this good is though. Apartment. The sounds of the nightclubs nearby are the heartbeat of the city. The Bro, I need to make a clone of my, myself, guys. And make your one that streams sweat. in the night, one that streams in the it's day, so we can play here. all these games. Your restless legs. There's so many. The busy streets. Let's explore. Nivalis is a city in the clouds, but you can't make a rainbow without a little rain. Like most things in life, it's best to start at the bottom and work your way up. True. It's not so bad down here. We can go fishing, take a boat ride, soak up the atmosphere. Nivalis, Nivalis. And don't worry too much about the serial killer on the loose. I'm sure oh, we'll wait a do. minute now. I can even help you run Hold your on. business venture. They're doing the same thing that that other game did. With a little work, there's no limits to how high you'll climb. What's the other game, chat? 
Don't that look that we have on the uh, wish list. As your digital companion, something I with can doubt. Help you navigate the complex relationships. No, with not cloud punk. Shadows, shadows of doubt. Business partners, friends, rivals, enemies, maybe even lovers. shadows of doubt. It's all about saying the right thing at the right time. Your choices matter, so choose carefully. Interesting. You guys notice the city that? you see when you close your eyes. It's called Navalis. Consider this your invitation. Okay, no, that, that's dope. That, that's, that's an easy wish list. That's a very easy wish list. Princess, the Zetopans will be in our system any minute. But they're not here yet. Prepare defenses. Upgrading our engine capabilities. No, I thought, I thought that they maybe used like a different graphic style for like Don't your hands than the people Run in the world. Alert. But I could be bugging. Blast door sealed. FTL? Jump light report. Jump light. FTL! Jump light. Escape, pursuit across the galaxy. Scramble fighters. FTL HD? Definitely FTL inspired. Combat division, handle those borders. ETA on jump. Jump light in five, four, three, two, one. Not today, Voltan. Jump Light Odyssey. That's going on the list. That's going on the list. Jump Light Odyssey. Nice try, by the way, but still, that's on the list. Damn, we already got Black Skylands, Punch Club, Frostpunk 2, Navalis, Jump Light, uh, Jump, Jump Light Odyssey. Tarkov viewers losing their mind right now. Tarkov remaster dam. I'm deaded. Counter Strike Three. <laughs> Road to Vostok. Ah, okay. Uh, you know what I mean? I'll let you guys let me know about that one. Upcoming I'll let you guys let me know about that minutes one. Include Path of XR2, The Full Ferocious Trailer, Age of Sigma, Realms of Ruin, and Citizen Sleeper 2, Starward Vector. Failure to keep watching will lead to a personal system failure. Lies of P, the Pinocchio Bloodborne-like game, is just a couple months off, and it's got me thinking, what other untapped literary veins are just waiting to be gamified? I can generate a list of game concepts, pairing underutilized classic literature and an appropriate style of gameplay. Lies of P is a banger, Chris. Uh, by all beat the game means, six times in the demo. Did it off stream, domain. though. We want to keep costs down. Of course, Sean. Concept Chat was one. getting on my nerves, Great so you know what I mean? Great expectations, dirt bike racer. I don't really know what the market is for that. Next. Concept two, sense and sensibility, VR shooter. Sweet Jane Austen's bonnet. No, next, next, next. Concept three, Oliver Twist. Please, sir, may I have some war? It's artful, but a little problematic. I mean, why don't you just throw something together like a Metroidvania based on the Christmas Carol? I'm afraid you're too late, Sean. But perhaps you'd be interested in Ebenezer oh and the Invisible World. God. Are you kidding? Is she kidding? She's not kidding. Ebenezer's Ebenezer Scrooge? Yo, hold on, bro. World premieres? Not the neighborhood premiere, chat. Not the neighborhood premiere. Hey, coil stipulation with the big boy Gibby. Wait, for, is Frost Giants not here right now, are they? My devs are not here right now. My main devs are not watching. Oh, get me hype. Wait, they are here? Oh, they are here. Frost Giant Studios. Hey, 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 hey. What's up? FG in the building. Hold on, where's my mouse? 
Oh my god, it takes me six years to find my mouse. FG in the building! We're excited, man. We're super excited. Can't wait to see what you guys been cooking up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, with the CP. Okay, guys. Ebenezer, uh, Ebenezer Scrooge. You know what I mean? Okay. I can see the vision, though. I can see the vision for the platformer. I can see the vision. Invisible world. Hmm. What do we got next? What do we got next? <gasps> Wait a minute. Is this that Nexion game? Enter the fray. Wait a minute. Come on now. Don't. Don't make me. You guys, you guys remember the. You guys remember the Mordow footage. You remember the Mordow footage. This, no, this is that Nexion game, I think. You gotta watch with the Nexion stuff. So gotta watch. Bro, but this game looks like that other game, Chad. What's the, what Warlander? Yeah, Warlander, but different, like a different art style. I mean, this doesn't look bad though. Warhaven, but you gotta watch though. You know what, dude? Let me just go ahead and just let me just put it on the list in parentheses. And then next to it, I'm going to put Gotta Watch, just in case. Wait a minute, RTS! Wait, is this a remaster of something? Dude, this looks great. Yo, Winter Starcraft is losing his mind somewhere right now in the world. Oh, not with the paratroopers! Oh, wait a minute. Giants, though? Aliens? Dude, this this looks... Wait. Dwarf. Real-time strategy conflict. Dwarf. Dwarf RTS. That's going on the list. That's going Dwarf on the list. Dwarf looks phenomenal. Dwarf hey, RTS. Frank AI, as a mind birth from, like, everything ever written about video games, I'm sure you've got an interesting take on it. What are your thoughts? Sean, Dwarf isn't just about strategic balance of resource scarcity. Dwarf on these nuts. Industry. Got him. It's a game about the human condition, about our Artosis shared struggle is gonna go pro against in that game? a cold and uncaring universe. That's pretty moving sentiment there, <laughs> Frankie. Hey, what about Warhaven? Warhaven isn't just about clashing swords and moments of magic heroism. It's a game about the human condition, about our shared struggle against a cold and uncaring universe. <clears throat> well, some wisdom bears repeating, right? And while I go sort out some unrelated gremlins in Frank AI's procedural critique, gremlins. let's see a game with its own gremlins to sort out. Preferably with a shotgun. Okay. These creatures infernal. These perils okay. eternal. Lord, heal me. Spinal spinal fluid in chat just fixed his posture. This is like a cute this is <laughs> This is like a this is like a cute boomer shooter? Like wait, hold on. Oh, damn. Inventory management? Wait a minute now. Not a roguelike. The se not the flip phone.
No, nah, there's no way this would, dude, there, dude, if this is multiplayer though, this is not like an extraction shooter, like with like that's also multiplayer. Bro, I'm I'm kinda digging this style though. I'm kinda fucking with this. Somebody in the nether realm. The style is it's it's dope, it's different. This might have to go on the list. Damn, yo, off rip chat. We won't, bro, we haven't even been live an hour, and we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games on the list. One pod reviewer. Ooh, good sound effects, too. And you could drive? Sulfur? That's going on the list. That's going on the list. Imagine a CSGO game with that style. I can picture it. StarCraft did that. StarCraft did like the uh, the Carbot animations uh, style. And you can play like full-blown uh, StarCraft. StarCraft 1 games. Thank you for Yo, Accent, I know this is like, bro. I'm not even, bro. I'm not even BSing, Together, guys. Like this, we'll make it this showcase is hitting already. Ever seen. Compared to what we've been watching the past couple days. Nice work. Keep this up. And this might be a schnau for me, though. If I'm gonna keep it 100, this one right here might be a schnau for it. Might be a schnau for it. Did he scale down the side of a mountain with a chair and he and he fly kick somebody in the neck? Wait. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Uh, you know. Interesting. Did you feel the love in the air? We're going out on a date. Yeah, we're gonna catch up on that on that Xbox reveal We're chat after this. Down. What's up, Vinay? I, I freaking told her. What are you gonna okay. do? Ooh. Breaking news. A mysterious infection continues to spread across the globe. What is going on? I mean, Ooh. the infected, the wall. Wait a minute, so you get infected you. and you get jacked at the same time? Your smile. Sign me up. You want... Is there anything we can do? We just saw a broadcaster <laughs> get eaten. I have to go. No, defeating him now might make the wall fall on top of us. But I can teach you a couple of. All right, two minutes, and we get to sit down. Whoa! We're all going to die. PG thirteen. Wait for me. Goodbye. I want to wake up. It's not over. Not yet. I love you. Eternites there, showing us that love is never simple, especially in the middle of an apocalypse. You know, I sometimes get a little misty-eyed myself about a simpler time. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love modernity. And sure, big text does some stumbling. I bet Mark Zuckerberg's we get this in for two hours, guys. One pod review. All I'm saying is the olden days had an appeal. Medieval times when we were plowing our own fields and treating everything with leeches. Not buying eight pictures with weird electric money. Luckily, though, video games can bring the medieval fantasy to life. To find out how, I had Frank AI activate her new reporter drone. Oh, it's designed to identify, question, and report back on the work of leading game developers. Oh, yeah. And don't worry. Technically speaking, it's completely legal. I mean, oh, this, this little guy's good. even got a selfie light. It's like kind of cute in like a friendly panopticon kind of way. <clears throat> Little RD has flown itself all the way out to Helsinki, Finland to meet the team behind the highly anticipated What's up, Uncle Dolphin? must play PAX Day. Wait, Let's you guys can see look. my mouse? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Chill, 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 chill. Bro, my nipples is always hard, bro.
Yo, guys, like, imagine, like, My imagine we get to the song? point where you no, can literally, like, before. make a video game Foxy. and it looks Foxy exactly is, like um, real life. It's an open world fantasy game in a living, breathing world where you, which we can call home, where it's teeming with life, mysteries. I bet you were probably, I, I bet you were like 10 years out from yourself that. If you are living in How many years out, guys? Europe, I'm going to say 10 years. Reality. In yeah, 10 years has been lost from today, mark my words, be discovered. It's where you know, we'll be there. truly exists and ghosts exist and the myths are real. And this is kind of the, the inspiration we take to build. It's basically going back to the roots of what fantasy means. At least in our lifetime, guys. Or at least we'll be get, get to experience in our lifetime. And so we go very much into the roots. So we're using a lot of uh, medieval uh, literature and um, medieval bestiaries and grimoires, using real world magic, uh, actual recipes for healing and, and uh, ointments, and using the, the real world magical properties of plants. Wait. Yo, this guy loves nature, though. I'm um, Sokar. I'm the chief product officer at Mainframe Industries. I respect it. So the way he kind of touched be, that rock. Imagine you're in this amazing, beautiful mad world. Sensual. It's huge. And you find yourself in a forest, and your mission is to find a plot for where you start building a home. And from that home, you will go on to adventures to explore the world. So with the lore, we have wanted to create something that is fairly, like, deep and rich and grounded. Yo, there's reality, at least 16 people watching the stream right now with that guy's you know, same history. facial hair setup. Um, so and Crooked Cat is one of them. types of ruins. There's the, the dungeons. Um, and, and you will be able to find snippets of the lore from the eras when these were created um, in the game itself. And and part of the like lore and mystery is also part of the, in, in the gameplay itself. So you will be able to like find and examine things and actually then find snippets that help you find other places and make items What's up, Jordy? itself. And the, the area of the game that you will be able to play RIP Rumble Wars, is, is we're calling it Gallia and it's very similar to the areas of the world in, in southern France uh, with the influences from the Nordics where we're from. So what we're building is we're calling it the social sandbox. We're putting the least amount of barriers to entry on, on how you can actually interact. Dave Yen. Uh, yeah. Wait, you mean to tell me we're not playing Community Overwatch and I'm getting subs by Dave Yen? Other players have worked we won. fundamentally different. So from the first minute on when you start playing the game, we fucking won. You will be able to do everything you imagine <laughs> with other players. So you can trade. Other people can actually help you. Okay, you Dave. Go into That's a, because they like, got insider information, though. He knows that there's gonna be like of, like you're starting the journey in the in the game. Should you find people who actually help I you? I appreciate you. What we want to create I appreciate you, dude. really incentivizes people to play the You'd game love the to way see it. they like. And for some, <laughs> actually, like, just going out to the wood and, like, cutting down the forest is something that gives you a sense of achievement. Where's the gate? The call that you're helping to produce actually is valuable for the game. Top down asymmetric, the game comes around. MMOs, to RPGs. Dungeons. They couldn't care I mean, less MMOs about and MMOs. Cold production. But these players as well still depend on each other. Where there's valuables to bring <laughs> from the dungeon, there's valuables to bring from the forest, and even the PvP the gate players, is awesome, no, they though. will be I able to gate. produce items that are only available through the PvP, but they will depend on the other players as well. Negate is like probably like one of my he's like my top ten. Like even though he's not here for every game, but when 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 I need him, like when I need a knowledgeable person who's like great on stream, Negate is up there top and, ten. Uh, uh, and fairy tales. Uh, he understands. With, of course, the caveat that in Pax Day, this stuff is actually... You know, you're not going to see Negei come in with the, the TTV. The thing about folklore throughout you know the what I mean? is that folklore <laughs> are actually start out as true stories, whereas he gets fairy it. tales are fiction. And that's the distinction between the two. Folklore he was your favorite you know, voice to hear in New World? Ghosts Mine was uh, DK's. Oh my god, guys, even though we're losing, guys, we're doing so good right now, guys. Oh my god, guys, even though we're getting completely destroyed right now, guys. Holy shit, guys, everybody's doing so good right now. And, you know, <laughs> this is not disputed as, you know, any uh, fantasy. And this is what we want to reflect. So when you're walking in the forest during the night, you will find these Oh my god, you will find guys, we just lost A, B, and C, guys, but holy past. shit, guys, uh, we're doing so go, good. The more mysterious <laughs> and strange it becomes. I fucking love the gate, dude. I mean, DK, I love DK too. But if I had to save one though. <laughs> if I cause any existential Negate, anxiety I love you, but you know what I mean? DK be slipping in my DMs at three o'clock in the morning the trying to get me to play life. games from the 90s. Think of me, perhaps, as a blue shell from your favorite kart racer. I might be wielded to ruthlessly you know destroy I mean? hard earned <laughs> positions, but we can still have fun. Maybe there's a lizard driving a little car. Isn't that nice? 
Let's celebrate the same spirit of kart exactly, racing victory exactly. as our next preview brings Mario Kart Mayhem to PC. Mario Kart Mayhem? Good Stampede Racing Royale. Mario Kart to PC? We're getting a Nintendo launcher. We're getting a Nintendo launcher. Wait, what, the, what did she just say? Chappy GP, repeat yourself. Sumo. Wait. What is this? Yo, what? Wait, why'd she say Mario Kart? Cause I love kart racers, bro. I love kart racers, man. Nah, I don't know about this one though. I mean, I, I can respect it. I can respect it. Nice. The thing about this one, I would play this, but like Wazar somehow is gonna get into my lobby with 400 ping and he's gonna win and it's gonna trigger me. You know what I mean? Bro, we might have to fuck around with call it again. <laughs> we might. <laughs> we might have to do what? We might. Stampede? I mean, I see the vision, but like, what's the other game that we played, guys? That we swore we were gonna get the Game House for? Two, the Search for Life. The art team is looking to balance. Style okay, and dude. To faithfully represent you see, the incredible vehicles used yo, in space exploration. Somebody get your Players boy Moist Critical real quick. Launches and a host of historical missions, past, present, and future. Dude, I respect the outfits, though. Space industry professionals. Dude, I respect sure the, the fucking stopping by Spirit Halloween, though, before the, before the show. Discoveries. Go to MarsHorizon2.com to sign up to our mailing list to be the first to play the game. Mars Horizons 2. We have an alpha on the horizon. Dude, like, they were committed to that. I love that. Frank, I, I cannot tell you how excited I am I love to that. see Path of Exile 2 in oh, action. Right. Yeah. You know, being something of a Path of Exile veteran myself. That's I debatable, Sean. What? Your Path of Exile <laughs> playtime falls well below the community average. But the time isn't what matters in that game. I'm also <laughs> Yo, kill it, kill it. Do you want to die? Builds in recent leagues and no, 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 my, my build wasn't meant to be They're producing some troubling DPS simulations. Well, I said, damn, she's made this game. This shit must be good. Frankie, but <laughs> let's not keep the good people waiting. Let's roll the tape for Path of Exile 2, please. If that Ziri could see this now. Damn, they went right into Path of Exile 2 like this? Nah, hold on, wait a minute. Creatures. That's my class, that's my main class. That's my main class. Oh my god, I just, I, guys, I just spat an ice chip into my keyboard. We lost, it's gonna fucking short. But it's like I have anxiety because the ice didn't melt yet, but it's gonna melt and it's gonna short something. I have anxiety. The stench, it's getting worse. Whoa, hey, yo, that does. I mean, Path of Exile 2. I might have to fuck around, just beat the story, and just trigger everybody. After getting a thousand people to buy the game and then just stop playing after the story, and people are like, but geez, we're on the guild. Yeah, but you know, I only do story modes in these games. <laughs> Got him. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Leo and I'm the lead developer of a new action adventure game for Fucking DK out here flying airplanes and making video games at the I same time. I began working on Ferocious a few years ago with the idea of creating a first person. Literally making the fucking video game in the airplane. <laughs> combining all the top action with exploration and the sense of wonder. <laughs> that shit actually might be dope. Hold on. Give it a, give it a chance. We were always inspired by mysterious places for us. DKRG, time, by the way, not DK, not other DK. Like Kong and DKRG. Park. We aim to marry the setting and unique gameplay opportunities with classic first person shooter mechanics, similar to early installments of franchises like Far Cry and Crisis. The flexibility of the Unity engine allows us to create unique solutions to some of the environment. Oh, features. I gotta name the dinosaurs, no problem. Some water effects and realistic oh. vegetation. I can't hear nothing right now. My ears are ringing. Give me a second. A They're still ringing, by the way. Still ringing. It stopped. That's a Karaptalapsosaurus. However, there are some things waiting for you, Majunga, that we couldn't find any reward references for. Ah, yeah, Soviet that's influence. the, um, I think that's the long neck kiss. I hope you guys are excited as I am. Feel free to wishlist and follow the game on Steam, as we can't wait to share more about Frosters in the coming. Don't worry about it, guys. You don't, you don't do your research, so it's not a big deal. Next game. Alpha footage. Welcome to Islands of Insight, an epic shared world mm. puzzle adventure game 
Set in a world ah, puzzles. Can't play puzzle games on stream. Ancient wonders. I mean, I could, but then I got to ban 100 people. Beauty. Brimming with mysterious puzzles, secrets, and sublime landscapes for you and other players to discover. Bro, why is he running so stiff? Or together, why am I hating on his amazing posture, though, at the same at time? I'm projecting. Pace. Whoa, Scrabble! As a seeker, you'll set off on a journey of knowledge. Explore every corner of this rich landscape and solve every puzzle you find. Savor the achievement of every solution. What's up, Nate? As the world around you unlocks, revealing new oh, challenges to face, new areas to explore, and fantastic I'm a big fan of Tetris. You guys collect. know. You know that. Yes, 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 Mike Tech. Mike Tech, listen. What that mean, listen. MC Jag coming through, motherfucker, oh, mom and dad. No a dude God. named Theo. Holy shit, he's a Leo. Holy shit, predict the fucking future like Cleo. No a dude named Davian. He do not pretend. He play O Dub 2. Who the fuck am I? Who the fuck is you? Playing PC game show, watch along. Gotta understand. In between my leg is mad long. What that mean? It mean you know I like to rap. I talk my fucking shit, cause I don't give a crap. Look on Stormgate, meet a kepa so the viewers bonding, yeah, we regulate what that means. Old-fashioned analog neural network, but I'm gonna risk some data analysis of my own. Those Dark Souls games seem like a big deal, huh? Luckily, while From Software is taking a recess to work on giant Yo, okay, robots, looks good with Hexworks is stepping in with a fresh supply of very depressed knights with very big swords. Coming this October, here's your latest look at Lords of the Fallen. Yo, Mr. Cos with the 500 mini. Wait, what's this game? In Lords of the Fallen, oh. you'll explore two parallel worlds. Oh, Land yeah, this living, game's on the list. Demonic knights and hulking monsters. This game's on the list, bro. This is a love letter to um, spooky Bloodborne, by the way. Where the ghosts of those creatures are trying to super murder you. Yeah. Using the latest Unreal 5 technology, this game comes out in October. Hexworks has layered these realities directly on top of each other, allowing you to portal to the Umbral Plane at will. Just try not to die in there. In the spirit of the Dark Souls games, failure will be punished. Now, there's like alternate dimensions in this game too, and you use like this thing to like. That, that game looks. That, that game looks good. But managing an evil dungeon. Now we're talking elite. The dungeon of Nalbuk is feared throughout the lands of Fang. It is an avant-garde evil structure. An avant-garde tradition and disruptive innovation. And it's looking for its new steward. Of course, we have the most trained and prepared guards, the most efficient staff, the most devious monsters, and the most attractive treasures. You know why, Lust Talk? Because 23, think about it. It's the uh, year of the wait, goat, bro. More. Like, you know what I'm saying? Come on now. Art production Everybody facility, knows. An R&D center, B2C processes, and an efficient waste oh, recycling way. system. Bad Willie yeah. Jones with the 26 months. I mean, employees can fully express themselves thanks to our committed HR. Ski, yes. And peaceful social Black dialogue. Skylands, Punch and Club, Frostpunk 2, Navalis, Jump Light Odyssey, hey, Warhaven, but we don't know yet. Dwarf, RTS, Sulphur, Lords of the Fallen. As a steward, your main task will be to make the dungeon functional and attractive to adventurers. So they'll want to come here to get slaughtered and humiliated. What's up, Scary? How you to doing, man? To that, you'll have oh, access to guards, yeah. traps, My boy Jod with the Prime. You'll also get to organize raids on nearby areas to provide Utilizing his free Twitch Prime sub. Thanks to your boundless devotion, I, Zangdar, will become the greatest warlock of the lands of Fang. <laughs> Looking for a job that gives meaning to your life and makes the world a better place? Then buzz off! But Scram. if you're organized, servile, sneaky, and enjoy a positive work atmosphere, come take your chance! I mean, I I'll can see the vision. For Might be a schnaw for me, but I can see the vision. World premiere, ladies and gentlemen. They won't hit us with the storm gate right now. They won't do it right now. My posture will never be so erect. No. Pablo. Pablo. Anata no koto wa shikari to miteru wa yo, tante sa. Nani se anata ni wa kono sekai o kaete shimau yo na tokubetsu na chikoro ga aru no da kara. Watashi ni kyouryoku shinasai. 
あなたの才は貴重よ短い人生だもの使わない手はないでしょう時は刻一刻と過ぎていくわマリアチーマリアチーレジンドゥズ。Now, whoa, slow down. How long does it take to put that whole outfit on, though? It's like a lot of strings. Keanu Reeves? La Sombra. You can ring my bell. Ring. Yeah. They won't go crazy with the soundtrack right now. Marachi. All right, s a b e Wolf. She, she has like a Muerta vibe, like a Day of the Dead look. Okay, I can recognize it. Are you all right, Sean? Our program included a gunfight slash dance sequence to promote Mariachi Legends, but your heavy breathing is indicative. You know what's. Yo, the beeping that's happening on this scene is triggering me. Is it triggering anybody else? I keep thinking my phone alarm is going off. Am I the only one? It's just packed with so many games. I understand, Sean. I'll provide assistance. Notification Day 9 has been updated to Day 10. What? You just can't replace no, me? No, like, they did not with the guy f a i r y fit. system update back. I don't want whatever this is. And the DCs. Very sure, but support has been discontinued for older versions. What? What's up, Day 9? I'm Day 10. The latest <laughs> software version of popular gaming host, Day 9. Oh, <laughs> the consequences of my actions. Hello, I am Frank AI. What's up, Frank AI? I'm day 10. So, the latest Hello, software version. I, am Frank I suspect they're going to be at this for a while. So, <laughs> let's just go ahead and fire up a trailer for a strategy game. The belly game. shirt, I love Age it. Age of Sigmar Realms of Ruin. Oh my god, another I, uh, Warhammer game. Some strategizing of my own. Dakota, start unplugging things. I'll just tell you when to stop. Just pull it. Bro, that guy looks like the dude who got knocked out by the other guy with the knee in the fastest knockout in UFC history. Commander, there is the stench of death about this place. Not just from the Oryx. Yeah, Ben Askren. Death comes for everyone. Eventually. Except us. Okay, so wait, is this the Warhammer RTS? Yo, Orcs are so fucking badass. Fortify our position. We must claim this swamp. Enemy sighted. Bro, we need like we need like a timeline where the ninja turtles are fighting orcs. Sigma, give me strength. Think it's time for a fight, boys. Protect the bastion. We need the loot. Oh, this is an RTS. Flash, flash to a corpse. They always go. Aiden, I will take it's more like to Total War than RTS. You hold here. Fate conspires against us both. Realms of ruin. Okay. Okay. Might be a schnapp for me, but I can respect. If you guys hit me up like Yo C's, one of those, I might consider. Not、oh、playing it unless there's、God. an email involved. Got him. Wake up, sleeper. Wake up, sleeper. No, 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 get out. They haven't finished it. Oh, sleepers finished, aren't you? Damn, I just realized it must be hard as shit to whoop somebody's ass in, in space. Here you are, risking with no gravity. To try and break our contract to end your. Dependence. Just wanted to use them. You piece you of shit. You guys ever think about that? Nothing wrong with being a tool in a time of crisis.、Uh, there's a war on, and while it rages, well, there's opportunity. I thought you were an opportunity sleeper. Gotta grapple. Yes, you would have to grapple. On the run, a hard work. Yo, <laughs> with yo, this dude right here with the tats. Oh way, yeah. I met your needs. I gave you a clue. Teach yourself with the 44 schmutz. Thank you, dude. Hooked you up with a contract or two, and, and yes, I took my share. But that only seems fair. I invested in you. But then, 
you went and did this. And now, you don't need this. And I don't need you anymore either. Damn! Sleeper, go! Now! To the ship! Malfunctions detected. <laughs> Yo, Grandpa, that's true. That is true. But then you would also equally... But look, but you would go equally in the opposite direction forever. So you would also, like... This... You would, yeah, grappling would be this the only way. The beginning, sleeper. Oh, dude. I have found no Dana White is trying to figure out. If Dana White's watching my stream. He's trying to figure out how to have However, the first UFC bout in outer space right now. Being the first case. And I want my 50% for the, the next idea. section of this show would result in you missing amazing new content from Dread Pilots, Miasma Chronicles, Pathfinder Gallo Spar Survivors, and Parcel Core. But first, here's Critico. Oh, dude, I just realized that. Oh, no, but farting would actually work in outer space, but it would have to be airtight. Nah, it wouldn't work because you'd fart inside your suit. Damn, do they have, like, fart absor absorption technology inside of suits in outer space? Okay, wait a minute now. Problem solving, building a boat to get off the island. Hold on, wait a minute. Mm, threw me off with the cat. But wait a minute though. Hold on. Leviathans? Why is this so loud? I mean, I might have to pass on that one, but I can see the vision. for being unbearably cute while also being unbearably fun there is no question it would be down to the wire between critter cove and yours truly i mean it's a strong matchup but please clear winner after 3411 simulated contests i predict critter cove's probability of victory at over 99 percent what now 99 percent checking now well while AI might hey, yo, teach yourself. What's up, dude? Wet naps. Thank you, guys. Empowering new ways to play. By teaming up human storytelling with AI assistance, the team over at Hidden Door have developed now a it's too low. spin on pen and paper role play. Okay. It is so tantalizingly delicious. I pen no and paper role play. Are these adorable all RD, AI research and development. On the project. Where Brooklyn at? Where Brooklyn at? I got seven Mac 11s, about eight 38s, nine, nine, ten tens. Man, this shit never ends. You can't touch my riches.
What's, what is Hidden Door? Hidden Door is a role playing game where you and your friends come together. You can play in any world you choose. You create your characters and then together you decide what kind of story you're going to have. So the idea would be you've just read a book. You can't get it out of your head. Now you can go and play your own story adventure in the world of that book that you're directing within the rules and the canon that the author has set and confirmed <clears throat> with a generative AI narrator. The way it works is that you come in, you choose Yo, the four world play you play that's in. Hilarious, right now dude. we have The Wizard of Oz. Many you got a friend worlds to come. me. You create your character. You, you decide got a friend the kind of adventure me. you're going to have by playing out of your deck of story cards. And then the system creates a unique story adventure for you. And then you can do anything you want. It takes a lot of the joys of playing a tabletop role-playing game and brings them into a digital format. And as you play, you see a graphic novel come together dynamically based on what you choose to do Yawning and how the world and the story reacts to you. It's like an improv show where okay. even though you might play the same cards, you get a different, unique story every time. So you throw words in, it comes up with uh, suggested things you might do, you pick something, and then it reacts to you. And then along with our AI narrator who plays okay. the role of, say, the game master, you can go on any adventure you want and you can uh. do anything. And the system and the story will continue based on your choices. What stories can we play? At Hidden Door, we are working with authors and folks who make some really exciting TV shows and other media to bring those worlds into the platform. And the system supports anything fictional. So it does do science fiction, it does do fantasy, it does, you know, period romance, um, which you can think of as more relationship-based gameplay in addition to sort of your standard action-based gameplay um, or sort of dungeon crawl-based storytelling. While there may be a million Star Wars games in the world, if you were playing one on Hidden Door, because of our AI narrator and the story engine, the choices you make matter. So when you decide that you want to become, say, the governor of Tatooine, you can do that. And the world changes around you and Wait, your what character. I missed, Chad? I missed something you valuable. I was reading something. What I missed? You meaningfully alter what the I plot missed? of the entire world in a way that was never pre-written or pre-scripted. There's no limit to the number of characters you might encounter, the locations, or the stories you can tell in Hidden Door. Today you can play Hidden Door anywhere you can access the web. Um, so you can play on desktop, you can play on your mobile device, you can play no, on the No, it's tablet. not a test. Okay. Okay. We just needed to see Casey Neistat on his fucking boosted board, like going across one of those uh, scenes. That would have tied the whole, that would have tied it all in. People really like the text, uh, text, uh, text based games. May not be for Shmi, but you know, I could dig it. Hidden door. It looks like Hidden Door is cooking up one hell of a winning combination. The official right, board Frank game AI? of Brooklyn. It certainly <laughs> seems so, Sean. Speaking of winning, you too can achieve victory with the PC Gaming Show Battle Pass. Earn free bonuses as you level up your viewer rank or upgrade to a gold tier pass for only $9.99. What are you doing? 
I'm incorporating lucrative live service techniques to maximize the show's profitability. Uh oh. Battle pass for a stream even work. Yo, battle pass for a stream. Viewers can earn exclusive rewards, like viewing the show's trailers 1.5 seconds early and boosters <laughs> for viewer ranked experience. Look, I admire the initiative, but uh. I think for now, let's just go ahead and table streams as service. Sadly, major production decisions oh, are only accessible for those who've reached viewer rank 80. You can, however, unlock immediate access with 1,800 Sean points, purchasable for $9.99. Oh my god. You made oh, show production a battle pass reward? Is anyone close to unlocking that? Killzor69 Blazed has just achieved viewer rank 58. Oh god. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Dakota, find my wallet. And for now, uh, let's check out a new dungeon crawler from the Don't Starve devs at Clay Entertainment. Here's your first look at Dread Pilots. Ooh. Clay Entertainment, though. Hold on. Stop motion. They won't hit us with a stop motion game. I love the name already. Dread Pirates. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Clay. I'm bugging. I was thinking about something completely different. They said the Clay devs. I'm buying. This is a, I'm putting this on a list right away. I already know this is the game that I want. Dread Pirates. Watch this. This is how I know. When you know, you know. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'll let you guys know. Psh, what? What? What's up? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Story mode only? That's okay. FTL was story mode only. Yo! Alyssa with the 500 biddies. Some biddies on your titties. He's ride or die as fuck. He's back hugging the goddamn. Let me get some nonstop road app in the goddamn for them. I appreciate it. Thank you, Alyssa. Okay. Okay, so we have our we have a skin in the game already. That's ready plus one. All right, I will, okay. I'm not like I'm not like flying off my chair, but I, it's still gonna go on the list because I have to do some more research. You've harnessed your gloves' power, and now I gotta do some more research. Yo, 505 games. They made uh, control. This looks like a control What's game. It's making the miasma angry. And it's spreading across America, twisting this once great nation. I have no idea. Wasteland. I think it's a lot. Gotta help these people. I have no idea, dude. Brand. Lust would know the answer to that question. Okay, the equalizing is off, though, man. Like, I gotta keep lowering it, raising it. Oh, this is from the creators of, uh, this is like a little XCOM-like. Guys, is XCOM the first game, uh, the first game that, like, came up with that concept in video games or no? Don't starve yourself with excitement for Dread Pilots, or you might leave a miasma worthy of a chronicle. Hey, hey, that's pretty good. That's good stuff. Thank you, Text Generation. Coming up, secret facilities. There were tactics games before that. Development. I see. Zombie experimentation. Zombies. All Undead under the corporate Inc. Umbrella in this Hold on. Sim. And you are the evil CEO. I mean, I can't blame Imagine you. Imagine undeaded. That's just I'm undeaded. Good business sense. Let's take a look. Undead Ink. Oh, the beeping is... I can't get that. That beeping sounds just like my alarm. That's what it is. Nah, man. Let it cook, man. Let it cook. We, bro, let them... Yo, they were saver. Keep keep giving us all these trailers. We got some good ones. Save the best for last. Tui with the big boy 14 months. Thank you, and welcome to all of you who are Whoa, starting your own franchise. Big heads. Today, I'm here to talk about building a thriving business. 
What is the special event? This is the PC gaming my show. My apologies. There has been a development that requires Game reveals. my immediate attention. World exclusives. One of which, Stormgate, new gameplay. Um, Welcome to the show. Whatever your concerns Does your mom want to see my sky smokes? That is now, brimstone. Oh my god, it's fucking patience. brimstone. In a, in a different dimension. Structural integrity and power all hanging in there, sir. Extent of the outbreak unknown. Next move, director. Tell your men ETA five minutes. Schneid! What's up, Hedge to the Hog? How you doing, baby? Chilling, man. Chilling. Enjoying my sit down for two hours. Remind me, guys. Uh, an hour and a half. Oh, we have to stand up for now. Director Coleman. Hey, man. Uh, sir. Are you okay? I got a little bitten, but I'm hanging in there. Look at that chin. Okay. Holy. They have a, a cure upstairs. Eh? Sure. Head back up. There is a shot. Yeah, it had the, the art style reminds me of um I'm not Archer. Worried for a second there, I... Oh! Do you mind? I'm trying to run a business here. Hold on, Janine. Yo, Tom Cat rookies back on the line in with the 500 oh, biddies. Can I get some nonstop piece. blow it up in the goddamn Thank for that you. deuteroni Eugene. macaroni? Can I get something from Dude, my he's head? like super brimstone now. Director. Name brand only. Not our stuff. They got to know that like that was downstairs. they got to know that this character that they made is very similar to Brimstone. Like the look of him and like his voice. Or do you think they're only going to realize that after the fact? Interesting. Yeah, I kind of we need gameplay for sure. So for that, for that, it doesn't go on the list. World premiere. What the? Hell? Hey yo, what was that? No, he won't. Oh way, yeah. Oh okay, I like the soundtrack. Ready? Hey, yo, Wizard Hoyt, Mr. Tom Bones, with the 62 inches. Ooh. Yo, hold on. I can respect nice. Definitely 90s vibe, but like the animations look sick. Like 90s, like 90s vibe, but like 2023 animations for a platformer type vibe. Alma. Yeah, nice try, Alma. <laughs> nice try, Debs. Maybe okay, next hey, year. Look, I've been looking through Frank AI's data log and I found a file named Confidential Game Trailer 44. Code name Omicron Delta. The November, trailers have been really good. Final parenthesis, Yo, final Tom parenthesis, Bones with the tier three? Revised .mp4. Dude. Now. It's important not to lose the trust of your AI assistant. My boy Tom, I didn't even realize. My bad, baby. Thanks again, guys. Let me get some nonstop blow it up one more time in the goddamn with a splash of open bracket plus I close bracket for the tier three subscription. I know I'm this bro, I'm my bad. You know what I mean? You know I me, mean? I'm in La La Land right now. I appreciate you though, Pop. Thank you. Oh DMCA? He gets in layer. Oh my god, DMCA's? Oh my god, DMCA's? Yeah. Invector. Rhythm game selector. Yo, neck protector. Damn, what we got? About to play some Star Wars. <laughs> Me talk gate by so. Holy oh, shit, we yeah. moving forward. Damn, in my Taurus. <laughs> my skin is porous. I met your mama. She told me her name was Doris. What that mean? Oh, we see through this game. Yeah, 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 this game looks really good. I mean, like, visually looks really good. I don't know if it's good, good. But this goes on the list. Astrogator, we shouldn't behave here as if we were at home. A long time 
Put this on the list. Yo, Midas, thank you very so, much, man, for the 52 months. There was life here before. Yo, ooze? Ninja Turtles? Everything that happened here overwhelms me. Not every mission ends in success, Doctor. Guys, we need to make three clones of ourselves so we can play all these damn games. Save. to understand we have to destroy it even if it means destroying everything not everything everywhere is for us Ooh. not every way no dude i was literally about to write that whole thing the invincible i was gonna want write that whole thing i was about to say that's a long ass game title coming up We'll see a theme park builder <laughs> that's only days away. Releasing on PC later this week, Park Beyond is a spiritual successor to classics like Roller Coaster Tycoon, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, Roller Coaster Magnate 9, Roller Coaster Altair 27, and Roller Coaster God Emperor 40,000. Okay, okay, let's not go off the rails. Look. As fun as the carnival is, we all know the games aren't the most balanced, because basically, carnies are OP. Luckily for you, our prizes are so much easier to win. Let's take a look at Park Beyond. Do you perceive the invisible thread that connects us to each Park other? Park Beyond. Guys, the I gotta pee. I'm gonna go right now. Let me know if it's good. Without us even realizing it. BRB. The desire to move forward, to surpass our limitations, to take on challenges greater than ourselves. All these feelings make us visioneers. Visioneers are architects who are dedicated to making their childhood dreams a reality, empowered to achieve the impossible. Architects who want to offer the world their most beautiful memories. Free spirits in search of adventure and new challenges. Indelible moments of amazement and laughter with those we love. Become a Visioneer. Go beyond the fun. Oh, my God. As an AI, I have no need for material possessions. But good news. PC Gaming Show viewers can take advantage of the following promotional contest by following the instructions on the screen. Oh, oh, if this damn, product and or service stimulates your orbital cortex, follow the instructions on the screen. What I miss? Anything good? The world premiere. Yeah. Seize the BRB screen. Seize, did you wash your hands? Evil stirs in the depths of Gallowsmire. Three heroes step forth to contain Yo, the Yo, PPOP, what up? A legendary 68. fighter of peerless strength and skill. A cunning rogue full of deadly surprises. Oh. And a powerful wizard wielding the Bro, vampire survivor multiplayer? Together, they are destined to confront the hordes of undead and their deadly masters again and again attaining new heights of power and skill but what hope are they to seal away the whispering time for surely of surviving the gallow spire gallow spire whoa pathfinder though hold on pathfinder got a couple of games Introducing Diesel Legacy. What? Join the open beta now on Steam. Wait a minute. Two versus two. What? Actions. PvP? Down, but not out. Yo, hold on. 
local and online multiplayer. You won't say rollback, though. You won't say Real rollback. Match. Worldwide no, rollback. They don't. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay, they said rollback. They said the R word. Determine the fate of the Iron City. Yo, I got to put that on the list. Hold on. Diesel. Dude, that's a good idea. Who, what? Dude, a 2v2 fighting game at the same time. At the same time. That's a fucking great idea. It's time we honor an overlooked hero. The noble delivery cyclist. Powering the gig economy with their aching calves. Now, you might ask, hey, Sean, are you just feeling a little guilty because you gave your credit card details to the AI assistant and now someone has to deliver the 57 parcels you ordered before you noticed? In short, yes. But if this next exclusive is anything to go by, we'll all be can't stand the '90s graphics games. I don't mind them. Fine nation, gosh dang it! Let's take a look. Don't mind them at all? At Parcel Core. What's, what's the name of this game? No way. No, they didn't. What? Hello, Inquisitive Fury. My name is Will, Will Barr, and that was an example of a micro taser. You see, no, come on, we need more gameplay, bro. Obscure video games Don't do that. Like very good entertainment. You have a finite amount of time to explain why to certain intellectual players, such as yourself, uh, uh, should be excited about being thrust into the exciting high octane world of Parcel Core. That's right, escape the mundanity of daily life and slip into the spandex. Bro, of this looks fucking great. Is this like Jet Set, ra uh, the Jet Set Radio? Forget the security, stable salary, and basic workplace rights, less cool job. Nah, offer, this looks dope, dude. Race through time, nah, weaving dude. Through alleys, to find ground no way. Right up walls, leap from rooftops, startle pigeons. Yo! That's kind of like a career in video game development. Except without all the cool traversal stuff. So, yeah, really just the exploitation. Uh. But I digress. Sign a casual work agreement with one of three rival courier corporations, all vying to become the most profitable business in town. But be warned, a maniacal scheme is afoot that threatens more than just the Damn business the, model what, our protagonists what operate under. <laughs> so it's up to you, bicycle courier, <laughs> to deliver this footlong shaving his legs on dead. So melt and save the world. Okay, that looks dope. That that's going on the list. Parcel corpse. Parcel corpse. That looks good. Hi everyone. I'm Max from Brain Eye Games, a two-man studio based in Sweden, working on the game Fable Loom, currently available in early access. Okay. Don't be a schnapp for me. Sorry about the pigs. Okay, though. Xbox. Hello, micro friends. We have a new mission, soldier. Let's go. I know you're ready. Sean, he's just entering our PC Game Pass giveaway. We've got a bunch of one month subscriptions for new members to try the service. To get a chance of procuring one, visit the URL on screen now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mega Man, Mega Girl. Killer Queen Black, amazing game. 
Amazing game. Whoa! My cousin would love this game. Mega Man! Level editor. Okay. Sure. Before we continue with more exciting previews, I can respect a nice. generated a simple tactic to improve the show's revenue stream. Whoa. Yeah, great. Tell me more. I've allowed viewers to pay a small fee for a bespoke on screen shout out. Got good 228 rights. Great to be watching PC Gaming Show once again. Excellent <laughs> work, Sean and Co. Hey, I'm touched. And a little wealthier. Keep them coming. D Blaze Paladins writes Did Sean actually fire his team? Dick move, bro. <laughs> have to understand that this show needs to focus on long-term sustainability. Fired by Sean 23. Exactly, right? chat. You heard I that? Won the blood oath. My vengeance will not be denied. Okay, it looks like that's it. Our shout-outs feature is broken. I'm so sorry. That's going to be all for shout-outs. I haven't logged any errors, Sean. Well, I'm seeing red flags across the board, and it's a real tragedy. Just can't be helped. Just like I can't help wanting to see more previews. <clears throat> Speaking of shout outs, with that, 777 seven, Tony77. Seven, seven. Thank you for the 29 month prime support. He says, What up, Seas? It's really good. This show is really good so far. No! No! Okay, don't fucking scare me like that. Don't you dare. What is this? Hold on. Uh oh. Oh, way. Yeah. Go Paves with the Prime Gaming subscription for eight months. Thank you. Go Paves. All right, survival, four player cooperative. No gameplay. No way. I mean, no, no, it wouldn't be satisfactory too, would it? Chimera. Chimera, Chimera. Ooh, baby, when you talk like that. Ooh, baby, you make me go mad. Benita, Chineta, Uma, Chinera, Chinera. I don't know yet. I gotta see some gameplay. In the lost Caribbean sea was a Now, this game actually might be fire right here. Morning, I was his name. He succumbed to the white flame. Might be fire. His treasure was lost and his crew was tossed. Now is the day cursed pirates have their way. That's the life we live. Come along for the trip. When plans go astray, we find oh, a way. Yeah. We put them to a song. Da 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 da. We're a cursed crew and da 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 da. da. Stores our crew from before, yes, before. Black pearls in our chest, let us finish the quest now. This treasure we will <laughs> find with our powers combined. Our earth we will show. <laughs> see, our see if he's Diablo. Oh man. The Inquisition blocks our way. They see us as prey. Ignatia is their leader. You do well to exceed her. I really wish that was satisfactory too, so I could watch season line two conveyor belts for three hours. <laughs> stop, stop. You love that though. <laughs>
That looks pretty good. What's the name of that one, guys? Chat, what's the name of that game? We lost. What's the name of the game? Quick. I got anxiety. Shadow Gambit? Yo, guys. We got some games, man. Astroneer. HD. All right. So far, we got Black Skylands, Punch Club, Fast Forward, Frostpunk 2, Nabalis, Jump Light Odyssey, Warhaven, in parentheses, gotta watch. You never know. Dwarf, RTS, Sulphur, Lords of the Fallen, Dread Pirates, The Invincible, Diesel Legacy, Parcel Corpse, Shadows Gambit. Oh, hold on. Wait, and you build these? You build these and we race each other? Okay, so there's gravity wherever they are, obviously. EXO Rally Championship. I'm adding that to the list. Like, there's just no way I'm not. EXO Rally Champion. EXO Rally Championship might be racing its way across the stars, but it's already raced its way into my heart. Huh? Anyways, if you're not aware, I've got something of a history with the real-time strategy. Show. I love Day 9. And funnily enough, at labs like DeepMind, those same RTS games just so happen to be a valuable testing ground for world-leading AI research. Hmm, curious. Can it be just a coincidence, then, that I'd end up the kind of man to name himself an AI visionary? I mean, probably. But what's no coincidence is my excitement for the eagerly anticipated RTS from former Warcraft and Starcraft devs at Frost Giant Studios. It's Stormgate. And today, we don't just get the chance oh. to get some exclusive first look at some oh. Stormgate gameplay. But oh. We're also joined by Frost Giant's president of the game. Thanks so much for joining us, man. Ladies and gentlemen, Tim Campbell. For those of us who haven't, what is Stormgate? Okay. Sh 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 Stormgate is our modern take on the classic real-time strategy game formula. Woo! It's oh, what yeah. we think of as a spiritual successor to franchises like Warcraft, Starcraft, Command and & Conquer. And real-time strategy games are, are the type of game where you can control an entire battlefield. So this classic RTS formula includes harvesting resources, building sprawling bases, oh. commanding huge armies on the battlefield. Yes. What is it about Stormgate that's new? Yes. We believe that the RTS genre is something that should be enjoyed by players of all skill levels. And so we've put a lot of effort into making sure that Stormgate feels good, whether you're a pro with high technical skill and you love competitive play, or whether it's something that you just want to be able to relax with and experience a storm. Okay. Now, Tim, I understand that you brought for all of us, but in particular for me, yeah. a present to show today. What yes. are you going to show, Tim? Yes. We are going to show gameplay from the pre-alpha of Stormgate. Yeah. Now this is something that we are big believers in at okay. Frost Giant. We want to share this current state of the game today. Let's take a look. Pre-alpha gameplay. Oh, okay. Tim, I'm so excited. Oh. And right away, this looks like an RTS. Oh. Tell me what we're seeing. This is the classic start to a 1v1 match. What you're seeing here is the human <laughs> faction that's oh. sending workers out to harvest resources. Right. They're starting to yes. start building. They actually build them by 3D printing them from the ground up. 3D printing them. <laughs> and you can awesome. see them now starting to train oh, yeah. troops. They have an army that goes out in the field to fight. Yeah, and I mean, right here, we see in the corner coming up, this is, this looks like Look a at the scout. scout. Yeah, that is literally a cybernetic dog with laser eyes. It is called the scout, okay? <laughs> it's designed for early game. It's a unique unit to the human faction. Right. And you can see him now running through the base trying to see what information he can find out about Oh, million dollar scouting, idea with the scout. The scout being a robotic game. dog, million dollar idea. It really is, and this is something that we've embraced early game. The scout unit has been designed so it can actually the sense units beyond its sight radius. So oh, it's, a, it's awesome. especially useful early on. So we're heading into what looks like the first engagement of this game. What are we seeing? Well, we're okay, seeing so this right is here, obviously human resistance versus human resistance. A group of blue troops coming through the light force, which is a new train type and a twist on, on the tactical battlefield here. And how do these light force work? The light force lets smaller units move through them. They have concealment. Ah. It's allowed blue to raid red's base, in which case red is barely getting uh, a turret built with their speed building from their workers, which is another a human faction advantage. And they're about to pop out a couple extra defenders here from their mech base. So we got these huge Vulcans. mechs. I mean, just visually, it looks like they are countering the heck out of these blue infantry. But can these red mechs fit through the forest? No, no they're too okay. big to go through. They're heavy units. They're designed to use their okay. chain Okay, I like that. I like that. fit through the light forest, which blue knew and used to his advantage. 
Okay, so we're in mid-game. This is normally where you make some big tech decisions. What's Red up to? You're seeing Red commit to a tech path that gives them big battlefield mechs and air units like Medivacs. This. And it looks like they're just dropping Medivac right drops. on top of Blue, who was killing a, a chicken. What's the chicken there, Tim? Yeah. Yeah, that's a giant chicken with a Viking helmet on it. Uh, use your imagination. Stormgate's in pre-alpha, and that's art that we haven't gotten to yet, but imagine <laughs> it as a big Mad Max Raider. Ah, it's the most threatening placeholder. Okay. And, oh, camps. I see red camps, Jack. Blue. Camps. And hey, picking back For up the XP? For drops? High level micro. It is. And Reasons really to leave your base? Stormgate that we maintain a high skill ceiling so the players can express themselves on the battlefield by right. maneuvering and how they interact with the battlefield. And here we have the final fight. This of the is game. Monk versus like TLO. Coming up against those mechs, Red is trapped on the other side of the tree. Ooh. Oh, and they can Blue break down the trees with that ability. And Blue's dodging these enormous shots. And we can also see Blue swarming in from both sides. This is not looking good for Red. Too. No, it's pretty grim. Red, Red is on the ropes right here. And they've been outmaneuvered. They're caught in the corner here between two different forces coming in with a yeah. mobile pincer. Man, and of course, there's the GGs. The most classic ending to an RTS game GG. Get Tastosis on that spot. What's out of 1v1? What's coming up for Stormgate? What you've seen today is just the tip of the iceberg. We have so much more in store. We're going to be revealing a bunch of stuff about Stormgate the rest of this year. Yes. We're introducing new modes. We have a three-player versus AI cooperative mode. Yes. We have team-based competitive modes. We're going to be sharing information about our storyline and campaign. Yes. Uh, we have new factions beyond the humans that you just saw today. New but factions. Tim, what if I want to play the game right now? Don't even. If you want to play the game as soon as possible, okay. you wish list Stormgate on Steam, and you go to playstormgate.com to sign up for the beta. We're okay. starting closed testing. <laughs> okay, yo, day, day nine again, almost did Steam it to me just now. Stormgate. <laughs> Tim, thank you so much again for joining us, not just to talk about yes. the 1v1 footage you shared, but the future content plans of Stormgate that makes the RTS players' dreams come true. Yes. Which might not be your dream. Stormgate I mean, will be the next great be RTS. And that's only pre-alpha footage. Inspired sci -fi We're going to watch something a little bit later. Star Wars oh, from um, yeah. so, Beast Gaming. Of this latest trailer for Fortune's Run. I don't know how. I don't know if you guys ever watched like old school, old school StarCraft, like StarCraft 2 alpha footage. But if you compare StarCraft 2 alpha footage to what StarCraft 2 it became, it's night and day. And that looks really good for alpha footage, for pre-alpha footage of uh, for uh, Stormgate. I'm hyped. DMCA's? Oh man, we're gonna we're gonna have to go back and break down that whole video. Dark Green Duck? They call the dying sun. Wait, what? It's been the room. Too many poor girls. Is she singing? Wait a minute. Spinal fluid is fucking doing backflips right now. Yo, hold on, though. No. <laughs> Yo, wait a minute, with the melee combat? I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for the melee combat. Whatever. Fortune's run? All right, let me, let me go ahead and put that on there. Obviously, ben, we're going to put Stormgate on there, but that's already on there. On the Great Crusade, Fortune's... which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty loving pixel people block everywhere games. march with you. I have full Get pixel blocked and in games. Devotion to duty oh, you did play the battle. demo spinal? Okay. We'll accept nothing less than full victory. Good luck, and let us all beseech the blessing of Almighty God upon this great and noble undertaking. Stormgate website crashed. Yo, let me actually post that in the chat, guys. Let me see something. Storm Gate. Um, no, it's it's playstormgate.com. But hold on. Yeah, their website is down right now. So no, even better. Let me go to Steam powered Storm Gate.
All right, yo, here, guys. That's to wish list it. We are. I'm gonna tell you guys as a community, we are gonna go on a proper run of Stormgate. A proper run. Keep moving. We've That's if there. you guys haven't wish listed the game, I highly suggest you guys wish list it. Number one, but number two, if you want to get access to the to their beta alpha, what they were just talking about in that trailer, you're gonna have to do that through PlayStormgate.com. But that website is down right now. I might have to hit up our folks over at Frost Giant. Like, you got some extra keys. I got some future esports trainees. What what game is this? Hell Let Loose. I feel like this game's been out though, right? I mean, we got Battle Bit remastered. No disrespect. Yo! Okay, that tail looked like a cheek for a second, bro. Like, that tail looked like somebody's cheeks. Okay. Why does that look good? What does that say? Jorelli's brother? I'm putting that on the... I'm putting that on the... Jarelli's brother. Yeah, that art style looked very familiar. Oh, they're doing like a speed run, guys. They're doing a speed run of, uh, of games. Apparently in Stormgate, there's heroes in every mode except 1v1. Interesting. Yeah, there's definitely camps, though. There's definitely camps. That there's probably going to be some type of, you know, camp creeps at. Which I like because it's incentive to leave your base to go out and fight. I got some more, I got some more details on Stormgate. We'll read it after this. And I may or may, I, and I may or may not have some imagery as well, guys. As an AI, I have no need for material possession. Uh. But good news: PC Gaming Show viewers can take advantage of Double the three. promotional contest by following the instructions on the screen. If this product and/or service stimulates your orbital cortex, follow the instructions on the screen. Frank, yeah, we've seen impressive, almost like unrealistic tech on display today. It's just a shame our viewers at home can't get their hands on some of that bleeding edge hardware. Your concerns are both unnecessary and convenient, Sean. As the long-term vanguard of gaming, Alienware continues to offer high-end PC hardware. Considering their extraterrestrial origins, it comes as no surprise. Look, in 28 minutes, sack train, made basic aliens. Websites in my training model contain trash mouth with big boy oh, The truth is out there. Great. But let's do some truth telling of our own and hear what Alienware is offering the folks at home. Alienware has been a part of my professional life for a while now. From the games you play to what you do for work, that's very hardware intensive. When using Alienware, you get a performance that is very, very difficult to match. It doesn't have just the kind of like generic gamer look to it. Literally everything I do is powered by Alienware and it just makes me so happy. Don't miss your shot at Alienware giveaway goodness. Scan that code now. I mean, Frankie, can you believe this? <clears throat> we got an Alienware M18 laptop with an Intel Core i9 processor for the fine price point of free? Oh, it's enough to get anyone's free. blood pumping. As you know, Sean, I'm a network of predictive algorithms and generative software. I am fundamentally incapable of- Bro, you know what I found out the other day, chat? I understand. I also don't have blood. But I- Would you like me to procure blood, Sean? God, no, absolutely not. Anything but that. Hold on, I'll tell you a Literally anything else. Remind so, me to tell you guys what's after next? this. Uh, Vampire Survivors. It was a little awkward. Let's have a look at some. Okay, look, guys. DLC apparently, IKEA does survivors. this thing where you could pay for things with time. So, like, you have to be able to track and show proof of like how long you travel to get to their stores and back, and then they allow you to actually pay for products with time. Did you guys hear about that? 
I don't know if it's something that they still do, but it's definitely something that they did. Isn't that cool, though? That's like a million-dollar idea. I get... Yeah. They allow... Based off the amount of time that you travel to Ikea and back gives you a currency that you can use to buy stuff in their store. So if I take an eight-hour flight, I could buy a whole new house. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? Kalai, give yourself a timeout. 60 seconds. We are only a couple months out from the full release of Baldur's Gate 3. I literally cannot tell you how excited I am to try out some of the character builds I've got going on up here. I'm thinking of running like a mage. Oh, Baldur's Gate? Kind of vibe Yo, you know we're going to be playing this game solo. Can you generate? You know that, right, guys? Because you guys awesome convinced me that it's it's so lovable. In like a D and D style, like look, I want to be. A yeah, we're gonna play like Baldur's Gate. Fully Gandalf out with like a staff and like <laughs> blasting spells like that. Can you like? Nah, you see, get get the curve off the screen. I can't. You see, you know, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it now. Now it has to stay there. This was generated in seconds. Holy! Well, a professional artist's work would take hours, if not days. Yes, that's. That is true. It's hard to tell this wasn't the work. Okay, I'll get it off the screen just for you, okay? Professional, but do you have any professional artist work? You know, just to like compare. I do. Thanks to the I'm petty, aren't I? extraordinaire at MASH. Here's an original animation for Larian's Board Escape 3. <laughs> <laughs> My fellow adventurers. Baldur's Gate. The road to Baldur's Gate has been long. We have fought cultists of a strange new god. Battle packs of fearsome gnolls and gone toe to toe with creatures from beyond this plane. But today we faced our Yo, there is a 90s, like a 90s cartoon theme going on. And I think his blood was acid. I'm not sure how that even works, like anatomically. Tomorrow we find higher ground, then rain down upon him with 100 arrows. No, first I will incapacitate him with a fit of hideous laughter. Then we will fill his bog with grease and set it on fire. And if he attempts to escape the blaze, fear not, for I will keep my eye out oh, for him. Please don't. Even Lazelle's puns are more amusing. Among Sev, I haven't. No, I did play a little bit of um, uh, Divinity Original Sin, though. Defeat this foe. Somewhere within these twisted swamps dwells a hag who possesses a potent potion, an elixir that could grant us the ability to convert. Everybody is missing an eye, except the orc lady and him. Will necessitate a trade. Give me his spleen. Frost Giant, did you miss Stormgate? Now attempt to reason with the creature. Most mighty beast, though you defeated us once. You just missed it. Turn to seek your guidance. Yes, your website crashed. I know, dude. I know. We're going to do a little recapitation after this. I'm going to see if we could go back and watch a little bit. And then I also got some stuff I want to read to the chat. And some imagery I want to show. I didn't know you speak frog. Gosh, I'm so sorry about yesterday. I'm so embarrassed. You know, ever since the hag turned me into a frog, I've been down in the dust. <laughs> 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 oh. Come on, dude. Cities are incredibly hard to make in RPGs because you have to make sure that every single nook and cranny has something to do. You have to make sure that it's different. Oh, here so we go. To be incredibly creative. Given that the name of the game is Baldur's Gate, the city was really going to be the thing that people were going to be talking about. The city mm. of Baldur's Gate is seamless, which uh, it originally wasn't. You only can judge the game when you have all the components together. And if the mix doesn't work, we start over. At some point, he said, like, can't we just connect everything? And uh, that was uh, that was a very interesting day. One of the things that that's done is it's brought a level of believability and immersion uh, and also complexity mm. that wouldn't have been there otherwise. Now it was this seamless, giant organism, and it really, really felt good. It's being able to look out of a window and see down the city slopes, so you're seeing down toward the docks, and you're like, one of my teammates might be down there. They might be running around down there. We worked on it. Uh, as a painting almost. You, you start with a sketch, a very basic line, and then you just start adding layers and layers. 
we can put lots more of the city onto the screen uh, than they could in 1998. So uh, mm. we can do something that is more immersive, richer, has more texture to it. It feels like you are walking around a place where there are lots and lots of people living their actual lives. You have crowds that are walking around, can talk to pretty much anybody, and they react to every single thing. It's, it's very alive in that sense. Every person that you meet in Baldur's Gate uh, has got a story to them. All the things that you have done up to the city really matter. You can really feel the conclusion of everything. Yeah, what's going to be our class? We actually build anticipation through all these characters that you've met, through all these situations that you've been through. All the stories that you have been following, and all the decisions that you've been making, they all come to fruition uh, in that lower city. And the great thing is, if you so choose, you can be another bad thing that's happening to the city. You can arrive and be like, oh, this place is on fire, and then you can throw petrol all over it. During production, we felt like the city was our was our destination. We spent, I think, three times, four times as much effort on the city than we originally planned. But the result, the result, the, the, the feeling of walking in there is just fantastic. You have this constant jostling of things. This game releases in October, right, chat? The real world. And then, you can and then there's like a demo right now or something? And then when you walk into the city, the noise of everybody talking to each other. Not a demo, but I think you can play like the first you something. Look, you can go there and you can do something. The knowledge that you can fly through it, it's great. So the thing that I was the most afraid of when we started making this game turned out to be the thing that I'm the most proud of. <laughs> Larian Studios breaks the classic RPG series out of a two-decade retirement when Baldur's Gate 3 finally releases on August 31st. Up next, we're forging ahead with more fantasy. Oh, on, on Halloween. Headed fighters face ferocious foes in a co op action. Wait, didn't we play Ember Knight chat? After all, what's a roguelike without an onslaught of algorithmic terrors? Got him. I feel like there's a lot of that going on around here lately. Anyways, here's the latest trailer for Ember Knights. <laughs> Ember Knights was lit. Oh, I, yeah. Oh, hold on with the soundtrack. I'm not ready right now for the soundtrack. Smoke that boss. Smoked it. Smoked all those units. Smoke that boss. Might have been too smoke the hell out of that boss. Might have been too good actually. A lot of people ask, Captain Stupid with the 31 months. Thank you, dude. We can be heroes. 1.0 available on July 18th. Nice, Caffeine. Not the dubstep from 2010. What? I can dig it. I can visualize. Terratech Worlds. I mean, low, I mean, Would you like the endless loop slow key. Slow key. The upcoming self extraction horror. You know what? Let me put it on the list. In Macabre, you and your friends will team up to confront interdimensional terrors, venturing deep into unstable time risk tasks with uncovering the source of terrifying anomalies. A great way to enjoy the outdoors. Built in Unreal 5, this exclusive debut will be out later this year in early access.
another world premiere. You seriously don't have any signal. Not even one bar, there's nothing. I can't get any Oh, that's GG. Stealth extraction horror. Scary thing getting around inside the rift. Seen a bear before. You guys look lost. <laughs> Come on. You freeze to death out here. Uh -oh. Suppose you're looking for the lodge. Here, take this. I call it the atomic space shifter. Yeah, if anything goes wrong, not that it will, <laughs> I can pull you back out. A lot of folks have come up here looking for answers. It's interesting. Weird. It's like time runs differently here. Guys, I think I found something. We gotta find the others, dude. <gasps> what? Shit. Shit. Oh, GG. Spiked right in the chest. Get alien spiked at it. Oh! <laughs> Look at you guys jumping. Ha! <laughs> ha! I mean, Macabook? Haha, I can't believe it worked. This is it. This is the key to. Ah, you're alive. Ready to go back in? Uh, sure. I don't know. I don't know. That might be a schnapp for me. Wait a minute. Copy. Flying course now. Sector locked in. Goodbye. No, no, this is not this is not expanse. Ex this is not expanse. I have seen Starfield, but you know what I mean? I might have to see a little bit more of Starfield before I'm 100% convinced. Earthless. Earthless. I mean, no gameplay, though. Man, it's unfortunate. As great as Earthless looks... Oh, they did a 45-minute deep dive of Starfield? Really? ...when our big, beautiful sun enters its twilight years. Me? I'm optimistic. Who knows what we'll achieve by then? Every billionaire-funded space rocket that detonates moments after takeoff is one more step on the winding road of progress. Up next, tie on those togas and make merry with fine wine as all roads lead to this newest Yeah, weather. you guys are Here's optimistic. Look at Nova Roma. City Saver, Rebuilder, Kingdoms and Castles. I know, I know, there's a, uh, they have a whole other showcase that we can watch or we could save it. We could watch and we could save it for next stream or we could just go full blown, look at everything today. We'll see, we'll see.
You guys love game discoverage. Damn, Aston, really? No Man's Sky put Starfield up on? I'm telling you, man, it's always it's always gonna be like the small the small dev teams, man, that save gaming. You know what I mean? It's always gonna be the, it's always gonna be small guys. An epic survival strategy game. The Great War is over. It's all, all good, Grizzly. I love my one trick. To return home. I love my one trick game discovery viewers. To the newborn Czechoslovakia, we fought for. Brothers and sisters. Brothers and my sisters and my sisters and my brothers. Hold on, you guys are getting hyped. Wait, what? This part of the journey would be the most difficult. We RTS? To see our home once again. Across the endless snow fields of Siberia. Wait a minute. Through territory disputed by the red and white army. Wait, is this commandos? By armored train in a harsh winter. Far from our loved ones. This shit looks advanced. Outnumbered by enemies, we fight to make our way. Surrounded by wilderness, we manage in order to survive. This is our last chance. Our last train home. Oh, that must have sucked back in the day, man. Having to rewrite that whole shit by hand. Wait a minute. Will you lead us? Last train home. Yo, Loki, that looks that looks interesting. Last Mary's squad train. tactics with historic oh. inspiration, Last Train Home is based on real events in the aftermath of World War I. However, historians continue to uncover records describing train passengers traveling homewards, some dating as recently as 2023. Whether any train home is truly the last remains the subject of academic debate. History is based on real events. Though. I'm sold. Puppets can't be trusted. What? As proof, Watch. Don't scare After me like that. Meet survival horror in my friendly neighborhood. Hang on, it's Kyle. Bro, this game has evolved like 60 times. We need you to head down to the Sunrise Street Studio lot. The antenna activated. Wait, is this a different game from what I'm thinking? Why do they look like Muppets? Need to turn that thing off. You gotta get this done, man. Stage four. The last job of the day is always the worst. Wait, is this kind of like a like a, a twist on Five Nights at Five Nights at Freddy's? Let's do this. Eh. 
you and me. My friendly neighborhood. Yeah. You know what I mean? That might that might be a schnaw for me. Might be a schnaw. They could hit me with the reversal, but I think for now it doesn't make it on the list. A sprint victory and points off for grabs right here. Push as much as you can. Kirby. Indy 500. Can they push more, I wonder? They can't afford to sit back and relax now. Are we in trouble or not? Oh, and that's a crash! Is it a manager or... With a is it a, like it, it looks like a manager of a, of a racing Stay game right, right? Here, because we're just getting started yeah but they take you inside of the fucking uh, inside of the car which is nice do, do they do that in the other ones hey frank ai how are the metrics looking are we like doing numbers we're attracting considerable viewership sean However, I've identified a simple programming adjustment to target underrepresented segments of our audience demographic. Shall I execute it? Well, hell yeah, let's do it. Ah, cornering the VTuber the? market. Smart, very smart. I'm just not really sure this is my vibe, but since we're on a time crunch, let's see what's next for Subnautica Likes <laughs> in Space. With a Yo, Subnautica, whoa, two. Subnautica Likes in Space. Okay, damn, they're actually calling it Subnautica Likes. You gotta recognize. I mean, I would play Dredge, but the disrespect to the, the sentient being that is a chicken, I, I, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, but low key though. Ooh, Ooh that sucks. So you gotta, I like, I like ideas like that. Like, dude, see, that's okay. That's kind of fire. Oh, Jesus. Wait a minute. Multiplayer? Co op? I mean, there's a chance. There's a possibility. There's a possibility. But not if Stormgate is out, because if Stormgate is out, there's no fucking way. Got to get GM first. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute now. What the hell is this? This looks kind of good. <laughs> don't kick the don't kick the ghoul in the butt like that. Bloomtown. Man, there are so many great video games in this I'm gonna year's put show. That. Yo, there Frank really AI. is, though. What there really is. Know about sand. Sand is what was the name of that game? Substance yeah. composed of mineral particles. It is finer than gravel, but coarser than silt. Yes, but it's also a brand new survival game set in an alternate history where Austro-Hungarian soldiers smuggle space salvage across alien deserts. I don't understand that sentence. Would you like to hear more about sand types? Roger that. Oh, no need. I'm about to know plenty. Let's take a look at Sam. These two are doing a great job, by the way, hosting this. Wouldn't you guys agree? Nonstop cap and claps for Frankie and Dayton. Huh? I do believe day nine streams from time to time.
Tiny build. Yo, fellas, this, this game is built off your body types. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Look at that pipe. Oh, dude. Is this like a... Like a like a steam... Nah, is he flying? It looks like he's flying. Or is he on a boat? Nah, there's no way he's on a boat. He might be like on a steam craft, like a flying steam craft. Maybe a train? There's no way. It's too smooth. He's flying. Nah, it's not a train. You non-train knowers. There's no way to train. It's, it's an aircraft. Million dollars. Million dollars. Bet me a million dollars right now. Aircraft. Not a boat. Aircraft. Trust, trust, trust. But maybe not, though, because they're not wearing glasses. It's a fucking train, you dumbasses. I told you. It's not a train. It's not a train. <laughs> Yo, sign me up. <laughs> Sand. Oh, yeah, I'm in. Oh, no gameplay, but, you know, some games, bro, I don't know about you guys, some games just don't need gameplay, right? Like, I give some games a pass. I give some games a pass, like, okay, I'm going to let you hit me with the no gameplay one time. We have reached the end of this year's I am going to put no gameplay on there, though. Exciting for the end. <laughs> oh, way. Yeah. Awakening, the survival MMO adaptation. But I like the, the idea. I like the concept of that. Frank AI. Barren deserts, for the big fucking scavenging for parts for your fucking your spider tank. That's a little that, literal that you think is a blimp. But what if we had like costumes? Oh, dude's got some really cool costumes. We have the steel dude suits, awakening the royal garments. Oh my god, I could dress up maybe as like a giant sandworm. It will require three million teraflops of processing power to render you as a sandworm, Sean. <sighs> oh, they got Man. some gameplay pics on Steam. Okay, don't worry about it. We can. It's on a list. Skip the costuming. It's just something that like Frankie and I used to do. Like, not you, like the real Frankie with the fun hair who's not a computer. Well, yeah, oh, I could only imagine. Man, there was this I one imagine. year where she was a shark, and then oh, oh, and she was like a mech pilot, and oh, I had a spaceship. And there was this other time with Tolga's, and I had this really nice robe. Anyways, just forget it. I'm it's a PvPVE online game. Looks like Lost stuff. Oasis, adults, but better. Ooh, right? okay. That's what I'm talking about. Frankie Ward? Do you still no, do the, the green screen effect is messing up her skirt. Do the dress a bit so bad. I'm sorry. Oh, because she's wearing like a floss, like colored skirt. Computers. Why did I say floss? Foil. What the hell? Day 9 is huge. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's that's Frankie, one of the characters in the game. I mean, in the movie. The Gladly. Here Day nine. Is, is that a condom on your head? I'm dead. I'm dead. What game am I most excited for? I mean, out of all these games, I mean, Stormgate. That's like my. Like you guys gotta understand, StarCraft Two is my very first PC game only. Like. That was a time. That was that was a hell of a time to be alive. Learning StarCraft. But I got a, we got a couple of, we got a lot of good games. Dude, this was this PC gaming show is top tier so far. My name Very is good. Bylos. Oh my I'm god, he looks like Tony Soprano on the right. Awakening. What the fuck? So June Awakening is a Okay, not now, but from the side though. Open world massively multiplayer game. It is a game where players MMO? are invited to explore. The we'll see you literally when fucking. Themselves in when did Dune take place? They involve themselves in so that's when this game is actually going to come out. Combat, they have to survive on the most dangerous planet in the universe, and through this experience, they come to know the factions in the world and the universe. <laughs> this game is going to be amazing. So when Dune Awakening begins, you are a castaway on the planet in the deep. Desert. Bro, this guy got All a little bit of like Tony Soprano vibes. Of scrap metal. And you need to creep into enemy camps and knife them in the back and steal the water from their steel suits. You guys can't By wait the for this? The game, perhaps you're running a guild. You have a fleet of vehicles. Whoa. Ornithopters flying in formation. Guys, there's no way. Guys, cruising guys. across the desert beneath them. At tanks, least 2046. Kicking up a cloud of dust as you drive to a spice blow in the distance. 
in order to harvest with your guild. And you see in the distance another guild coming towards you, and just as you clash, you hear the rumble of a sandworm coming. Welcome back, Buster. Combat. Welcome back. In June Awakening. My name is Viljar Sommerbach. I'm the game director on Dune Awakening. You start out in the desert, surviving, clinging to life, and in the end, you might become someone like the Baron Harkonnen, and then you try to cling to power. Arrakis is the most dangerous planet in the universe. Uh, surviving on Arrakis means that you need to prepare for sandstorms. You need to find water. It's a constant threat against. Uh, I have seen the movie. Yes, uh, the I did see Dune. Every time you try to cross the desert, the sandworm will come. You will sometimes uh, out. Bro, I better get my royalties for having. <laughs> Dune Awakening is built upon a foundation of five pillars. Survival, which is obviously everything you'd expect to see in a survival game. It's water discipline, <laughs> it's the surviving the sandstorms that sweep across Arrakis. Then we have politics and intrigue, which speaks to the faction gameplay of the game. It's about, you know, siding with one of the factions, thinking about how they work together, perhaps assassinating members of the other factions. Then there's infinite exploration. Infinite exploration, which is one of the things I'm most excited Infinite. about, is how the world changes. Over Not time. the I word. We have a concept oh, called way. the Oriole yeah. Storm, and when it sweeps Damn, across the Damn, okay, busted. Shift, revealing new points okay, of with the 11 months. Numbers, making the game renewed every week. Then we have combined arms. You gotta recognize it. Is our combination of vehicles. Thank you, dude. Melee combat, range combat, and abilities all work. I mean, you guys, you guys are really hyped for this game, huh? Sandbox combat experience. And finally, I don't see it. Expression and Not yet, though. Which is really more. Than I wish nothing but the about, best, like, but the I don't know. Expression and customization, which of course we have. It's it's still very early. I mean, we do got 40 years before the game drops anyway. So. Creation. But in addition to that, it's really about play the way you want to play. Do you want to be a trader? You can do that. Do you want to be a fighter? Of course you can do that. Do you want to be a spy? Maybe that's the gameplay you're looking for. All of these things built into these pillars. To Anarchy Online, huh? I've so never heard of that game. the journey of the player, we've divided that into four parts. Oh, welcome back, Boston. Uh, we think of them as survive, protect, expand, control. The survive part means that you're up You know this guy plays the airsoft itself, on the weekends. And you're clinging on. And I got to respect it. In the protect phase, uh, you've gathered some stuff, you might have a base, uh, but you also want to make sure that nobody else comes to, to take it away from you. So you try to build defenses and make sure that your base is in the clear. Then He's in very the intense. Phase, you lift your like if you, like bro, and, and he might record it on his GoPro, and if well, you're not and fucking you calling your hits, bro, he's gonna get pissed. Then Rightfully so, though. People be cheating in airsoft. They be getting shot in the neck with fucking plastic BBs going 100 miles an hour, acting like they didn't feel that shit. Fucking cheaters, bro. However, you're never safe. Uh, there's always someone lurking around the corner. Can you really trust your second in command? So the goal. Yeah, you peep that devil. The Hellsinger shirt. You are clinging to control. Whenever you get into combat in the desert of Arrakis, try to get it over with quickly. Because not only are you fighting human combatants, but the planet Arrakis itself is the greatest protagonist there is. <laughs> he uses metal BBs now. Um, I'm gonna wait on that one. I'm gonna wait on that one. And with that, the PC Gaming Show 2023 is done. And what a show it was. And uh, what a lesson for me, honestly. AI excels at plenty, but only an absolute doofus would think it can replace the human touch. I mean, you'd have to be an irredeemable bozo, like a real human dumpster to pull that. So uh, that's the end of Frank AI. You are uh, getting the band back together. I mean, yeah, if we get another show next year, then yeah, you betcha. If. Nah, they're dope. Well, they know, make a good team. Up. You guys pretty smart. I mean, I think he's actually the CEO now of PC Gamer and all subsidiary publications. This is IPs. good. I think he's got some really great ideas, but he also caddies for some very influential people on the golf course. Life comes at you fast, I guess. Either way, see you next year. Bye bye. See ya. Bye. All right. Hey. Bye. Great job. Great job. Yo, day nine would have fucking. They would have been waving for three hours. Uh oh, behind the scenes. Speed. Bloopers. Hold on, my lips are sweating. Okay, here it comes. Lip sweat. Okay, here it is. Everyone, quiet on set. Here I come. This is a big moment. Okay. Yeah, Tark, it's good. We got it on the list. Okay, guys, let's see. 
hold on guys before we do anything though with maneuvering before we do anything can we go back oh man is frost giant still here did you guys did they upload anything to like their pay oh they did they did frost giant they think of everything okay guys okay guys they did Yes, we are going to dissect. We are going to dissect. Okay, let's first watch the whole thing. Let's watch the whole thing first. And then I got some, and then I, and then I have some, I got some shit. I got, you know what I mean? I got some things that I can read. You know what I mean? I got some, some information here. Okay. Maybe some inter some information about some featured human units, you know, like Bob, Scout, Lancer, Exo, you know, the MedTech, the Atlas, the Evac Transport, the Vulcan. You know what I mean? I, but let's not let's not get ahead of ourselves though. Let's just go ahead and just let's just go ahead and just because it is six o'clock. Yes, it is six o'clock. Three p.m. on the West Coast, of course. Here we go. Okay, real quick though, but just for just for people to understand. So, like, why are we excited about Stormgate? So, first and foremost, my first PC game ever was StarCraft II, and I absolutely fucking love that game. Guys, I was like, I never, I never had an experience like I had with StarCraft II, like where I, I would get ladder anxiety. I would click play, and then like that fucking countdown timer, I'd be so fucking nervous to fucking go through, and then like I'd fucking cancel it. I'm like, oh, I'm not ready. And I was like, let me do my build one more time. Like, it was the type of game, bro. Like. It was my first PC game ever. Like, I came right from controller to like learning all these keybinds, optimizing things, like watching different content creators trying to learn like how to play optimally. This is that and the third. Um, I would wake up at like three o'clock in the morning uh, to watch Gom TV, which was like uh, to watch the GSL, um, to watch like the professionals play in Korea. Uh, you know, I would play with my I would play with my cousin. I, you know, I would play with the boys. Uh, we would do the ladder and it was all about the 1v1, man. It was all about the appreciation, the appreciation of the 1v1. And then I would like fucking drill builds, man. I would drill them until I fucking knew them like the back of my hand. The first build I ever learned was the MMM, which, which is, which was, which stood for the Marine, uh, Marauder Medivac. And it was a drop that you could do in like seven minutes. And if, but like, you know what I mean? You also got to do this while you're being harassed and shit like that. But if I would pull it off, it would feel so fucking great. And I would like win sometimes. The motherfuckers would be like GG and like end game. It was fucking epic. So now if you guys don't know, uh, that, that was fucking, that was 13 years ago. Okay. So here we are in this day and age where, you know, RTS is man. It's like, fuck RTS are diff. You know, they're, they're, they kind of have this reputation of being difficult games and, uh, and you know, and, and people, you know, are kind of timid and afraid of that. But, you have Frost Giant, Frost Giant Studios, which is, you know, they're they're making an RTS. And they happen to consist of a team that created StarCraft, Brood War, and StarCraft uh, 2. Okay? So, we're here, dude. We're here. This is the predecessor, dude. This is, oh, no, not the predecessor. This is the successor of fucking StarCraft 2, essentially, right? They have all the OG, like, uh, GOAT devs that were responsible for making that great game. They formed their own team called Frost Giant Studios, and now they're making Stormgate. So this is why I'm so excited for this game personally. And I know already that they're going to have a one they're like, you know, they're going to have competitive 1v1. They're even going to have they're even going to supposedly they're going to have like a 3v3 mode. They're also going to have like a 3 uh, uh, a, th a 3 player versus environment mode. Um there's going to be like campaigns. It's going to have everything. You know what I'm saying? Like to kind of like build a community, get everybody excited about it and then hopefully little by little people start trickling into the PVP shit where where the real juice is. Where the super juice is. Um, so now we, you know, we got, we got some, we got some information. We're going to watch this. We're going to, I didn't read any of the, um, I didn't read any of the, uh, the information, by the way. Like I, I've been, I've been staring at this PDF and I'm like, bro, I'm going to read this for the first time with the stream so they can, you know what I mean? So we can all kind of get excited and read and, and, and theory craft and, and, and get hyped together for it. Right. So I saved that for you guys. I didn't cheat on you. One pod for me right now, the goddamn and any unused Twitch primes used right now, right now. God damn it. So here we go. Stormgate gameplay reveal pre-alpha, guys. Pre-alpha. All right. PC gaming show. Let's go. Frost Giant Studios. Are they just going to re... Oh, they're going right into it? Oh, yeah. 
Oh god. Oh god. Nah, this looks great for pre-op. Oh yeah. Oh, what was that? Okay, short grass. Dude, so they do have... Wait, these guys... Okay, so these aren't the Vulcans. These are... This is a different unit with, with a fucking gun. But these are the Vulcans over here. I see the Vulcans over here. Okay, the scouts. The robotic scouts. I love that, dude. Like, who the... Bro, you used to have to scout with your worker, guys. Now there's actually a scout unit. Medivac drops. Okay, use it. Okay, th this is a ramp, oh, and they got two buildings yeah. being used to block off the ramp. Okay. And this looks like a bigger ramp down here. Okay, I'm just, my bad. I'm just stopping. My bad. My bad, Chad. My bad. Medivac. Hi, guys. This is TLO. Obviously played. TLO! My entire life, so it's been a real privilege for me to be one of the first people to try out Stormgate. Really stoked about this match against Kevin. I think I'm going to do some light harass in the early game and then just try to overwhelm him with a massive amount of macro. Okay, they're playing. Okay, Q W E R, Q Q W E R. They're playing in what should we call it? Uh, fucking grid. I like that. Okay, the mini map. Oh, look at this. The symmetry with the mini map. My bad. I'm just looking at. I'm just looking at stuff. Scout. Uh huh. They've been playing for 1 minute 59 seconds. Right? You see the two different types of resources. Hi, you see the supply. Hi, my name is Kevin Monk Dong, and I work on gameplay and balance on Storm Game. Young Monk. Today, I'll be trying a fast expansion build, and then I'll try to tech to higher tier units to defend whatever TLO throws at me. Okay, so now he knows they're coming. Look at Bob. I, I think those guys are called Bob. We're going to go over everything. Let just, let's just watch it. Wait, what is that? Oh, okay. Ooh, with the Marines behind the Vulcans? Wait a minute. The human faction, dude, might be the main. Might be the main. Oh, the Vulcans are uh, He did a lot of worker damage there, so I'm at a pretty bad economic disadvantage. I'm gonna have to try some really sneaky tactics, maybe getting an upgrade TLO isn't familiar with, perhaps maybe even luckily creepjacking him. So that's the camp, and there seems to be some type of resource, like a special resource there. Okay, I like that. Okay, what? Pick it up. Oh, wait, picking up the Vulcans in the medevac? Looking forward to hopefully dealing with I like with that. I'll attack again from the right side through the light trees, but this time we'll bring in a large of Dude, I'm so happy they did this, well. dude. And um, I think I'll be able to out micro him here. Um, he has a more static mech army, I believe, and my buy unit should be able to touch. Uh, Is that like a, that's like a siege shot, tank, I think. And I have a pretty oh, he saved the siege tank. Oh, you can pick it up while it's siege, too. Nice. And drop it while it's siege. I don't know if it's a, it, it might be a siege tank of some sort. GG, okay. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's start from the beginning now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Big ass bat. Oh, look at those little guys right there. Are these 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 look like some type of are these like some type of med? These are like oh my god, walking medivacs. Walking med dudes. Look at them. They're healing. There's a lot going on. Damn, mad scouts. Wait, they built mad scouts here. Alright, let's get something on the screen here. Bro, they really, act, dude, I had no idea they were going to drop this whole video right here, right after the fucking show. That's fucking fantastic. Okay, guys, so let's talk a little bit. So what do we got here? What do we got here? What? Let me see something. Um, okay, so we know the race that we're looking at is, a cur the current name for them is the Human Resistance right now. Okay, the first of Stormgate's asymmetric playable factions. Okay. And we know other factions to come include the infernal host but we don't know anything about them right now um 
a race of warmongering demons hell-bent on claiming Earth and its resources. Cooperative modes will enter closed testing this year, 2023. All right. What, okay, so first look at Stormgate's two main resources. So if you guys remember the resources for StarCraft were what, guys? Uh, minerals. You have not enough minerals. Um, and uh, gas. So you need the gas guys for the gas, and then you need, a, uh, you need the SCVs or the probes or the drones to, um, to gather minerals. Uh, but now, they, okay, hold on, let me read this real fast, though. My bad, I'm doing like six things at one time. Um, and I don't know if I could show you guys. Can I show you guys this thing? I guess I could show you guys this. Well, I don't really, should I? I mean, let me cover some of this stuff. Um, I think I can show you guys this. You know what? Let me not. You know what? Does it matter? I think I can. Like, guys, if I show you guys a file, like, like from a PDF, like, that's not, like, anything crazy, right? Let me see if I have just... Hold on. Let me try something real quick. Bro, why did this open? Why did this open? Um, okay, anyway, let me just, I'm just going to read it, guys. Okay, so they got, their two main resources are Luminite, which is a primary resource, um, 10th visual gold mount. So they have a temporary visual that they're using, which is that gold mount that we saw in the beginning, right? Um... Let me actually play this while reading. Okay. Um, then their secondary, their secondary resource is Ethereum. Hi guys, this is TLO. Obviously played. Right? So secondary resource, which is a, a, just a gray and glowing green uh, polyhydrons, whatever that is, uh, mostly used to pay for advanced units and structures and upgrades. Gradually spreads and enriches when unmined. Gradually spreads and enriches when unmined, providing players with strategic options about where and when they should expand. Ethereum appears in various forms that each have different gameplay me mechanisms, including exposed patches and underground uh, and underground veins. Is it vein or vine? I, I never knew that one. Okay, fe uh, featured human units. So these dudes up here, where are they at? Okay, so this is like temporary. Vein, Vine, the former, Vein, Vine, we lost. So this right here, these guys I believe are called Bob. So Bob is a smiley-faced robot worker unit who harvests resources, builds structures, repair mechanical units, and even muster a solid defense in a pinch. Yes, he be ready. B.O.B. ready. Okay, the Scout, which is that dog, right, the mechanical dog, these robot dogs with... Frickin' laser eyes have heightened senses that can even identify the presence of enemies still concealed by the fog of war. Nice. So if you guys don't know, there's a fog of war mechanic in these RTS games. So, like, you're not going to see certain things on the map unless you have a unit there or a building there or you uh, that, that, that is providing uh, vision to that area. So the dogs, the robotic dogs, you know, because they're robotic dogs, they, they have enhanced... Senses and they they can detect units that are close or in the fog of war. I like that. The Lancer, a blade swinging frontline soldier with a long reach. We saw what the Lancer looked like. Um, I'm I'm gonna skip through some of this stuff, and then we'll we'll, we'll go back just so we can like see what we're looking at while we're looking at it. Okay, this is dope, and we'll come back to this. So these units right here, this is like a frontline melee unit, right? Which is crazy because the human resistance has like a frontline melee unit, dude. Like that like blows my mind because they're like almost like zealots. Almost like zealots. All right. Uh, zealots. God damn it. Zealots. All right. Uh, what else we got here? Let's see here. Uh, the Lancer Shield upgrade oh, gives them. Okay. So yeah. they have. An, okay. The Lancer Shield upgrade gives them the ability to shrug off damaging blows. Interesting. What are those you do? What are these marine dudes back here? Hold on. Wait a minute. Are they even? I don't even know if they, they go over these units right here. 
So they're using these guys as like the front line. Those are in the back. This is a nice little combo. They broke through the front. They, they can break through the thin forest like they were explaining in the um, uh, on the PC gaming show. But it's a big ass opening right now because the Vulcans fucking plowed through that shit, which was dope. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Go slower, go slower. Go slower, go slower. And now, uh, you know what? We'll just maybe loop it. Yeah, we'll just loop it for now. All right, what else we got? The Exo, a versatile soldier armed with a reliable... Oh, this is the, these are Exos. These are Exos. They're armed with a reliable rifle. Can pick up the double-time upgrade to temporarily increase its movement speed if it shoots during this period. It fires two shots instead, then reverts to normal speed. Okay, so similar to Stim. Okay. And then they got the MedTech, a hefty oh, support hey, unit that yeah. can heal and repair allies and enhance nearby forces. Interesting. So it heals, repairs, and enhances nearby forces. Those dudes, we saw those guys. We saw those guys back here. Right here, these dudes. These little healer dudes right here. Okay, so the purple underneath must must be their like uh their mana or like their energy so no they, they can cast their yeah. spells. Oh, man, I wonder how they're going to work, like, if you, like, combine the bob. Because the bob looks like it can also repair mechanical units. So you can have a bob, and you can also have this med tech on some mechanical units. I wonder how that works. Um, Hi, guys. This is Obviously okay, with med tech, okay, with med tech adept training, which sounds like an upgrade, can unleash a swarm of nanobots to either attack an enemy or heal an injured ally. What? Oh, way. yeah. Do you see Nanobot? The Nanobots? I don't see the Nanobots. Maybe he didn't have the uh, the upgrade yet. Dude, that reminds me. What's that unit for uh, for Protoss chat? The Cruisers. Oh man, what's the what's the name of that unit, man? That has all the little motherfuckers that come out and destroy you. It's like a tier three unit. The carrier, yes, the carriers. So these med techs have little nanobots that heal and also attack. Okay. Um, then there's the Atlas. It's a long-range artillery mech that rains down area of effect damage. All right, so we know what that is. We saw that. It looked like that siege tank, I think. I'm just going to, like, move us along here. I'm just going to skip through just so we can, like, look at exactly what we're reading. You know what I'm saying, chat? Because we watched this already. Okay, right here. This this guy right here. This looks like what this is, right, guys? The Atlas Long Range Artillery Mech that rains down area of effect damage with the purification uh, ordnance upgrade. It attacks, leave behind a damaging field of flames. Atlas attacks can cause friendly fire damage, no pun intended. Looking forward to hopefully dealing with Dude, that's a big fucking attack right there. That is a big attack. All right, what else we got? The evac transport. Oh, yeah. So we saw that. We saw that. That was over right here. So it looks like it looks like they can hold one, two. Okay, so they can hold eight units. So I believe the medevac also used to hold eight units. But the bigger the unit, the more space it takes. So they she's holding two, she's holding two Vulcans inside of the single medevac here. And this this is tech. Like this reminds me of like like StarCraft and like how the pros would take the medevac and they 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 do like a certain maneuver to like drop them, pick them up, you know, relocate. And and Protoss could also do something similar too with the prisms, with the warp prisms. Right before they die, look, she's gonna scoop them up later. Oh shit! Love it, love that. I love that. That's so dope. All right. Uh, this is called, uh, okay, so that's the evac transport. Transport ships that pick up and drop off allied units, including a, deploy, a, a deployed atlas to reposition them strategically or whisk them away from danger. So it just seems like they're, I guess all they do is transport. Whereas the medevac was a transport, plus it also healed bio units. Interesting. Okay. So, man, I can already picture people like doing like bio builds. And like throwing some Evos, maybe throwing like, they might throw like three Evos, three Lancers, 
and two uh and two med techs in one fucking uh medevac. If nah, med techs might actually take up two slots and then just dropping them in somebody's base. Um Okay, the Vulcan. We saw the Vulcan looks sick. Try some really sneaky tactics, maybe This is the Vulcan. And you could see, like, you guys peep that. You could see that the Vulcan, like, they do really good versus, like, grouped up, clumped units. If you guys pay attention, you see, like, single target may not be that good, like, 1v1 fighting something. But uh, it's, it's, it's like, there's, like, a lot of collateral damage happening here. Look. I don't know if you guys peeped it. I don't know if you guys peeped it. Boom. They just spawned. Here we go. Watch this. Watch these guys melt. Look, watch. Nah, yeah, these exos don't want to have nothing to do with that later. But they have the advantage of being able to go through like the uh, um, the forest line. But these Vulcans can't go through. See, they can't fit through. But they do have an ability that we saw later that they crashed. Let's let's watch that. Let's watch that. Since we're on the exos, watch, watch. This is sick. That's sick. I wonder if the trees grow back. See, but this is a multi-pronged attack right here, dude. This is a multi-pronged attack. Oh, look at all of the exos getting uh, boosted. Got him. Damn, Monk. GG. All right, hold on. Let's go. All right, so that was, mm, what else we got? Okay, so we could read more about the Vulcan. Hi, the, my name is Kevin Monkdoff. Yes, uh, this mech has a Gatling gun that spins up to deal increased damage. The jump jets upgrade allows the Vulcan to reposition in combat and can stun any enemy in its way. Can also be used to clear out trees. Fire piercing rounds that can punch through multiple units in a straight line, dealing damage to all of them. And now the featured human structures, the command, the command post, the human HQ, produces Bob worker units, upgrades to cent uh, the central command to unlock access to tier two units, tier three coming soon. The, the command post can trigger and overcharge on nearby Bob units, temporarily diverting power to combat yeah, system, attack there. speed and armor. What? I'm gonna have to try oh, that's sick, dude. Maybe getting an upgrade TLO isn't familiar with. Perhaps, maybe even luckily... So, like, when you're not being harassed, the bobs the bobs are building your buildings, right? They're farming your resources. And then the shit hits the fan. You can just... You could basically... You could, like, issue orders to your bobs to, to like, focus on combat. Giving them more armor and more attack speed. They're probably going to be... They're just, like, a... Like, probably, like, a, um, like a low-level, bottom-tier, tier one uh, combat unit because, like, they're, so, you know, because they're primarily used for... Uh, you know, for farming and shit like that and repairing, but it's still dope that you can convert them and like just switch up the gameplay a little bit. I like that. That's unique. Okay. Um, habitat increases supply, increases supply. You must build these to expand your army. Right. We know that. So if you guys don't know, like in, in RTSs, you have to build supply, uh, supply depots. For example, for Terran, you can't just build 200 units. You have to build a building that that provides supply for those units to exist. So part of the strategy in RTSs is, is you destroy each other's supply, limiting each other from being able to like build max armies. So that, that mechanic is also gonna be in this game too. Um what else we got? The barracks. Oh, wait. The barracks yeah. produces tier one units such as the Scout, Lancer, Exo, and Med and Medtech. Bro, this might be my main race, dude. I mean, this might be my main race. This already looks like the hardest working race in the game. You know what I mean? It's the only race that I've seen, but like, you know what I mean? Terran, human resistance, respected. You know the devs are gonna, you know what I mean? So guys, listen, if I ever meet you guys on ladder and you're not using the human resistance and you beat me, understand that like, your whole race was designed to destroy my race. You know what I mean? So, like, you're not good. You're not good. Just remember that. Anyway. Um. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Guys, is it crazy that I have excuses an actual whole year in advance? Like, have you ever heard such a thing? Like, I have an excuse built a whole year in advance. What else we got? Um, Ethereum refinery, secondary resource drop-off and re research for various passive upgrades. I love that. What? Secondary resource drop-off. <gasps> secondary research drop-off. No way, dude. Yo, chat, you know what that means? That means you could probably build one of these Ethereum refineries like away from your main base and be farming those materials off, off in a distance if you have a bob there because it's also a second resource drop-off. And you could also be researching tech. I wonder if it flies. I wonder if it flies. Uh, Biokinetics Lab. Research upgrade for infantry such as Lancer Shields. Machine Lab. Research upgrades for mechanical and air units. Has a conveyor belt. Has a conveyor belt. And then sentry turrets. Targets uh, targets uh, ground ground and air provides some peace of mind. Economic disadvantage. I'm going to have to try some really sneaky tactics. Maybe getting an upgrade TLO isn't familiar with. Perhaps maybe even luckily creepjacking him. C's only switched to multi-genre so he can have an excuse for every game genre when new games come out. Yeah, but I mean, if there was a multi-genre Olympics, I would literally dominate and destroy everybody. Though. You know what I'm saying? And 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 the only people who would like come close to being second to that is you guys. But that's because I've raised you guys. You guys are actually my actual children. Never forget who who your father. Is. Uh, in the video game world, of course, I can never replace your real dad. Of course. <clears throat> I mean, I could, but chill. I'm not trying to adopt anybody, especially no 45 year old men. You know what I mean? No disrespect. Um. I was going to say, no, nah, this looks great. I'm excited. And, um, and this is only, and this is alpha, this is pre-alpha footage, dude. And it, and it looks great. Dude. Okay, hold on, hold on. One more time, one more time, chat. One more time, one more time, one more time, one more time. With the sound, with the sound, with the sound. Let me see if I notice anything crazy. Boom. Get blasted upon. Damn. Get blasted upon right there from the top rope. Boom. You better back up. Wait. Okay, Exos. What are these guys called again? Medtechs. They're called Medtechs. Dan, and these these guys are interesting, dude. I want I want to see them move. They're set up in siege mode right now. They probably they obviously have like some spider-like movement. Okay, the scout, like this strat, like is this a troll strat? Like what the hell? So many scouts they built. And then with the Marines doing the stutter step, bro, they got the exos, dude. Not the exos. What did they drop on that? Hold on. What did this med? What did this? Uh, what is that thing called again? The evac transport. Oh, oh, that's clutch. Okay, look, look, the look, the evac transport dropping the Vulcans directly on the siege tank. I mean, the uh, we gotta get these names down. Atlas. Okay, yeah, the units die and then they deteriorate into the nice. So it's not just gonna be a whole bunch of clutter. Hi guys, this is TLO. Obviously played RTS my entire life, so it's been a real privilege for me to be one of the first people to try out Stormgate. Really stoked about this match against Kevin. Okay, look, look, they're wearing the resources on their back. And then these are just played. There's some yeah, placeholder some stuff going on here, too. Did he disappear? Really stoked about this. Did he disappear? Think I'm gonna do Interesting. So the Bob is the Bob absorbed into making a building? Hold on. Kind of like Zerg? Some light harass in the early game and then just try to overwhelm him with a massive And then you can accelerate the building. You can accelerate the building with the other bobs. So the amount of macro. I wonder if the building's done if he if he leaves. It would make sense, right? It would make sense. Oh, okay. So they removed. You know, I kind of like that though. I kind of like that because that was a whole nother thing in StarCraft 2. Where Terran, the hardest working race in the game, if you guys didn't know, uh, 
their their SEVs had to build each and every individual. Um, like Zerg would just morph into the building, and they would have like a ridiculous amount of health, so like they couldn't even die. And then Protoss, <laughs> don't even get me started with Protoss. They would literally warp in their buildings and then go right back to work. Could you imagine? Um, they could build fucking whole civilizations with with Protoss. But of course, the race that I decided to use, Terran, the hardest working race in the game, we would have our SCVs and they would build the actual building. They would move around the building and build it. However, they could also be harassed. So it was like, it, it took some getting used to. And there was some tech you had to learn. It looks like, it looks like they casualized this this part of the game, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. I think like, you know, I'm okay with some things being expedited. Does that make sense? Some things, because for a new player, bro, like a new player dealing with that, bro, they're uninstalling. You know what I mean? But if they could be like, okay, all I got to do is get my Bob to start doing this building. They're good. I think that's, that's a net positive. The two scouts, they obviously are slowing each other down. This is going to matter. I want, oh, I wonder how close you could build to this, this thing. These are done already. Dude, I like how this building looks. I like the bent metal. Is that like a tarp? Is that like supposed to be? That might be actually be tarp, actually. I like how this looks. And all of this is, all of this shit is going to get extreme polish, dude. Like, dude, we're looking at pre-alpha. Just imagine Imagine how this shit's going to look like when she's done. This is going to be the next Hi, my name is Kevin Monk. Dog, Monk, I love I you, dude. Gameplay and balance I want to go mountain game. climbing with this guy. You know what I mean? I know he fucking climbs mountains. Today, I'll be trying a fast expansion build, and then I'll try to tech two higher tier units to defend whatever TLO throws at me. Love that. Love that. You see how the dog can just zip right through, get to other parts of the map with the quickness? Look at the mini map. Got smoked by the Vulcan. I love it. Oh, you see, this is great. I don't remember if you could. Yeah, you couldn't do this. You couldn't do this in uh in StarCraft. This is great. They have all of these bobs building one thing together at the same time. It looks like it's going way faster, too. Now, when is it built? When the blue bar is up? And that's the help. That has to be. It has to be when the blue bar is up. Boom. Got him. Now we go into combat mode. Oh, look. There's like an electri electrical force. I think they actually went into combat mode. Yeah, they got a little speed upgrade, you can tell. I love that, bro. You're not just going to... Yo, I love that, dude. You're not just going to go to somebody's base and shit on their workers, dude. The workers can fight a little bit. You feel like I'd be upset if it was dog, bro. I love. Listen, that's my whole thing. No, my listen, bro. I love cats. I love dogs. I love all animals equally, all sentient beings equally. I just hate how people draw arbitrary lines for just some animals and just say fuck the other animals. That's the, my whole point. That's always been my point. Plant based game, clack clack clack. Get with the program. Don't oh, piss me I, off, chat. Yeah. You arbitrary line drawers. He did a lot of worker damage there, so I'm at a pretty bad economic disadvantage. No, too late, Das. What's up? You're on my fucking shit list. I'm going to have to I'm just try playing, some bro. really sneaky tactics. Maybe getting an upgrade TLO isn't familiar with. Oh, look, the conveyor belt. That's what they were talking about. Ah. Perhaps maybe even luckily creepjacking. Ooh, that looks pretty cool, though. Short grass. This is... This is uh, they got to be invisible when they're in here, right? Like, you just have to be invisible. And okay, so now this is okay. Now this is new, guys, and I love this. Let's talk about it. These are like little camps here, right? They're using they're using this brolic chicken here for like a placeholder, I believe. But these are camps, and it seems like there's a special resource there. Okay, what I like about this is this is a reason to leave your base, which is good for gameplay, action, not just turtling up in your base camping. Right? Go out there, get you some useful ass resources. Who knows what it does for you? I guess we'll find out. But this is incentive. This is great. 
So it's going to normalize. It's going to uh, what happens a lot where people like to turtle up in the beginning when they start playing RTSs like in a, in a in a competitive environment. They turtle up. They're afraid. You know what I mean? But like knowing that there's important shit that you need to get access to, it's going to force the player to leave their bases early, normalizing that early on in their like learning about RTS, which is going to be healthy. And ultimately make it more fun. Oh, look, that unit got stunned. Okay, only stunned one unit. Interesting. Okay. Makes sense. And then, okay. Oh, I like that. So you could stun a unit trying to get away, like an important unit trying to get away. Is that a skill shot too? And it looks like they're going to take this objective. So plus, plus 50 something. And then I guess they didn't grab whatever that orb was. Maybe they're just not going to display that right now. Okay, that's clever. Did you see what he did? His unit got stunned, and then this, uh, what is this thing? Evac transport picked it up. Like that. Wait, hold on. Let me, wait, did I just see something actually pretty clutch? Let's back up a little bit. Okay, so the Vulcans come in, right? Let's stop. So one guy got stunned. Okay, maybe like a, a registration thing right there. I only saw one guy get stunned. Unless they both targeted the same guy. And there's a lot of movement going on. Looking forward to hopefully I love that. Did we watch this whole thing already? From the left I'm depressed. Well. And, um, I think it's over? I'll be able to out micro your, um, yeah, the it's ending? static mech on me, I believe. And Ooh, and if you got vision through the trees? Uh, you know, be able to uh, oh, but that thing, bro, you can just bounce. You can just dip and not even get affected by that. All the tech shots get in there and I have a pretty smooth path of attack here. I love that. I love the bobs. With, oh, my God, dude. I love that the bobs have so much utility now, bro. They're so clutch. Little fighters, dude. GG. It's over. It's over. That's it. All right. Well, there it is. There it is, guys. Stormgate. Stormgate gameplay reveal pre-alpha. That's, that's what we got, man. That's what we got so far. That's all we got, guys. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got to get the key binds. I, I got to get the key. Let me take a look at the thing again. Okay. So QWER, let's see. Interesting. Interesting. Try to look at a different page. Okay, what is this? Okay. Huh. Okay. So this looks like it has an upgrade available. He did a lot of worker damage there, so I'm at a pretty bad economic disadvantage. I'm gonna have to try some really sneaky tactics, maybe getting an upgrade TLO isn't familiar with. What's Perhaps exciting about this game is that it's StarCrafty and Warcraft devs. That it's StarCraft and Warcraft devs, so we can see stuff from both. Exactly, Juice, exactly. I'm shreddy, dude. I'm shreddy. Is the website still down? Play Stormgate. Damn, the website is still down? Holy shit. Looking forward to hopefully dealing with finishing floor against Kevin here. I'll attack again from the right side through the light trees, but this time we'll bring in a larger force from the left see, side. See, Stormgate well. thoughts vid? And, um, Wait, there's there's I another? There's another video? I'll be let me see, let me see.
Um, I don't think so. I think what there is, though, let me see, Frost, Giant, Studios. No, I think what there is is, like, there's people are covering it. Yeah, people are covering it. Um, Yo, guys, playstormgate.com is, okay, my shit just opened. Now, I'm hoping, guys, don't rely on this. I'm going to tell you guys right now, don't rely on this game going live and be like, oh, she has got me with a key. I, 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 We'll cross that bridge when we get there. You get what I'm saying? Like when the betas and the alphas and shit roll around. So like do yourself a favor, sign up, make sure you use like the email that your main email, sign up so that if you guys want to get in some games, I imagine how I imagine it's going to be alpha. It's probably going to be real bare bones in the beginning. Some simple, basic stuff. I imagine probably like one V one off rip or something like that. Um, who knows how it's going to get organized, but. You know, I might be able to get some, I might be, who knows, maybe the Frost Giant Studio devs hook it up with some extra keys, but in the event that they don't, you guys, you know, dot your T, you know, dot your I's, cross your T's, and uh, make sure you guys uh, put your emails in so that you guys can also get access in the event that I can't fulfill oh, uh, anybody's stuff. Yeah. Stormgate tournaments, what? Have pure concentration going on here. Pure tournaments? Everyone's super focused right now. Let's see what's going on. Oh. We have pure concentration Let me going see. on here. Everyone's super focused right now. Let's see what's going on. Posture check. We have pure. All right. What else we got, guys? So let's see if we could go to what are the real what are the reveals on YouTube? Um, Xbox. Was it Xbox showcase? 15 biggest announcements at Xbox Game Showcase. You guys just want to watch that one? Oh, the Starfield video. Starfield Direct. I'm bound to watch this one. The Bethesda. Bethesda. Let's do this one. Is it 45 minutes? 45 minutes long? Oh, cool. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, 2023.gamerecap.io. I got a virus. Oh, I definitely have a virus. Ah, very nice, dude. Very nice. Well done. Well done. But which one is this, though? Okay. So chat here, look at this website. Very nice website. Uh, we've we've used websites like this before. Okay, so this was the stuff from yesterday, right? Here's all the Xbox stuff. Wait, Overwatch 2 Invasion? What the hell is this? Wait, so they are doing PvE content? What the hell's happening? Okay, guys, what do you guys want to do first? Do you guys want to bang out the big boy? You want to bang out the big boy and watch the Starfield Direct? Or do you guys want to watch the baby ones? Like the little, the little ones. Bang out the big boy? I think I'm down for that. And then, and then we did all the PC gaming stuff, so we have a couple of videos to watch. All right, let's see what this Starfield's all about, man. Because I'm not going to lie, that first Starfield video we watched, I was it was a little lackluster. It was a little lackluster, but let's see if they can change my mind. All right, guys, go use the restroom. Go wash your hands. Go wash your feet. Go get a little snack. Get a little drink. Uh, and then, uh, you know what I mean? Come back. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, we are going to run an annoying-ass ad. But we do appreciate you... Uh, individuals watching those ads to help support the stream being that you decided to twitch prime to an asmr streamer instead of me which is i understand oh why yeah. i don't understand now that you can't hear me i don't know why the hell you decided to do that must be out of your goddamn mind bitch i could talk shit for another three minutes and nobody can hear me yeah mother <laughs> Oh, 
Midget on steroids. That's not my midget on steroids. That's not my OG. Ah. Oh. What else we got going on? What else? Dude, that was really good. That PC gaming show was fantastic. Yo, Stormgate is looking fire, dude. Oh, my God, bro. I cannot wait. I want all my, like, I have anxiety already thinking about uh, optimized keybinds. I already have anxiety. I'm going to have to, I got to DM. I'm like, guys, can you make sure you do all your keybind stuff, like, ahead of time, please? Get all the optimization in there. Because I don't want to have to build up muscle memory. You know what I mean? Get all the way to gold. And then derank all the way down down to bronze because like one little keybind thing messes with my mind. That's the thing. That's my weakness. That's my weakness. You know what I mean, bro? So many fucking games to fucking go pro in. Yo, what do we got? We got Counter Strike Two. We got to go pro in that. <clears throat> we got Stormgate. We got to go pro in that. We got Rivals of Ether Two. We got to go pro in that. Project L. We got to go pro in that. What else? Fucking Battle Bit. Remastered. We got to go pro on that. Q remastered. We got to go. We're already pro on Q remastered. So many fucking options. <sighs> exactly, dude. The exciting part is, every, guys, that's what I'm saying, man. It's a brand new IP, bro. We all start from scratch together as a family, dude. You're not playing a game that's been out for 20 years and, like, you got to play catch up. Like, that takes, that takes, that takes fucking grit, man. To be able to like play a game that's been out for so long, it's like it's a very discouraging thing. Like only only a few people are capable of doing that. You know what I mean? But when there's a new IP, bro, no excuses, dude. Free to play, no excuses. What the fuck is Project L? Project L is League of Legends uh, fighter fighting game. Who remembers when Seeds went to the store midstream? Yes, I. <laughs> I did, dude. That's when we... Wait, yo, Mick Jaguar. Uh, MC, that was when we played... Uh, what game were we playing? We played uh, Warcraft 3? That was Warcraft 3, right? Because Warcraft 3, like, that shit pissed me off. We're uh, watching Starfield Direct uh, gameplay deep dive. Let me, let me update my title. Okay. Starfield... Oh, damn. Core Punk, dude. Yo, Core Punk. Fuck. Yo, see, thoughts on, uh, thoughts, medium scope on battle bit sniper rifles instead of sniper scope. No scope, uh, glint, quick, ADS, kind of nice. Really? I was thinking about that. I was thinking about that. But you actually fucking, you actually put it to, put it to the test and you liked it? That game comes out on the 16th. I'm probably going to play BattleBit all day, bro. I'm looking forward to playing BattleBit, guys. Like, leveling up um, and getting all our attachments and everything for our guns. I'm excited for that. The website that we're using, uh, somebody could post it in the chat. But we're not using it right now. But there it is. Tsunami just posted it. The 2023.gamersrecap.io. Xbox knocked that out the park for you? Nice. Okay, everybody ready? Type 44 in the chat if you guys are ready. Let's get it. So I'm, I'm, I'm about to get, my, I'm about to get my, my socks knocked off, you guys are telling me, huh? You guys are gassing it. Let's see. Get pixel blocked at it, first of all. Bethesda. Game Studios. Oh, Marty, you haven't seen it, dude? You can watch our VOD from yesterday. Or just look up a video on it. It's really good.
everyone. Thank you so much. Let's start right here, first and foremost. Imagine. Much for joining us today, and welcome to Bethesda Game Studios. You know, we've been so lucky over the decades to make the kind of games that we love here, and that's thanks to all of you from the Elder Scrolls to Fallout. We love creating these worlds and playing in them just as much as you do. And throughout all that time, we'd often talk about and dream up the space game. What if we could take that feeling of being who you want to be and exploring a new world, but set it in space? Yo, my man is explaining that screensaver, man, like with, with fiercenessness. Where you weren't really who you want to be and exploring a new world, but set it in space. You got to respect that. you weren't really limited in where you could go or what you could do. And that is Starfield. Obviously, we've come a long way since then with the games we've built, our technology, and all of us here in the studio. We've done so much Very together, bright but in there. Well, we've Where's never cracks? tried to make a game like this. Today, oh, Lord, can I please many finish? On the Was that fucking Justin Timberlake? So much of what we think makes our game special. So let's jump in and take a look. All right, let's go. Convince me. Right there. Stop it right there. Damn, bro. Hold on. No Man's Sky 2? Wait a minute. Starfield is our first new universe in over 25 years. But Wait a minute. still a Bethesda RPG. 60 FPS? Hold on, I can count the frames. Step into a new world. And yep, it's 60. You get that feeling of unlimited possibilities. But this time, it's not just one world. It's over a thousand worlds. Because the choice of where to go, it's not ours. It's yours. I just wish you would have been like, yo, it's not just one world. And thanks to No Man By, aka No Man's Sky, it's a thousand worlds. I wish you would have just gave them, you know what I mean? Like, bro, like, come on. Like, the indie devs, they, yo, they inspired you, bro. It's fine. And it wasn't until now that we had the technology <laughs> yeah. to... Bro, can I get a posture check on this dinosaur, though? And it wasn't until now... God! Can I get a posture check on the dino? ...that we had the technology to create it. From the rocks at your feet, to the mountains in the distance, to the people and cre- The Bacchiotomies. <laughs> the Bacchiotomies. <laughs> I'm dead it. ...features that live in these worlds. That isn't just a Yeah, that was drop. me and Dark. That yeah, me and Dark, uh, we both went to Dinosaur uh, College. And uh, he just confirmed that that was indeed a Becky Adams. They're orbiting the planet. Yes, you can visit it too. <laughs> we realistically simulate the galaxy around you. Our next generation lighting model uses real-time global illumination to light the world based on the type of star and the makeup of the planet. Wait, is this planet Earth? Is that St. Louis? That's St. Louis. Isn't that the Ark in St. Louis? Where is that thing at, guys? That's atmosphere. We also have an all-new animation. Wait, St. Louis is in Ohio? Wait, where is St. Louis? What state is St. Louis in? Missouri. Wait, then why would you guys say that's Ohio? Yo, why is hi is yo, why is Ohio always getting the short end of the stick, bro? system. And of course, you can play it in third person. Ohio people are wild, but bro, that's kind of crazy though, man. I'm sure we probably have some ride or dies from Ohio, bro. Like, not everybody in Ohio is wild, bro. Don't don't be don't be statists. And you can play it in first person. Wait, what did they say? And you can play it in first person, in third person. And you can play it in first person. Um. Okay, well, so everybody's playing in third person, obviously, for the advantage. Oh, but this is like a single player game, right? We love exploration and rewarding it, but you do explore differently in this game, given its scale. Okay. That usually involves exploring an area you've landed in. Bro, this looks like No Man's Sky too. 
Am I bugging? Am I bugging right now? I'm bugging. You can collect resources. Bruh. <laughs> Do a mission and maybe even <laughs> stumble upon something unexpected. Okay, I like this. Posture check. So my posture's getting fucked. Whoa, oh, space punk. Okay, so now this is where it's not really No Man's Sky, right? Because like this, okay. Whoa. Hip fire? I wonder how this combat looks in third person. Wait, I don't understand. Is there gravity or is there not gravity? What the hell was that? Because you're moving awfully fast for there not to be gravity. Oh, that was sick. Reduce gra reduce gravity. Low gravity. We do love stuff and all of the items allowing you to pick everything up. No, that's and cool. You can view all that in your data menu. I like that. This is the hub for everything you're doing, from your skills to your ship, your missions, and your inventory. Yo, hey, yo, what the hell is that? <laughs> what are those ripples? We love to pack a ton of detail in every object, mm. from all of your weapons to spacesuits to food. We just obsess over the details and food. We obsess over food. When mm. you're done exploring, you can walk back or fast travel to your ship. We have companions and crew you can take with you. I left Vasco here back at my ship. Welcome back, Captain Howard. Okay, I really love Vasco. I really love this fucking guy. And he can even say your name. Let's head out. He cannot say, bro, there's no way he says names. I'm going to fuck it. My name it will 100% be a dick joke. I'm going to, no, my name is going to be, imagine not being Twitch Prime to this channel. That's going to be my name. So every time I talk to that robot, people in the chat are fucking reminded. Our mission was to convey the wonder and majesty of space exploration to evoke the romance of the golden age of early space flight. And we've been referring to this approach as NASA punk. This means Na a design language where the tech is advanced, Kay. yet still looks grounded and relatable. For us, it's, it's that contrast, that's where the visual interest is. Senior Obviously, concept NASA, artist. which is the rigid, hard function over style, and then punk, which is all about- Posture check, guys, come on, posture check. Oh, you I gotta stand up. visual style. Fuck, man, we lost. Hold on. Oh my yeah. Give me a second, guys. Oh, I can play it. Coming We're good. through in your ship. Your ship is your home for you and your crew. And like many of the spaces in our game, it has a slightly <sighs> retro and analog touch. Now a bit of lo-fi rather than sci-fi, where everything is well used, worn, and lived in. Don't Alrighty. use. Alrighty. What's the plan, Captain? Whoa. This is your star map. It starts with the planet you're currently on. Okay. You can see all of its info and resources. You can choose a landing spot or fast travel to known locations. Backing out further, you can view all the planets mm. in the system. Obviously, the game is big, and it's here you can see planets that have key locations, missions, or life on them, versus the many planets that are barren but resource heavy. Okay. Zoom out even further to see all the systems in this part of the galaxy. Here, you can plot a course to ones that are light years away. This mm. uses your ship's grav drive to fold space and jump to these systems. And you will need to upgrade your ship and skills if you want to jump to the most distant ones. But for now, we'll plot a course to the Alpha Centauri system where we can find the city of New Atlantis. Corvo, you're gonna stay with me for the next five minutes? You're my goat, dude. Welcome to UC Space. Yo, Kirkland, we were just talking about that. We were actually just talking about like, we. I feel like there's gonna be a game that you will not be able to distinguish between watching a TV show and actually playing it. Outside of the mechanics, of course, in 10 years. With real human being looking motherfucker. Cool. As soon as you land in a city like New Atlantis, your eyes are guided upwards to just these boundless, vast buildings. 
It's the biggest city we've ever made, not just in size, but also in the amount of custom art, Come on crowds, now. and quests. Come on now. So the main focus when we're designing a city is obviously what supports the story. We try and tell as many small stories as possible. This is a colony war memorial. It's a few moments of gameplay that make the space feel like it's full of real characters that are going about their day-to-day -day lives. It's paralyzing if you really stop and think about it. Buddy, it's oh, coffee. Yeah. It's also where your adventure with Constellation begins. <clears throat> Smart watches. Droid users. Well, imagine. <laughs> Welcome to Constellation. Yeah. We have a lot to talk about. By the time let's start. Them, let's start with the shadows and the Xbox shadows in your mouth. Constellation is sort of seen as this mythical group. Most people don't even know they exist anymore. They're the last true explorers in the galaxy, and they're trying to find the answers to some of humanity's biggest questions. The artifacts are so different, so alien, and I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. The artifact. If you could place it. Bro, I'm getting like X-Men fucking uh, university oh vibes. God. Look at how it's coming together. That means there's a set built by an intelligence outside the <laughs> Yo, <they> system. <laughs> it's Yo. definitely. Oh, like this. This is like the smartest thing this dude is. Wait, by <laughs> this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Yo, this motherfucker right here, bro. Dude, this. I can't with this guy, bro. Like already. <laughs> Look at how it's coming together. That means there's a set. This guy could watch this one. The next one right here. Built by an intelligence. <laughs> like, come on, dude. It's outside the settled systems. It's definitely. A and then look, you can even tell by how this other certain. character. One of them look, 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 look at the other character. Spoke to you. It's coming together. Watch. That means there's a set built by an intelligence outside. And he's like, come on, dude. Like, I, like, you see, look at his face. Look at his expression. He's like, motherfucker, like, I was going to get to that. Let me finish, rude motherfucker. I the settled system. Look at him. <laughs> it's definitely an eclectic cast of characters. You've got Sarah Morgan, <laughs> oh, the ex-soldier and adventurer, now Constellation's leader. Mateo, the theologian who believes that there's definitely something else out there. Noel the gifted scientist and Sarah Morgan's protege, and Walter, a very successful businessman in the settled systems and Constellation's financier. Anything goes as long as you have the money. There's also Vlad, the ex-pirate, Sam Coe, the former space cowboy, and Barrett. You know what I hate about these pirates? Completely resistant to my otherwise irresistible charm. The journey you take with Constellation is just the first of many you'll embark on. The Settled Systems is home to all kinds of different stories, people, and adventures for you to uncover. So, like, guys, the Xbox showcase, like, showcases all Xbox gameplay, right? Yes, yes, I'm assuming. I wish they would just, like, put that, like, put, like give us a watermark. Like, let us know what we're looking at. The United Colonies is where you'll find New Atlantis, the first major human settlement in... My boy got the scorpion? You got the scorpion on the forearm tat? Wait a minute now. With the constellations and the tribals? Oh, wow. And the hand tats? And you got your wedding ring tattooed? Holy shit, this guy's a badass. Space. The people who live here value law, discipline, and the legacy of humanity. They can see Yo, Day Day with the 99 schmutz. Consider themselves the true children of Earth. You ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the What's on Steam? What game? What game's on Steam? United Colonies, even get your UC citizenship. New Atlantis isn't the only city with Oh yeah, yeah. I know it's gonna be like I know, but like there's always Man, I can't, you know what I mean? I'm just going to keep, you know what I mean? Like, listen, listen, we're not going to get into an argument right now, okay? We're not going to get into an argument, okay? Because everyone wants to fucking, uh, I'm like, oh, I'm good. I just want, you know what I mean? It, it would be nice to know, like, what they built the game for. You know, who's getting the port? And it seems like PC's getting the port. That's just what it seems like, which is like a little bit of a, you know what I mean? An unfortunate doohickeyler of the doohickey. 
within the United Colonies. The city of Sidonia on Mars to this day serves as the largest mining facility for the United Colonies. Beyond the United Colonies' reach, you might find yourself in a much more wild and independent coalition of star systems. This is Freestar Collective Space. Okay, now this looks good. The capital of the Freestar Collective is a key. That looks good. The stone root in capital of Star Collective Space. There's a lot going on here. I like the detail though. That looks clean. The capital of the Freestar Collective is Aquila City. Spice? The Stone Root Inn is an Aquila City fixture. A ranger relies on judgment and intuition to do what's best for the people. Neon started out as a fishing platform, but is now known throughout the cell systems as a pleasure city where almost anything goes. If you've got morality issues, this... Yo, did you guys peep the homage to fucking uh, Mortal Kombat? You guys missed it, didn't you? Definitely. We'll Where go almost back. anything goes. Come on now, chat. You guys, will you guys pay attention, please? Do I gotta do everything? If you've got morality issues, this definitely isn't the job for you. Get over here! Ryujin is hiring the best and brightest of today for our future tomorrow. Everyone has been chewed up and ground up by Neon. Try not to get yourself killed, all right? Oh, shit. Outside the bounds of civilized space, there are still plenty of unclaimed systems to explore, but these areas are also home to the most hostile factions in the galaxy. Really? Cobra, the Cobra Kai. Serpent hungers. All heathens shall be made dust in time. A new face. This is the face of a brave runner here to challenge the Red Mile. They think the galaxy is theirs. They are wrong. It belongs to the Crimson Fleet. It always has. Damn. In Starfield, we're pushing our cities and settlements further than we ever have before. It's all there, waiting for you. A slice of humanity's future. So, ready to get out there? Mm. Throughout the galaxy, there are so many things to see and stories to experience. But the most important story is the one that you tell. I'm the type of person who spends hours in character creation. And I Who's that? I think people are gonna be really excited when they see all of the improvements we've made. One of the biggest overhauls was done through... No, that's who shot. ...our character generation system. Imagine. We scanned a wide range of faces from different age groups and ethnicities. And by mixing and matching all that data, we were able to create highly detailed and diverse characters. <laughs> we use that exact system to create all the characters and NPCs you're going to see in the game. So any character you see almost always is a character I don't character think the keybinds will be that bad, yourself. bro. Yo, the keybind, Bro, the keybinds for... I think, I think my fucking... And I think, bro, like... Some of the most difficult keybinds for me have been games like uh, StarCraft, Dota, um, fucking uh, BattleBit Remastered, Tarkov. Like, I think this one won't be that bad for keybinds. Hey, come on. Come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Yeah. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring Flight any sticks for flying? Any of this look familiar? You start your character creation journey as though you're cycling through employee records. Mm. You'll pick from a lineup of 40 presets, and that'll be your starting point. Your journey from there can be as detailed or as quick as you want it to be. This new system has more to offer than ever before. It's also the simplest character generation system we've ever had. We let the player get as close as possible to make whatever they want. With the various facial morphs you can blend together, the dermesthetic and makeup, blemishes, scars, piercings, teeth settings, it's a lot, but I think it's the most fun to use. Character creation is more than just how you look. This is also where you start to decide who you wanna be. 
that's where backgrounds come in. Backgrounds mm. give you a bit of backstory and start you out with three basic skills. From chef to dusty. You know, the crew still has a betting pool about which restaurant critic you must have crossed to wind up here. What's great about backgrounds is you never know when yours is going to come in handy. You could be I in the did not see the uh, fights last night. Some guy, Six one nine. And suddenly you learned he needs a beast hunter to help track down a monster. Mm. Fine. I probably should stick to professionals anyway, given what happened the last time. We're also giving you the option to customize your build even further by letting you pick up to three traits. Traits are completely optional, and they come with their own advantages and disadvantages. You could choose to meet your biggest fan. Advantages Let's see the introvert and is. disadvantages. Traits are completely optional, and they come with their own advantages. You really need your alone time. Exerting yourself uses less oxygen when adventuring alone, but more when adventuring with other human companions. <laughs> wow. So you, when you're with other people, you actually are, are using more oxygen. <laughs> and disadvantages. That's Grace. You could choose to meet your biggest fan. By Victera, by Victera, by Is it really, really you? He'll join your crew and he'll give you gifts if you're willing to put up with this constant commentary. I can't believe I get to stand near you, breathing the same air. I've got to have every molecule. Jesus. My favorite trait is kid stuff. You have to pay some credits to support your parents, but they're very sweet and it's really fun to go visit them. Honey, we got ourselves a visitor. Oh my God. I came across some hostile zealots in space, but because I had chosen a trait that made me the same religion zealots. as them, I was able to get by without any issues. There's another great. Wait, Nunez versus Aldana? One that gives you a damage buff. Wait, Nunez, wait, guys. Uh, Pena and Nunez, they fought again, right? I know, I know, I know Pena beat Nunez. And then did Nunez beat Pena? Is that over? Did that happen? Or not yet? Or am I bugging? When your health is low, but mercenaries will randomly show up. It did happen. Okay, so the second fight, Nunez won again. And then now Nunez fought someone else, Aldana. And who won that fight? And try to kill you. She retired no what last you night. Choose, there will be plenty of ways for you to tell your story. And if you want to remove a trait, there are ways to do that too. What a view. It's a feast for the eyes. Oh, she won easy and retired. To wow, okay. Adventure. We'll let you discover that on your own. This guy gets it. He has the sleeves rolled up. You guys see the difference? You guys see the difference? You guys remember. If you guys remember. Okay. Peep to YouTube. You'll understand this fucking, this, this segment here. The sleeves are rolled up. Okay. You got to avoid the marker juice. Once you've built the perfect character, that's when your journey can really begin. We took what we loved about skills and perks from our previous games and put them together to create an all new skill set. The visor? Each time you level up, you get a, a skill land point, octopus. which can be used to unlock or rank up skills. Ranks are unlocked by completing challenges associated with that skill. Challenges become increasingly difficult Still as gets you work better? your way okay. to higher okay. ranks. With our I'm five different what I'm skill trees so and four ranks per skill, there's a lot Summer. to choose from. I like the Xeno Sociology skill because it lets you mind control aliens. Really? Boost pack, out of the gate. I'm boost packing everywhere. Oh yeah, I can respect that. Yeah, it makes I sense. I like maxing out my physical tree so I can get neuro strikes and just punch my way through combat. <laughs> <laughs> that one's a lot of fun. That looks like a lot of fun. Invest in the skills that suit your play style. I'm very much a stealth player. So I'm out there pickpocketing everyone. My favorite part about being stealthy. Stop. Is Stop. Slowly creeping through vents like you're in a movie and then jumping out and springing on people. Whenever possible, I like to talk my way through situations. This area's off limits. 
Nah, I just Fine. got Fine, I'll issue you an access card. I'm more of a run and gun player. I like doing the death from above thing where I boost pack over guys and I throw landmines at them. Dope. I like blowing stuff up. Ooh. Hold up. <clears throat> Give me a second. Another second. Two more seconds. There we go. Okay, first shot. Interesting. Okay. Second shot. Okay, that's the pirate. That's the head. Okay, so he did get the backpack. Okay. All right. All right. I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide this one time. Exploration is a key aspect of all our games. In Starfield, there are full star systems with new life, resources, and adventures. Looks nice. Holy. Our team worked hard to strike a balance between fun and realism. We studied data from NASA and a multitude of other sources to help us make the world feel believable. From the way we approached planetary atmospheres to the way we placed biomes based on the planet's distance from the sun. Once we had created a grounded world, we can start looking at all the things that make that world fun. Mm. When you leave a planet and head into space, you'll be navigating asteroid fields, having chance meetings with interesting strangers, dogfighting in space, and exploring derelict ships. Oh, that sounds fun. It's all out there. I don't know if this is an MMO, Royal. Ultimately, it's about rewarding your curiosity because whether it's on the surface of a planet, single player, the alleys of a city, or the vastness of space, you never know what you'll find. Yes, the sound? Sure. Space exploration is possible thanks to your ship. Your ship is almost like having another character or home you can make all your own. I think you'll be blown away by the amount of stuff you can do. You can buy a ship. I'm sure you can find something you like. Customize and upgrade that ship. And hire a crew to keep it up and running. That's pretty it cool. It all starts in spaceports. Every spaceport has a ship technician where you can purchase, sell, and modify ships. Okay. Anything I can help you with? Maybe you start off with a speedy fighter that's perfect for bounty hunting. Then you might round out your ship roster with a hulking space freighter to run cargo missions, mm. or even do a little smuggling. For now though, we're going to take our starting ship, the Frontier, and make some changes. What are we gonna do? You can customize and Whoa. upgrade everything you see here. Okay. And Dope. you have two ways to do that. That's cool. You can quickly upgrade individual systems like your weapons or shields, or you can deep dive and enter the shipbuilder mode. Here you can change anything from the systems to the look and layout. Mm. Adding a new habitat module can give you more room for crew. Adding cowling can change your ship's overall silhouette. Wow. An improved grav drive allows for longer distance space jumps. 
Yo. You can even fully customize your paint job to get the exact look you Yo, want. Yo, okay, that's cool. The parts you choose to build with don't just affect your ship's stats. They'll also affect what you can do inside your ship. You can mm. have modules for crafting or Two for floors. storing and displaying your weapons. Starfield's in-game ship manufacturers bring their own look and feel to every piece Hold of your on. ship. From living quarters to cargo holds, the SSS halls, and control rooms. <laughs> nah, that's dope. Dope. I like. I like that a lot. Our modified Frontier is a practical ship, but with a little creativity, your ship can look like almost anything you want. Mm. It's a bit odd, but one of my favorite ways of customizing ships is um, I make them look like animals. The HMS Platypus, as I called it. Yeah, I, I see it. Where it had a, like a giant tail to it. And we've done spiders, we've done mechs oh way so it's yeah. really and while you can build your home my favorite ways of customizing ships I don't know if you guys is, caught it i don't um, know if you guys caught it i make them look like animals I don't know if you guys caught it the hms platypus as i called it where it had a like a giant tail to it and we No, it's not the controller. It's the look down. Concerns me, but maybe he's a guest. Maybe he's a guest. Maybe he's a guest. <sighs> We've done spiders. We've done mechs. So Optimus Prime. Really whatever your imagination is. And while you can build your home among the stars the way you want to, you're probably not the only person who will call your ship home. Ready to lift off when you are, Captain. Engines ready. The frontier is fueled. I like the idea of like staffing your ship. Some of the members of Constellation can join you on your journey. These companions can serve on your crew, and they'll always be there when you travel. We'll be traveling together the companion until we designer. either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Each companion comes with their own valuable skills for your ships and outposts as well as unique quest lines. Eventually, some friendships might blossom into romance. I don't know that I've ever really loved anyone except you. And if you're looking for a little extra help on Bro, your no ship, offense, you dude, but let me just see how interested she looked. Always anyone except them into romance. Let me just see. I don't know that I've ever really loved anyone. I don't know if she feels the same way about you, my guy. Except you. Take a step back. And if you're looking for a little extra help on your ship, you can always hire additional crew at spaceports. Got any room on your ship for someone like me? Once we remove the puff jacket, yes. <laughs> Not on my ship with that 1990s puff jacket. I am an ageist. You'll also meet- And I'm in denial, because I am also a boomer. Potential crew members out in the world. <laughs> Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off. John Cena, no thank you. No thank you this rock <laughs> assign crew to your ship or outposts and their unique skills will affect how they run and just like companions most crew members can lend a hand in the field take bosco for instance <clears throat> just like companions, count the frames most crew yeah. members can mm, 49 <laughs> can lend a hand in the field take bosco for instance He's designed around the, the core basics of a NASA machine. Please avoid getting shot. You might die. I still wanted to give it almost a humanoid personality, so I elongated the limbs. This tends to make him feel more. Bro, is Elon's name because it's short for elongated, dude? I just fucking realized that. That's so annoying. Is Elon Musk birth name Elon, dude? Because I know he didn't just change his name. Yeah, my name is Elon or elongated. Like, I can't. I can't. More human-like and give him a little personality. It is a shame. Exploration requires so much bloodshed. Using the ship building tools and crew selection features in Starfield, you'll be able to build and captain the ship of your dreams. Starfield, you'll be able to build and captain the ship. 
Damn. Holy shit, bro. Oh, my God. Fucked his shit up, bro. Oh, a lot of you guys are looking at this like this shit is normal. That's because a lot of you guys are fucking walking out with some fucked up haircuts, bro. No. <laughs> Tip of your dreams. And now, let's take to the sky. Let's go. All right. We're putting you in the cockpit of your very own spaceship. Nice. And telling you that you can do pretty much anything. Really? And that is really cool for us as developers. Really? Space flight should be exciting and dangerous. And you I agree. should feel like you're in complete control every step of the way. We've extended that sense of control to ship combat. It's not about just hitting your triggers to fire your weapons. Tiger Mouse it's is definitely projecting. a complex dance between your piloting skills and our power allocation system. Boosting power to your engines will make your ship faster. Powering up the grav drives will shorten the amount of time it takes before you can- FTL? And moving your power to your weapons and shields means you're ready for a fight. You should always be on your toes because you're not alone out there. Unlocking the targeting control system skill will allow you to zero in on specific subsystems of the ship you target. After destroying an enemy ship, you can loot the remains from your cockpit. Well, you be can careful. always turn any ship that engages you into scrap. Mm. That's dope. I like that. But you can also take a more personal approach by docking with the enemy vessel. And no, Big Bubby, you're not. I'm very skeptical with you, dude. Once you've taken control of an enemy ship, it's yours. Add it to your fleet and retrieve it at any spaceport. But space is way more than fighting for your life. Just like when you're planet side, there are plenty of sights to see. But No Man's Sky, to be fair, is much better now, though, Big Bubby. Big Bubby. Like these massive star yards. Like, they did a complete 180. Walk the halls, talk to the crew, maybe get talked into buying a whole And don't new forget, ship. what's the other game that kind of flopped a little bit when it dropped? That was, had mad hype. Holy shit, my man got a tramp stamp on the bottom of his face. Holy shit. <laughs> like, what's going on? No, what was that other game? Yeah, Cyberpunk. With your view. Maybe you'll dock with a gigantic battleship like the UC Vigilance. Or rub elbows with the galaxy's wealthy elite on a cruise ship fit for the stars. Terran! There are plenty of personal encounters to be had as well. You can hail any ship you come across to trade, swap info, or maybe even commit an act of piracy. Let's do this. When I'm playing, I generally go crazy. Um, I definitely go like the more piracy routes. Um, I want to take over ships. I'm going to board ships. I'm like, this is now mine. I steal all the sandwiches and put them you know, in my cargo hold that I have specifically for sandwiches. I don't want to play the hero, um, but I want to go out and just start taking things from people as quickly as possible. Some strangers might be looking for a little human connection in the darkness of space. I, I played a very oh, small amount of uh, No Man's Sky. Grandma! Some of the best moments are the ones you discover on your own. 
The thing I love most about Starfield is that it is a Bethesda game through and through. Mm. It's really about going to strange new places, meeting interesting people, and getting sidetracked on zany adventures. Then, realizing two hours later that you're involved in a completely new story. You're... human. We thought we were the only ones to leave Earth. That DNA is so present here. It's in our random encounters, it's in our handcrafted quests, and it feels so cool to play it and just make your own path in this universe. There are over a thousand planets out there just waiting for you to visit. Yo, Sir Verix, get your head out of the gutter, dude. All right, we're watching video games here. Okay, perverted mind? We'll take a cold shower, thank you. We want you to feel like explorers breaking ground on new planets, exploring every inch of a mostly untouched galaxy. We want you to feel hopeful. No game is 10 out of 10. No such thing. We want you to feel this sense of awe and wonder. Oh, Jay Hefe! A little fear. 68 months! We're giving you a massive playground and a ton of toys and just setting you free. Now, does the debris do damage to the ship? Probably not. Hey everybody, we've shown you so much stuff, but we thought we'd just take a little break and show you something a, a little bit different. You know, we put so much detail into our game worlds and we love the opportunity to bring that into the real world with our collector's editions. And for this game, uh, we've done a watch. It is the Constellation Explorer's Watch. Um, this is the watch that you actually get in the game that acts as part of your HUD, where it's the compass and okay. the environmental information. It connects to your phone to give you notifications. And other information. And we've also designed this really cool case that it comes with, uh, Isvan. Yeah, we really took as much care and designed this case as we did to watch. Our attention to detail in the game totally translates to this. Inspired by the cases that the astronauts used during the Apollo era to bring back samples from the moon. It's got the intricate... Wait, did they say that the watch interacts with the game? I mean, it's kind of interesting, but like, there's no way, you know what I mean? Like, uh... you know what I mean? It locking mechanism, authentic, heavy, comes with a constellation patch. NATO strap and the overall functionality and believability of this as something that would exist in the world in the Starfield universe. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. <laughs> we actually have something else. Now that we're part of Xbox, we get to work with the. <laughs> okay, I'm awake. Amazing people on the Xbox hardware team, and together we. We have created this custom limited edition Starfield control controller. It's awesome. It is now, you know, our favorite controller. We love this because it's inspired by the actual controls of your spaceship. And not only that, we've created the first ever custom headset with Xbox. And this is a perfect pairing with that controller. Tower porn, don't act like you know me, son. In every one of our games, we always put so much care into all those little details that breathe life into our worlds. But Starfield isn't just a Bethesda game studio. I am studios standing world. still, yes. It's I still a got Bethesda 23 minutes. Game studios galaxy. So why go this big with Starfield? Because we want to give you freedom on a galactic level. The freedom to experience both the exciting planets 
and the quiet ones. Scanning a planet before you land is a great way to get a sneak peek at the available resources you can use for crafting, building, and customizing. Mm. I think what's cool about this whole system that we, we generate the planet itself as a procedural content, but the handcrafted content itself comes as the player explore. Our system builds a planet as the player approaches it. We stitch together block of terrain. After that, we have the system that adds interested locations for the player to explore, creatures to encounter, or and plants to pick up. It allows us to add that touch of environmental storytelling that the Vesta is known for. Crab man, creatures have been Crab man Ganja, think of the prime. Their habitat isn't far from here. If you could take <clears throat> care of them for us, we would be in your debt. So even if your friends were to visit the same planet that you had, you would have a different story to tell. Oh wow. Corvo Von Everek. Thank you for the 70 pop. What's up, Rico? I like that. It's completely up to you how you want to interact with each planet, whether you want to explore and see what you can find, harvest resources and be on your way, or simply Go. take your own views. With the help of I heard scanner, only good things about that game, Fire. And discover exotic wildlife. But I've never played it. If you have the skills, you can even figure out that certain creatures and plants, you can build an outpost and produce resources from those plants and animals. You can get experience and rewards for fully surveying planets and fully surveying a whole system. When mm. we were concepting these creatures, we really wanted to think of them as natural to the oh, environment. Oh, yeah. We didn't, this is we actually based off a real dinosaur. This is called the Rock Uncuttius, right here. Concepting these creatures, we really you wanted guys don't to know. think of them as natural to the environment. We didn't want alien monsters. We wanted native wildlife. Something you've never seen before. When it comes to our exteriors, when the sun moves, all that light is calculated in real time through the atmosphere. Our biggest goal for lighting with Starfield was to make the game feel more filmic, to use lighting and color to really make it feel more cinematic. Guys, what's the best? Guys, if we were ever to play a Bethesda game, which one should I play? Only one, though. You only can pick one. Which one would it be? Skyrim? Vanilla Skyrim? Or with all the modifications and updates? Someone said vanilla first. <laughs> we'll see. Welcome to twitch.tv forward slash seating a third. We, you, we, you know what I mean? Let's get through the first four hours. You know what I mean? Let's get through the first four hours. So we're either gonna it's either gonna be vanilla or mods. Not even saying we're gonna do it. But I feel like that's another reason why a lot of you guys are hyped about this game, because you guys have like a connection with some of the Bethesda games that like are really you're like you have like a connection with those games. I could feel it. I could feel that on you guys. You know what I mean? And I can feel like that that excitement like running through you for like something like this, Starfield Direct. But I'm like, I'm like a I'm like a Bethesda noob. You know what I mean? Never played a Bethesda game. Skyrim is actually 1010. Let's not get crazy. Okay, are there spoilers in Skyrim? Yes or no? I feel like we've had this conversation 30 times. Are there spoilers in Skyrim? Not really? Okay, that's pretty good. Interesting. And some of you guys, 
you would rate Skyrim how? Okay, what would you guys rate? Okay, what would you guys rate Skyrim on a scale from one to ten playing, and then on a scale from one to ten re rewatching? Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. <clears throat> can I make love in Skyrim? And can I control all the movement? Can I control my hips? Ah, yeah, not going to play it. With mods? Like I can make love with my... Like to my mods? Like so me, Curtis, and uh, Tsunami? All together? Oh, you mean mods. Modify the game. Got it. <laughs> Yo, E, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> After some exploring, you can find a spot I'm to set up a base camp. Outposts can be built almost anywhere on any planet. And the habitat modules come in all shapes and sizes, filling all different purposes. You can even live in them. Assign crew and companions to work at your outposts for added bonuses and set up extractors to harvest resources while you're away. Something cool we have this time is we have a new fly cam where you can toggle between on-foot building or you can now mm. use a top-down isometric camera, which helps Bro. out larger parts of the outpost and placing those larger halves. Hold that way on. you can really plan your structures and what the overall feel of your no, outpost is. No, I like is. that. And then when you're on your feet, you can really decorate and fine-tune things much easier. Yo, Slardar, what the hell is that, dude? Is that an elaborate dig joke? Fuss Rodaz? What the hell is that? Add crafting and research stations in your outpost to utilize any resources you find or already have. Mod your weapons to adapt them to your playstyle. Different weapon sites and scopes, larger magazines, mm. a selection of grips and barrels. Different ammunition like explosive rounds. Hmm. Yeah, but like, I feel like I'd be, bro, like, I'm down for all of this shit, dude, but like, make the AI difficult, though. You know what I'm saying, bro? You know what I mean, guys? 2023, I feel like AI is not even, you know what I mean? I feel like the AI, you know what I mean? You know, like, I'm down to do the customization. But for all what? Stealth players out there will surely need a suppressor. Stealth. You can also choose to go hands-on with melee weapons. Not the butthole plant. I think it's always a delicate balance between like what's realistic, what's sim, and what's Hollywood. And I think bro, this guy's whole fit is like, can I take your like, order? Like, bro, this guy's fit is wild right now. What's Hollywood? But I respect. And I think we sort of err on the side of like, what's fun for the player. <laughs> with Starfield, we've completely overhauled our combat more dynamic the animations are more fluid <laughs> it just feels great we probably have more mods and more weapons in this game than i want to say any other game we've done before okay There's a lot of variety upgraded gear is just one of the many factors to pay attention to when engaging in combat you may need to switch things up based on your environment what the fuck did I just look? What was that though? Why was that even shown? Need to switch things. What am I looking at? Is that a guy on a gamer chair, sitting down? Is up based on your environment. And then he just disappears. Why? I would have never shown that. Why would they show that? Gravity is different for each. That must have been a mistake. Each planet. Oh, that's inside. Boost environment. That's inside. Engaging in combat, you may need to switch things. 
That's inside. Oh my god, yo, the Bethesda Cope right now is fucking hilarious. That's inside. <laughs> Dude, but like this looks like it's outside. How is that inside? <laughs> Wait a minute. I see the thermal. Like, I see it. But, like, it just doesn't make the structure. It looks like he's on top of the fucking thing. And then it, it, it's so weird to me. It look like it doesn't. I don't know about this, bro. Yep. <laughs> Yo, Style, that motherfucker, Style says that motherfucker's on a lawn chair. <laughs> looks like he's behind it. Oh, <laughs> I don't know about this one. Things up based on your environment. Sneak attack. Stealth, huh? Gravity is different for each planet, and boost packs are excellent for getting around. Bro, who's not going to have a boost pack? Like, guys, do me a favor, bro. Like, when you guys watch people play this game, but they don't have a boost pack, if you want to get banned, the first thing you do in anyone's chat on Twitch, you go in there and be like, imagine not having a boost pack. Like, your ass is fucking grass. Like, there's no, like, you coming to my stream saying that shit, bro, and I don't got the boost pack yet? Bro, you're torched. Like, we'll see you in six months. But, like, seriously, like, who's not going to have a boost pack? Like, there's no way, bro. Like, you got to have a fucking boost pack for a game like this. There's over a thousand planets. And for giving you an edge in combat. Let's not get crazy with the edge in combat now. We got to see what the AI is looking like. Now, with those three missed shots by the AI, let me see. In combat. Let me see the missed shots. One, right. Where, where, where's, where's that, where's that going? Where the fuck did that go? And then the third one. We lost. We lost. Sometimes you'll even feel like you're flying. Zero gravity environments pose a different challenge. Firing a ballistic weapon in this guy got some icy blue eyes. Pause, but I'm just saying, I can respect it. Zero G will actually push you backwards. Energy weapons, on the other hand, offer a more stable shooting experience. We also have mag weapons. These are high powered electromagnetic this induction guy. ballistic arrays. Each barrel has its own targeting laser and can dish out some serious damage. Bro, these poor AIs, dude. I need one of these guys to be like, I need one of these guys to be like, and don't think we're going to give you this plethora of fucking redesign and options without giving you some seriously hard-to-kill motherfucking AI motherfuckers. I need someone to come into the screen and say that right now. Whether you want to get up close and personal with your own two fists, or you like more compact weapons like pistols and submachine guns, or maybe you prefer something bigger. Starfield's got you covered. Really, Lust Talk? Like, bro, you you saying that right now? Look how cute Lust Talk and ESRK are fucking timing their fucking chat so that they're back to back. They're so fucking cute. Um, you saying that right now, Lust Talk, just makes me like, like that's a big deal in those single player games. You know what I'm saying? Like, they like that challenge needs to be there. That difficulty needs to be there for those single player games. So that's oof. I don't know if I could ever play No Man's Sky now. <clears throat> The combat in Bethesda games is usually the weakest part. Really? Guys, rate the combat in Skyrim on a scale from 1 to 10. Rate the combat in Skyrim on a scale from 1 to 10.
Yo, guys, listen. Hey, everyone coming out today. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Uh, yo, followers, welcome. Brand new subs, Twitch Primes, Gifteds. Bro! A four? We're not playing Skyrim. How are you guys giving that game a 10 out of 10 and the combat is four? Thanks again for being with us today. We are just so grateful <sighs> that you've taken the time and spent it here. I, I mean, it was probably a lot to take in. There's a lot to the game, even more than yeah. we can show here. You know, as we play it, we're always sharing these unique and special moments that only a game like this can bring. When I think about what makes it special, it really is the people here. This game is a reflection of the incredible and passionate team that made it all of them putting something special of themselves into it okay. so let's hear some of their favorite moments i love the way that our final combination of all the new tech has come together to create some of the most beautiful sunsets yeah trouble man i got it but like uh, like what a game like skyrim like you know what i mean like i've never played a bethesda game really you know what i mean outside of uh we played fallout 76 for a little bit that's a bethesda game man you guys we did play that for like two days um, but yeah, I wouldn't want to know. I wouldn't like, I'm not down to go. I, like I'm okay with mods, but like quality of life mods, you get what I'm saying? I'm okay with that, but playing it, like I would want to play the game to experience it the way that people experienced it. That made them feel that, that nine out of 10 experience. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just like going right into mods and fucking 15, 15 foot long dicks and shit like that. You know what I mean? But, uh, but I, I mean, for me, like I like combat in video games. Like combat is pretty important to me when I play like a single player game. It can be at least. But um, I guess, you know, I guess never say never, man. You know what I mean? You got to keep an open mind until you try it, I guess. But like, you know, you know what I'm saying, though? As is we've ever had in any of our games. I love the creatures, the exploration. Every biome is different. The word that comes to mind no man's is guy. vast. I like to use our photo mode. I did like Liza P, yes. Photos. That game is very challenging. It's a cheating game, but discovery. I like it. And wow, I can't believe that there's more here. I'm most excited about our outpost building systems. My favorite that, part is every that's time you step out on a planet, it's a unique experience. You spent all this time. This part is dope too. And you see it on the landing pad. These things like the ship gigantic. building, the base it's building, the kind of thing that you just can't get. The combat else. looks okay if it's challenging, but it might might get repetitive, I guess. The distance and going. But then, of course, you can always change your weapon, here. right? I think it I makes can it make up. that jump. My favorite part is biomes, spaceships, audio design, planets, the day-night cycle. Those details matter to me. Diplomacy, exploration, freedom, the ending, Vesco, obviously. I love the robot so much. The incredible amount of worlds we created. Sniper rifles, come on. Lever action. Rocket launcher, brain sprout. Brains. I love, but some people might find creepy. I don't know. I don't know what's right, Ben. Uh -huh. The thing that I enjoy most about the game is the freedom to be who you want to be, do Me and what you want to do. It's what you've come to expect from a Bethesda title, but on a much bigger scale. On behalf of all of us, we can't wait for you to play Starfield and make your own special moments. Yeah. You know what I mean? We we might fuck around and dabble. We might fuck around and dabble.
Oh, what? Am I losing my yeah. mind over the game right now? Am I losing? Am I like, holy shit, bro? I want to try this so fucking bad. No, nah, not really. But uh, we might we might dabble. You know what I'm saying? We might fuck around and do a little bit of the dabbling. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, though. All right. Thank you. What's up, Zach? Tiger Akua? Caffeine? Thank you guys for the subs, man. September 6th, 2000. That shit is next week. Okay, guys, what's next? Get pixel blocked at it. That's what's next. Get pixel blocked at it. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 star feel direct, star feel direct, what that fucking mean? I don't even know, holy shit, my money green, coming through, motherfucker, got that steam, got that steam, got that motherfucking sniper with the beam, with the beam, and I shoot for the head, I leave your ass dead, then ignore your stinking ass like the first slice of bread, motherfucker, got the slice, motherfucker, cold as ice, you gotta understand, motherfucker, move like mice, what that mean? What that mean? Games recap. About to go next, bitch boy, motherfucker, have safe sex. What that damn fable? Boom. Okay, guys, we are going to do this now. This website that we're using is 2023.gamersrecap.io. I'm going to say that one time, and then 30 people are going to ask still. And if you troll me and ask, I'll see you in six days. Okay, um, OTK, OTK, uh, no, we're just going to go right on to these things, bada bing, boom, baps, um, get pixel blocked at it, to be announced, play reveal trailer, oh, we won, we won, is everything maximized, everything's maximized, uh, full screen, and ladies and gentlemen, here we go, wait, we got to update the title, what, Xbox game showcase? Okay, Xbox Games Showcase. All right, let's see what we got. Here we go. Video number one. Okay, guys, we're going to go. Uh, okay, so this is how we're going to do it. After each video we watch, we're going to go Schneeds or Schnext. Okay. Needs, of course, because you, you're fucking with it. You might you might copulate. Uh, Schnext, if nah, you're good. First game, Fable. Oh, we're finally doing this, are we? Because I was going to make a sandwich. 28 seconds. Oh, my God. Hold on. Should I wait 28 seconds? Yes. I get to sit down for two hours. Thank God. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Dave. Vegetable what enthusiast. What do I think about heroes? Okay. Well... We've all seen them, haven't we? Swanning about the place. Wait, did they say in-game footage? Them, oh, this is in-game footage? Okay, hold on, guys. We're going to go down. Wait a minute now. Ah! Oh! Hold on, guys. Hold on. Let me get, let me get comfortable. 30... 30.5. Let's scoot in, guys. Scoot in. Swanning about the place with their disproportionately high cheekbones and comically massive weapons. Wanker. This is not in-game footage. Yo, and why does she look like... What's his name? What's that, what's that rapper's name, bro? What's the rapper's name? What's that rapper's name, dude? That did a terrible fucking... That did a terrible fucking uh, remix of uh, Ice Cube's... Uh, Thing. No. No, what's his name, dude? He did a terrible remake. Re Logic. Oh my god. Did you guys see that fucking Logic remix fucking uh Ice Cube's uh uh Today's gonna be a good day with that fucking that fucking classic song? Fucking I forgot the name of that song. Oh my god, don't watch it. If you haven't seen it, do not watch it. Bro, this look like Logic's sister over here. Roughing up bandits, because they like to rough up bandits, don't they? Bro, wait a minute. That shit looks fire, though. Hold on. It's because they like to rough up bandits, don't they? 
Living it up with the Nah, this looks dope, though. Every single night. <laughs> on a day-to-day -day basis, I'd say the true hero is me, someone who's breaking new ground with fruit, with veg, on the agricultural side of things. Just look at them. Not wafting around mythical creatures. <laughs> and that's what they are. All right, bitch, if you kick that chicken, if I have to play you, I'm throwing your ass off a cliff. First thing I'm fucking doing, number one. Wafters. Yeah, well done. You see, I'm not here to slay legendary beasts. I'm here to conquer the vegetable. Not a euphemism. Let's face it, the age of heroes is over. This is Nah, but this looks kind of good, though. This like, are we looking at gameplay, though? It's the age of oh, death. shit, she's like a... One moment. What? This is awkward. No, that's yeah. cool. Bro, this fucking game is a schneeze, bro. Oh, f Dude, this game is a fucking... Bro, if we were just looking at... Were we looking at gameplay? Were we, does it help me, chat? Were we looking at gameplay? This game is a fucking schneeze. Hold on. Fable? Okay, Starfield, though? <sighs> I'll put it on the list. Um, Fable. Yes. This looks great. When does this game drop? Two thousand thirty-seven. We lost. Okay, that looks pretty good. Get pixel blocked at it. Okay, uh, next guys, we're gonna go with um, South of Midnight. Okay, Xbox Series X. Oh, okay. Well, okay, so this will be a PC game. Xbox Series X and Windows. Oh shit. Um, Xbox Series X and Windows as well. Action Adventure. Okay. Let's do it. Sound of Midnight. They're using Forza Tech Engine to make this game. Okay. That is a good point. If it is on Xbox, it is on PC. That is a good point. That is true. That is true. I forgot the only weirdos are fucking Nintendo and Sony that do that fucking dumb shit. Assholes. Oh, my God. Death don't have no mercy in this land. Hold on. This don't have no mercy in this land. Hold on. You come to your house and it won't stay long. You look in the bed and somebody be gone. That don't have no mercy in this land. Wait a minute. Shaking bones. In a while. So, you remember that favor you owe me? I'm looking for a creature. Huge, sneaky, teeth like knives. Wait a minute. No? Well, hey, how about you guys? No? Nobody? <sighs> Not helpful. Mm -hmm. Sneaky. Well, you look in the bed and somebody'll be gone. 
Fuck, man. See, I might have to give that game a pass. Like, I don't know if that was gameplay, but it might be one of those games. It might be one of those games where it's like, hold on, there might be something kind of crazy there. That art style looked pretty cool. And then the frames were obviously intentional. It kind of reminded me of like that one scene in one of those Spider-Verse movies where like it was intentionally at 26 frames per second. But the no gameplay is a little concerning, but it's still, it's still, what is it called? South of Midnight. It's still, I'm going to put it, it's kind of in the same category as Sand. That Sand game didn't have gameplay, but I'm still kind of curious. So we're going to put that on the list. South of Midnight. No gameplay, though. But it's still on the list. Okay, we're moving on. That was a dope. I like that. That was dope. Uh, out of here. Okay, next. Star Wars Outlaws. PS5, Xbox Series, Windows. These are dangerous times. At least that's what. Now nah, we're gonna go in order. We're not gonna skip anything. Did I skip one? The Empire. They're everywhere. But the world here belongs to the syndicates. I want to survive. I have to play their game. Looks like I'm all in. She's in here somewhere. On second thought, I'm out. <laughs> there she is. More no gameplay? All right, I'm not a big enough Star Wars fan to add this to this list. If there's no gameplay. I've been held back my whole life. That looks like a lot of fun, though. Riding that air motorcycle. To finally be free. Wherever that takes me. Starfield? I'm here to offer you a way out, okay? Uh, Get off my ship, Jalen. Give me a chance. Damn. You're gonna have to trust me. It'll be dangerous. Risky. But if you pull this off, you'll never look over your shoulder again. Dude, they really got, bro, they got, are they showing all the cutscenes for the game? They got to be showing the cutscenes for the game. But it's a big galaxy out there, and I'm going to risk it all. Almost none of them have gameplay? Star Wars Outlaws, coming 20. Wait, none of, almost, wait, when, these videos we watch, a lot of them don't have gameplay? Is that what you guys are saying? I mean, I'm not surprised because they get away with it because if you know, you know. All right. Well, uh, we go next. <clears throat> um, but hold on. I mean, Fable had gameplay, though. That was dope. That looked really good. South of Midnight didn't have gameplay, but I'll give it a pass. Star Wars? No. Um, 33 Immortals. Xbox, Windows, Hack and Slash Dungeon Crawler. What the fuck? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 30, 31, 32, 33. Okay, 33. Thirty-three immortals.
Okay, yellow guy died. Pick up and raid. Are these all individual players? 33 player co-op. That's kind of dope though. Like, if this was a single-player game, it might be a schnapp, but the fact that it could be, uh, like, 33 players completing a dungeon together, a raid together, sounds kind of dope. <sighs> because, because of the... Because of the... Uh, the uniqueness of this, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and I'll put that on the list as an experiment of... As an experiment of... We'll just keep an eye on it. We'll keep an eye on it because it's, it's, it's intriguing. It is. It is. At least for me. Um, we're gonna pass oh this. My God. Boom. Next. Uh, gameplay trailer. Payday three. This drops really soon. PlayStation, Xbox, Windows. Perfect. And this is a Valve game, right? Isn't isn't Payday? The, is Valve still making uh Payday games, guys? Payday 2.5. So Valve still makes Payday games, right? Yo, K Bell with the 49 months. All right, let's see. All right, guys. It's a simple job. I think I, I thought Valve did make payday games. Or am I getting you know what I think I might be getting confused? Maybe I'm wrong about if Valve makes it, but I think payday games are built on the source engine. Is that what it is? Does Valve only have access to the source engine or can other people make games on the source engine? I've never played RuneScape. Just in and out. Nothing to it. Co-op. What's up, Donnie? Everybody hit the floor. Climbing up game. Is that the game where you're like a dude and it, it, it's, it's like a fucking, you, you just keep, like you parkour all the way up to the top or something? That game looked a little funky. It looks good. I mean, sure, I'll put it on the fucking list. I'll put it on the list, guys. Fuck it. Next, um, P3 Persona Load, uh, Panda LOL just entered the chat. It's called Only Up. I right, remind me about that later. The website we're using is 2023.gamers. I'm sorry, dot games recap dot io. And 
is spelled capital T L O K. I'm just trolling. Mods, can you guys thank you? Tsunami just put the fucking uh the whatchamacallit in the chat for you. Okay, here we go. Quarter one next year, role playing Xbox, Windows. Perfect. Unreal Engine. Oh my yeah. Oh no, don't don't hit me with that. Don't hit me with that music. Don't hit me with that music. Whatever you do, please. Don't hit me with that fucking music. You know how they're always singing? Like it's like a like I can't explain it. It's so annoying. Why does it sound like the guy from Lincoln Park? No disrespect. I don't know why. Even if you're mad, it's so hard to try. The line is rhyme coming through now with the. Whoa, that looked like the motherfucker from The Simpsons, dude. Looks like fucking, what's his name from The Simpsons, guys? Burns? And it also looks like the penguin. Mr. Burns. Panda is fucking hyped for this game. On the fucking ultra wide screen, too. That's the thing. Don't forget about the ultra wide. <laughs> Waluigi. Play it day one with Game Pass. Play it day one with Game Pass. Um, that's gonna be a schnaw for me, dude. Avowed. Okay, next. Let's go. Yo, plug. Uh, yo, K Bell, Charlton. Thank you guys very much for the subs. What's up, man? How you doing, dude? Chilling. This is another Bethesda title. In-game footage and cinematics. Avowed. People don't like you very much, do they? Uh, so you're going to play the uh, Final Fantasy... 16 when the demo drops in 7.5 hours. Which one is that one? Like, there's like multiple Final Fantasy games. New one? Sent here to the living lands. I did see Starfield Ghost. Who couldn't bother to come himself. Ha <laughs> ha. Perky boy, you son of a gun. Which one is that one? The 16th one, see? No, I know, but there's like two Final Fantasy games, like a remaster and then another one coming out. What did I just look at just now? Why did that boot look so stiff? You want us to. I mean. Trust you. But the truth is. You scare us. Oh, well, that was like a Mortal Kombat move. The power you wield. Yeah, this is gonna be a schnapp for me. The secrets you. But this, yeah, it's a big schnapp for me. Okay. Is this a VR game? You're either here to save us. This is a VR game. Or destroy us. The 
But now that you have all this power, what are you gonna do with it? Okay, yeah, um, that's gonna be a uh, Chanel thank you. Moving on here. Ah, uh, my dear Lord, please prevent these individuals in my chat from asking about Pirate Games and Spire Games while we watch this, please. They won't stop talking about it for fucking six months if they watch this, so just please, after watching this, just make them forget everything about fucking Sea of Thieves so they don't annoy the fuck out of me for like the next two weeks. Thank you, God. I love you so much. Thank you again. <laughs> Ahoy, deep into the Sea of Thieves, here we are with another adventure game of Skeleton Slappers. Grab your crew of knights and approach the island that you've seen thousands of times before, because this is the legend of Monkey Island. Welcome to the Scum Bar, the most notorious tavern on Melee Island. Wall to wall rogues and scoundrels. <laughs> So tell me, which ship is right for you? A big ship? A luxury ship? A ship with just a splash of je ne sais quoi? The legend of Monkey Island? You mean Governor Guybrush? Isn't the legend of Monkey Island like a classic game chat? Like a super a classic point click adventure? Hey, what do you think you're doing? I told you no autographs. So I see you have a meet and greet ticket. And I guess it's not every day that you get to meet the mighty pirate Guybrush Threepwood. Who? The legend of Monkey Island. Oh! Put your trousers up. The Chuck has turned King the Kong. memories of this island into a prison for Guybrush. Well, well. What do we have here? Okay. You need these. Things may be very different. From the sea of thieves, you know. Oh, why? Yeah. Hold on! Ah! All right, well, okay. Okay. Play it day one with Game Pass. I get depressed when I watch, like, new Sea of Thieves content. Getting released. You know what I'm saying? It's like knowing what it could have been if they would have just did a couple of things. It's a little saddening. Why? Oh, my friend, you must you must have not have heard of Spire Games and Pyre Games. Just one of the greatest fucking imaginative custom games ever used in Sea of Thieves. But... It just had too much build up, like too much time to prepare to get servers organized, and then you got to fight through the plethora of bullshit and bugs and hit registration and dog shit net code. Like if they would, and then there was always this big thing of like, well, we could make private servers, but people are gonna care about progression, and like no one cares. Like, bro, we don't care. Let us all wear the same fucking shit. We don't care, bro. Just like leave the chest there. Like let let it be sandbox for us, bro. Give us the fucking servers, bro. Sixty tick minimum servers, bro. And it's, ah. Why you see? Oh my God! I was about to go see. I was about to, the why triggered me. I got triggered. Let me let me pull back. Um, see at these man. You know what I mean? The one that got away. Flight simulator. Here we go. Oh my yeah. Adobo. Uh, Josh Gav says, my favorite trailer of the day. Okay. But. I'm just playing, Josh. You didn't deserve that. I'm sorry. You're allowed to unsub for one month. I'm sorry. It will never happen again, Josh. I love you. <laughs> so this is your favorite trailer of the day? All right, let's see it. You're not a piece of shit, Josh. Stop. I'm the piece of shit. Don't take my role. I'm the piece of shit, pussy bitch. Me, that's me. Oh. 
Oh, they got search and rescue now? I've been waiting to hook up the Thrustmaster. I've been waiting. Is this this is in-game footage? Is this in-game footage? This game did look beautiful. I, I remember, right, Chad? Didn't it look like really good? Whoa. A plane inside of a plane. Wait, what the fuck? Is that a real thing? Is that a real fucking aircraft? Oh! Oh, they added that. Air racing. They added air racing. Bro, this update is kind of crazy. Bro, you would you would have to pay me a serious amount of money to put me in a fucking uh, uh, hot air balloon. There's a, aren't hot guys like out of all the flying things. Like, what is the most sketch to you? Hot air balloons, helicopters, or airplanes, or blimps? What is the what is the most sketch? Yo, helicopters are fucking sketchy too, aren't they? They're, they're fucking that sketchy, dude. Ooh, I'd be so fuck. I'd be so scared, bro. I don't really like flying as is. Voice cracks? Voice cracks? I said it first, bitch. That's what I thought. Anyway, um, I don't really like flying. You know what I mean? Like, it just fucking skews me out a little bit. But like a helicopter, holy. Anything off the ground, you rely on others. That's what I'm saying, dude. Kind of crazy. Yo, guys, question. I have a question. I got a question, guys. For a hundred thousand dollars, they train you. They train you, but you have to learn everything you're gonna learn in three months. Okay, you, but you get paid. The, the prize is only a hundred grand, but it's a hundred thousand dollars. No, two hundred thousand dollars. They train you how to free base jump off of the side of a cliff with one of those flying squirrel suits. But you only get the you only get the three hundred grand if you successfully land, obviously. But you only get three months of training. There's you guys are such liars, dude. Guys, your girlfriends, your your potential your future girlfriends are not watching the stream. Stop lying in chat right now. Your future girlfriends and boyfriends are not watching the stream. We can be real, guys. There is no fucking way I would do that. <laughs> Yo, Icy Beast, I gotta read this. This is a little this is a little morbid, but he says. He said, win-win. I either get 100000 or I die. Okay, dude. He's like, we don't want you to die, but that shit was funny, though. <laughs> but you can't, you can't say the win-win, though. Nah, bro. There's no way. This game looks pretty good, though. This game looks pretty good. Like, you know what's crazy? Like, I'm going to put this on the list, but we know damn well I'm not playing this shit. Oh, why? Yeah. Only because, like, I know the only way I'm going to play this is I need to hook up the Thrustmaster. You know what I'm saying? And I know that's going to be a whole thing. I got the back and then the stand up and then the sitting there. You know what I mean? But I'm going to still go. I'm pulling. I'm going to put it on the list. The key binds for a week. You know what I mean? The fucking aws and the yaws and the, and the pivots and the divots. You know what I'm saying? And then the compass. Yo, are we going north? Fucking, are we going to go west? You know what I'm saying? Are we going to go est? You know, way too much. Next. Uh, 
Microsoft fights up. Do an explain. Fine. They really hit us with the back to back. I know. I can just imagine, like, the back seat. Uh, imagine not knowing the proper altitude for a 747 Boeing airplane. Like, I'm, I'll lose it. I'll lose it. I'll lose it. I would not be able to deal with that. These things are kind of dope. I want to see somebody build, like, a model airplane of this. And like try to fly this shit with these fucking with it like with this style. I wanna see that. That's YouTube content right there. You're welcome. That's an easy million views. Easy. Dragonfly Dragonfly technology. I mean, it is what it is. That's a you know what I mean? Whatever. We just watched it. Okay. Senua's Saga, Hellblade 2. Oh, Hellblade was kind of serious. We played Hellblade. We played this. Here we go. Ninja Theory. She can feel them slipping. Oh, that's interesting. Following the threats of her mind. She's here to find them. The ones who hide. She needs their help with a promise. A question. Twenty twenty three dot games recaps dot IO. Wisdom has a price. And there's always a part of you that changes. A part of you that darkens. And a part of you that dies. Over there. That pool. I said a goddamn young Kenny Danger is dropping to 25 inches. Well, it has a smell terrible in there. You should never have come here. They can see us. Kenny, give me one second, bud. What is going to happen? It's time to find out. How can we make it happen? It's time to find out. Why are they watching? It's time to find out. What are they waiting for? Zegma, what are you waiting for? I'm here. Want me to do? Lost soul who fought through hell to find us. You were lost. Not anymore. Are you ready for what you will find here? What we will find? What if it's all for nothing? What is that? What are they? I think this is gameplay. What will they do to us? What will we do to us? I could be wrong though. Touch it. And oh, oh. Feel your mind. Your voices. All the parts of you that are broken. You can be whole. All 
the grief, all the rage, all the fear, everything I've seen, everything I've done, has led me to this place. We've come so far, not far enough. Say it. You are ready. Tell them. I am here. Now. What if we get lost forever? What will happen to them? What will happen to you? I will not let them down. She is ready. They know. Go. Who are these around you, Senua? Senua's Saga, Hellblade 2. Okay, okay. You led to death. Okay. I mean, I respect it. I, you know what I mean? Like, Chad, did we finish that game? I, sh I, I, fuck, I shouldn't have fucking walked into that. First and foremost, don't answer that question. Let's get some nonstop, blow it up in the goddamn real fast for Kenny Dangerous dropping to 25er, number one, MacGyver. And number, number two, Tomcat with the 500 bits, amazing stream pop, CSP, and ride or die as fuck in the goddamn. My brothers, thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. Kenny Dangerous says this, guys. He says, imagine not knowing the proper altitude of a Boeing 737. Breathes heavy. <gasps> The optimal altitude is 37,000 feet. As a man of perfect optimization, I know you already knew that. Love the stream, Bob. Open bracket, plus sign, close. Thank you, guys, man. Appreciate it. Uh, Sanua's. All right, all right. I'm going to ask it. Okay, guys, I know we, you know what? Let me just fucking get pixel blocked with it. Um, and let me open up my own Steam, and I'll figure this out. I don't even know why I'm doing this. So, Okay, so we did play. We played, we did play it. We played it for five hours. Okay. We, let me go to my super secret, dire secret website real fast. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Uh, oops. No, it's this. Boom. And then I do one of these. And then I do one of these. Hellblade. Ah, damn. Okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes, we played this for 4.7 hours. I remember we played it in one day. We didn't beat it, though. You know what I mean? Hey, you know what I mean? We had a one-night stand. You know, I didn't want to call the next morning. What can I say? It is what it is. Yo, Deputy Dog with the Big Boy Prime. Thank you for the Prime. Yo, Ghost Mad with the Prime. Thank you for the Prime. Do you guys smell that? Unused Twitch Primes being utilized by at least 11 oh, people I, in the chat yeah. right now, not realizing that they have it available, but they're going to check right now. Swern26 with the 28 months. Thank you, man. Hokey, thank you for the 59 months. Um, Out of respect, though, I'm going to put it on the list. I'm going to put it on the list. Get Pixel Blocked at it. I'm going to put the game on the list. You know what I mean? Because that sounds like a doable thing. Like, maybe we get excited oh, for I, it. yeah. Maybe we get excited and we say, fuck it. You know what? Let's just bang out that fucking game and go right into Hellblade 2. You never know. It might be. We might be feeling like we might be on our Viking shit one day. That can happen. <laughs> oh, I, uh, yeah. Senua's Saga, uh, Hellblade 2. Now we go next. Papa Grunt. With a 10 tier one. Oh, I, yeah. Thank you, dude. You know what? I actually have a sound effect that I want to use. Oh, I, yeah. Oh, I have one of those. I have one of those. Really? What about, what does this one do? Oh, I, yeah. And now I have this one. Get fucking screenshot it, chat. Augeology. Thank you. Appreciate you, baby. Yo, Mr. Shardan with the two months. Thank you. Deputy Dog, thanks for the prime, Pop. All right, let's get it. Oh, I, yeah. Next. Like a dragon. Quarter twenty twenty uh quarter one twenty twenty four. Here we go. Oh I yeah. <laughs> Yo, 
Funk Master Flex, bro. <laughs> oh, my yeah. You know what I mean? Shout out to Funk Master Flex, bro. But he's so fucking annoying sometimes. <laughs> like, holy shit. He's so fucking annoying. <laughs> oh, my yeah. <laughs> Oh, my yeah. Yo, slanted Nick with the tier one 12 month. Whoa, hey, yo. Let me get the 180. Let me get the 180. What are we working with? Oh, my yeah. Oh, my yeah. Oh, God. Ah! Oh, my <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, what's that? Oh, what's up, dude? Hey, loose, bro. Oh, what's that? Oh, the hang loose, bro. Oh, what's that? That's not the only that was a trailer. Guys, when you look at this, what do you guys think of? Tell me what you think of. When you just look at Like a Dragon, what just tell me everything that comes in your mind right now. Go. Um, somebody said it. Somebody said it. Who said it though? Who said it? Who said it? Oh, why? Yeah. Who said it? I just saw it in the chat. And then I lost it just like that. You know who you are, bro. You know who you are. Here we go. This is what I just thought of. Ready, guys? I see like a dragon. I think of this song right here. Yes, 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 yes. What else? Somehow I made it through. And then we have to stop because that is definitely a fucking strike on the account. Yo, Paco the Paco the Taco with the big boy prime. Thank you. Like a virgin. You got there, you never heard that song? Amazing. Madonna, look it up. Classic. Yo, ready player one with the open bracket plus line close bracket. All right, we go next. We go next, guys. Fallout 76, they're still doing stuff with this game? Is it good? Appalachia. What a sight. A verdant wonderland of promise plucked from post-atomic blight. The fruit of years of prudent progress and determined reclamation and 15 million dwellers worth of keen imagination from the heart Okay, this guy is fucking spitting though. Hold on. Appalachia. What a sight. A verdant wonderland of promise plucked from post-atomic blight. Mm. The fruit of years of prudent progress and determined reclamation mm -hmm. and 15 million dwellers worth of keen imagination mm. from the heart of oh, West I, Virginia yeah. to the depths of the pit. Well, we owe it all to Vault 76. Ooh, no matter pop a girl with the tattoo you will give me. Spend your time with friends. You'll find a home in oh, Appalachia I, yeah. where the good times never end. There are relics to uncover from a time before the war, along with loads of friendly folks to meet and enemies galore. Our world is always changing. Greater foes oh, are overthrown I, yeah. as we embark on expeditions into thrilling new unknowns. Yes, from Appalachian is popping off right now. to Nuka World on tour. You're never short on things to do or places to explore. Think you've seen it all, eh? Well, how about this? No. Pack your bags for an escape of Epicurean bliss. Ooh. Put your rad shield on and fix your hair up pretty because we're headed for the boardwalk of Atlantic City. Hey. So there you have it. 
Now you know. There's a million ways to make the wasteland. Me talk hey so he wouldn't do that one though. <laughs> your waist home and when you hear adventure calling when you're looking for some kicks answer the call of vault little dicks oh man there's so much opportunity here <laughs> answer the call of vault 76 okay that was cool play it now with xbox game pass i uh, i like the song all right that's gonna be a shot for me though Kanutsu game, Path of the Goddess. Why are you thinking about that, Cs? Yo, Mace TD, bro. Like, listen, bro. Like, welcome to the stream, bro. I appreciate you stopping here once every six years. Now shut the fuck up and enjoy the rest of the show. Capcom. What is this? It's like... It's like roots and skeleton hands mixed combined. Horses. Genji? Wait a minute. What? Whoa. Yo, I fuck with this. Oh, I fuck with this. Path of the God, dude. Low key. Where does that come out? Where does that come out? To be announced. I mean, it looks... I fuck with it. I like that. I like that view. Um, I like that. I like the colors. The combat looks pretty interesting too. Kanitsu, uh, Kanitsu, Path of the Goddess. All right, we'll throw that in there. Forza Motorsport. I know you're ready. You've got this. Let's tweak the car's performance for the I'm next I'm in my one. prime. This is my time like, oh. Oh. Bruh, you want to pop off like that, Papa Grunt? Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Not on my watch, Papa Grunt. Let me tell you why. Yeah, yeah, know a dude named Papa, he a showstopper, gotta understand, understand when he whip it out, motherfucker, it's a flopper, but he don't flop, Oh way. no he like the yeah. top, no he like the hit, no he like the fuck, no he hard like rock, listen, watch the Forza, huh. Motherfucker smooth, got an underdan, motherfucker in a groove, got an underdan, 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 dan. Now what that mean? It mean my bars is mad slick. And when I come through, motherfucker, you can call me Pimp Rick. And I will slap you, clap oh, you, I, but no, yeah. I won't entrap you. But afterwards, I'll smack you, because you is lacking, fool. Listen, 
His name is the Grunt. You know him oh, for boy punts. You know he ain't no cunt. What that mean? Because he has mad respect. He put a hickey on your daddy and on your mama's neck. Stupid. He dropping 20 gifteds. Playing Forza 9, motherfucker. Shifted. Different gears. Playing Gears of War. Oh, wait. Making yeah. it look so simple. Making it look like a chore. Damn. He dropped another 10. Let me go ahead, pretend. Let me oh, go wait. ahead, yeah. relate. Let me go ahead and bake a motherfucker a fucking cake. Damn. Well, get me started. Not stop blowing up at a goddamn for all the oh, supporters. Wait. My boy Kenny yeah. Dangerous, MC Jaguar, my boy Tomcat. Papa Grunt dropping a gargantuan amount of gifteds. You got to respect him. Oh, way. You got to. Yeah. Elder Scrolls Online. Necrom, The Shadows, Shadow of the Morrowind. Let's give it a try. Oh, way. Pump yeah. Daddy C. You give me no choice. Oh, way. Yeah. You give me no choice. But you knew that. You knew that, didn't you? No, we're not going to listen to Like a Virgin lyrics. Everybody take a nice deep breath. Oh, way, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yeah, 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 listen. Listen, Pump Daddy C, listen. Yo, hey. Welcome to the suburbs, don't forget who put you on. We appreciate your suburbs, this is why we made this song. If you memorize the words, you can't go ahead and oh, sing along. Yeah. Shout out to my old and new, my love for you is strong, goddamn. Let me go and twist, got an under damn bitch. Let me put you with this fist, what that mean? It means I'm straight knocking you out. You got an under damn boy, oh, you know way. I'm about yeah. that. Psych, cause I am a lover, not a fighter. Got an under damn boy, I'm a tighter. What that mean? I'm a typer, 79 words per minute. Got an under damn honest job okay you know what i mean you guys know i used to strip okay and then one day christina walked in <sighs> and then she couldn't resist so i was like all right fine i'll marry you fine. all right let's go elder scrolls online wait did we watch this already yo oh the pump way. daddy c yeah. with the other big boy gargantuan fucking sub gifted let me get some non-stop load up in a goddamn so much fucking gargantuan support thank you guys very much appreciate all you guys all right Oh, way, yeah. Oh, we're going to run ads. By the way, we do run ads. They are annoying. Please don't complain about them. You know what I'm saying? But thank you very much for supporting the stream in that way as well. Oh, way, yeah. Let's watch this one, though, because I don't even think this is, like, a really good one. So we could watch this one during the ad. It's, it's not that good, this one, I feel. That ever will be. 
It's like an expansion to like a 30 year old game. Have seen betrayal. Oh, I, yeah. Endurance. I could be wrong though. Ambition and courage. Oh, I, yeah. 2023.gamesrecap.lol. <laughs> the first time. I wasn't a stripper, dude. Oh my god. I feel disconnected from fate. I would be, but you know what I mean? I'm a grower, not a shower, so GG. against me, hungry for forbidden knowledge. A mystery long kept hidden. A secret that threatens oh, to I, yeah. reality itself. Oh, I, yeah. My oh boy, Carboinkle in the building, aka Carbon Kyle. Oh, I, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. All right. Play we go next. Xbox. That's going to be a schnau for me. All right. These are pretty good. We we have a couple. Of, oh, we have a decent amount. Oh, we don't got that many more, but we have some. Oh, my God. All right. Here we go. Oh, I, yeah. Now, this is interesting. What the fuck is this? Overwatch 2 Invasion. Yo, type 33 if you're not watching ads oh, right now. Oh, yeah. So I can make sure, because I want to make sure everyone everyone is able to watch this one at least. Yo, 3XOG, thank you for the follow, man. Oh, I, yeah. Crab Man Ganja, thank you for the follow. Did you also sub today too? You lord. All right, we're good to go? All right, let's go. Oh, I, I thought they yeah. scrapped all the PVE stuff, but hold on. Under attack. By Null Sector. There's something different about Null Sector this time. They've taken over most of the city. Oh, I, yeah. Omics. They need our help. People are answering Vincent's recall. There's new blood on the team. And we have Papa so with another tenor. Oh, I, yeah. Oh, okay, so they scrapped the good parts of the PvE. Coming through. Been a while, Overwatch 2 still has a story content coming out. Just no hero missions. Not the same, but it's something, I guess. It's being drip fed. Oh, okay. I thought they scrapped the entire thing, but I see it's not what they promised, basically, right? Or it's not what they got everybody hyped about with the skill trees and all that shit. Let's give it to Matt play things they give it too much. Bridget. Ah, fucking Overwatch, man. Fucking Overwatch. Let's go. Shall we do this together? Fight with me. Engaging. Watch this. 
I saw that. Not bad. Thank you, Papa Crown. I appreciate that, my boy. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Can't wait for Overwatch 3. <laughs> Watch this. Uninstall this game. Dude, man, Overwatch is, I mean, shit. I mean, there was some greatness at Overwatch, though. Like, the quality of life, like, just the polish, you know? You kind of just wish that, I guess, it stood through the test of time. And that the devs, or should we say, like, the the, the, the dudes at the, the top of the top. Because I bet you there's some triggered-ass, upset-ass Blizzard devs. Like, motherfucker, man, I really wanted to finish this shit. Had so many ideas. We fucking thought it all out, bro. We're ready to go. But they're like, yeah, but you know what? It's not making us as much money as releasing Call of Duty again this year. So we're not going to. We're going to have to go ahead and ask you to just, yeah, come in on Saturday and Sunday and scrap all your ideas. <laughs> it's Activision, right? Oh, no. Call of Duty's owned by somebody else now. Do they all own? Like, isn't Activ fucking Activision, bro? It's something with Activision, dude. Activision is crazy. Something with Activision, bro. They own that, right? Activision owns... Let me see what they have. Let me see what they got now. Get fucking pixel blocked, dude. Let me open up my battle, my battle net real quick. Because <clears throat> I believe all these games are on battle net now, right? Let me see. What do they got? What do they got here? Yes, Diablo, War, uh, World of Warcraft, Starcraft, <laughs> right? Fucking Hearthstone. What else? WoW Classic, Heroes of the Storm. Fucking Overwatch, obviously. You know what I mean? I guess it's not all completely the shit just yet, but there are some disappointing things that happen. What's next, guys? Fallout 76? No. Persona 5 Tactica. Oh my God. Wait, are we done? We're almost done. What is this place? It looks like oh, we're brother. in the palace. What the hell is going on? Yo, Panda, you ready for this? I know you're hyped. No idea. But if they're attacking us, our only choice is fighting back. Hey, look over there. Can you get us out of here? So you're telling me you're thieves who Oh, you're not a fan of the chibi, okay. Just happen to stumble into this world? The Rebel Corps will always help the Phantom Thieves, just as the Phantom Thieves have helped the Rebel Corps. Never forget that we're a united force who can rely on each other. You should be grateful to have been made mine. What do you mean the pan of disrespect? Who loves these games? Unfortunately, returning will be no easy feat. Somewhere deep inside, I know you realize things can't go on like this. I did, so, Boricua, yes. Will you take a stand beside us? Yeah, let's show them what we got. Play it day one with Game Pass. Get pixel blocked at it. Okay, that's going to be a fucking schna for me, by the way. That's a big schna. All right, we got the Starfield stuff. We already know. We know about the Starfield. What is this? Just Ant? Dude, this is only going to come out on the Xbox Series XS. We lost. Rated everyone. Where's her chalk? Oh, this is the climbing game?
I feel you, Benico. I feel you. But I'm surprised that this one didn't say Windows. Like, why doesn't this one say Windows? Maybe they just forgot. Why do I feel like this game is going to have sky whales in it? Interesting. She built that? Okay. They, oh, it will be on PC? Interesting. This actually might be kind of fun. Jassant. Climb, fall. Play it day one with Game Pass. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I, I can appreciate the art, art the, the art, the visuals, the sense of accomplishment upon climbing, I don't know, 400 feet into the sky and then seeing a little village. Who knows? Let's go ahead and just put it on the list, just in case. Jassant. Still, uh, still wakes the deep. Mature, 17 plus. Well, that's one thing that you can't fucking... That's the one thing that Sea of Thieves got over every fucking game I've ever played in my life is their water is fucking phenomenal. Jesus Christ. What, you know what? You know what would be actually an amazing update for Sea of Thieves? You know what would be a phenomenal update for Sea of Thieves? And I don't know why they don't do this. Bro, imagine if they added like boogie boarding or like surfing somehow. But they would have to add that mechanic into the game. They would have to add those like those surfing and boogie boarding uh, mechanics into the game. And, 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 and like maybe some islands have like be better waves than other islands. Dude, that would be fucking crazy. Yo, water skiing behind the ships. <laughs> oh, this looks interesting. Uh, okay, because it's arriving in early 2024, we'll give it some time. We'll give maybe, you know what I mean? We'll give us some time. I'm going to say Shana for now, though. Uh, Dungeons of Hinterberg. Hmm. And then we got, we got Cyberpunk. We got City Skylines. We got Metaphor. We got Towerborn. Clockwork Re Revolution. And then that's it, dude. That's it. These are the last five, guys. Or the last six. Let's go. We got a couple of good ones on here, though. Starfield, 33 Immortals, Payday 3, Flight Simulator, Sanua's, uh, Kanutsu, and Jassant. Way more on PC Gaming Show, but let's see. Whoa, snowboard, sign me up. The one-inch punch. Yo, Miska Shakua with the 43, baby. Thank you, Pop. AJ, what's up? Thank you for the 22 months, dude. Snowman, thank you for the follow. 3XOG, thank you for the follow.
Guys, there's 23 people watching the stream right now that are unfollowed. Could you imagine? Unreal. Uh, Dungeons of Hinterberg, that might be a schna for me. Next, Cyberpunk. Do we got to do a Cyberpunk playthrough one of these days? We might have to. There's got to be a way out. Yo, Wilson, thank you very much for the 33, baby. Johnny. I'm dying. There's nothing can stop that. Damn, that's sad. V. My name is Songbird. I'm an NUS intelligence analyst. I know about the bomb ticking in your head. And I can save your life. What's the catch? I need you to get to Dogtown. Attention all Dogtown residents. The president managed to crash her Space Force One into our humble district. Man's got a thousand and one reasons to want Myers as a hostage. Sleeper agents. Hey, just Odin. Okay, dude. So NUSA is tossing us back. Appreciate the sabbatical. Right Stay sharp. We're in the wolf's den now. Get Myers out of there. Apparently, there's a bunch of shit that's being reworked with the expansion as well. People that have played some of it already are saying this is really un undersold it. They catch us out here, we're dead. Oh, like they're saying that this trailer's not good enough for the amount of work that was actually done, you're saying? Cyberpunk is going through kind of like a redemption arc, aren't they, guys? Like with, with updates and stuff? Someone ratted us out. You know, V, treason ain't ever black and white. It's a charade, V. Wherever she goes, people get hurt. Bodies drop. Just want what Songbird promised me. The cure. The situation has changed. I need to know if you're with me. Illusion of freedom draws in the desperate. Pick your Idris. Me. Come on. Got iron in your head. Got to put it to someone's head. Pull Bro, the is trigger. That... Bro, is that AI Keanu Reeves voice? Do anything and do it soon. I'll die. That might be AI Keanu Reeves voice, Fred. So September 26th. That's not bad. Right around the corner. Three months. Um, if you do play, I would wait for the expansion sees. There's a lot of information coming out that Phantom Liber that Phantom Liberty completely rewrites the structure of Cyberpunk, changing a lot of the systems and mechanics. How armor, cyber mods work, skilled trees, vehicle combat. Police threat system, etc. I'm actually waiting to play through it again because of that. Okay. That's pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Cool. All right. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and put that on the list, shall we, guys? Shall we? Cyberpunk 2077. Phantom Liberty. In January of 2023. Um, okay, City Skylines. All footage captured in-game. Every road, like, is that the name of the devs? Or, like, they're saying they have every road in the world. Oh, no, this is like a sim, right? I, like, you build, like, a city building simulator. Did I say January? I meant to say, you guys know I'm dyslexic. You know that. This game is addicting. Yo, noob file, thank you for the prime.
This is like... Didn't SimCity used to be this way, guys? Like, SimCity was all about just building, like, a city. And then they kind of got into, like, the Sims. Like, like the people of this, the SimCity, right? I did see that, uh, section. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good, dude. Might be a lot of work, though, to whip out the fucking flight sticksticles, though. It's on the list, though. It's on the list. Never say never. All right. Play uh, it. Guys, metaphor re -fantasio. Here we go. Another panda game? I knew it. Atlas doesn't miss, what can you say? Whoa, what was that? They were skating on. That's the guy. Bro, fucking Blaze Blue? You guys know I fuck around with Blaze Blue. Oh, he's surfing on his sword. What a lord. これこそ人間の真実だ。道は Okay. That might be a schna for me, but you know what I mean? That's a shes for uh, Panda, so that's a, that's a win right there. Panda, let me know. All right, Towerborn. Two more, guys, and then it's all over. Stoic. Humanity's cities have fallen. Young Papa Grunt with another tenor. Our people's only means of survival. Not a pretender. Is to seek sanctuary here. More like a style bender. In the belfry. Ah, oh, fuck. I just got into a fender bender. You must Appreciate the temp, Pop. Thank you, dude. Guys, can I get some love in a goddamn for Papa Grunt? To find the origins of this evil. Power defense. And bring hope. Back to our people. Ganja Claws. Oh, jeez. Hold on. Oh, dude. This is like Castle Crashers almost. Yeah, right, Trace? Oh, this does look sick. Together, you can save humanity. I appreciate you, Ganj. OG, Pop. I appreciate you, dude. Oh, uh, yeah, we're going to add that. I like how that looks. We got one more. And I like, okay, it's called Tower Born. Okay. Okay, guys, and then last but not least, we've been watching, yo, we've been basically, this has been like a six-hour game discovery. It's been kind of lit, though. We discovered a lot of games. We're going to go through, we're going to go over all the games that we, uh, that piqued our interest. So if you're tuning in a little bit late, it'll be there. Plus, the VOD will be available for you guys, too. Um, Does that mean we're ending the stream? Unfortunately, guys, it doesn't mean we're ending the stream. Ha <laughs> ha. No, we're not. Not yet. So I'm, I've been sipping on a coffee too. I'm kind of bugging right now. 
Uh, anyway, okay, Clockwork Revolution. Action first per, uh, first person shooter adventure role playing RPG. Yeah, this game is Pog. Hold on. Sublace. In game footage and cinematics. We've seen a decent amount of uh, gameplay footage from these. Lady Ironwood, the future. This city is a so like a steampunk type game. A finely tuned, delicately balanced machine. Liza P. Yo, what the hell is that? Is she like, oh my god, that's so obnoxious. That machine is so obnoxious. That machine is so fucking obnoxious. One rebellious little gear to ruin everything. Wow. Blint. If you resist my rule. Hold on. If you alter our past. If you threaten what I Bio Swagger Jack, I'm deaded. There is nowhere in space or time where I will not destroy you. did I do? Any last words before my friend puts one in your scalp? Damn. I mean... I might put that on the list. I might put that on the list, Lokich. We're going to put that one on the list. Okay, clockwork. Clockwork Revolution. All right, and then they got the Xbox series. We watched the whole Starfield thing, and then this is all the PC gaming show stuff. Yo, the P. Okay, guys, you guys ready? Put some music on, shall we? Shall we? What do we want to listen to? What? Okay, so the list, guys, the list. I'm going to post the list in the chat. Okay. Um, is Grim Reap still here, by the way? Where's Curtis? Curtis, how many blunts did you smoke during that? Um, we're going to post this. It says I reached the limit. Yo, do you see that, Curtis, or no? Do you see what I just posted in the chat or no? Oh, it just didn't even accept all of it. Yeah, there we go. There's the rest of it right there. All right. So, we got a lot. We got a lot. But what do we have? We're going to start adding some of this to the to the wish list on Steam. Um, speaking of which, let me uh let me stretch the legs because we I've been how long have I been sitting? So we started off with a with an hour standing, then we sat down for two hours, that's three hours, then another hour standing, that's four hours. And then we actually have to be standing right now. Wait, do we have to stand right now? There's no way I've been sitting down for two hours, dude. Has it been two hours? We lost. Wait, hour one? is standing for one hour then we sit down for two hours that's three hours then we stand up for one fuck yeah we got to stand up now okay i'm gonna i'm gonna set up the stand-up desk i'm gonna go replenish my beverage i'm gonna use the restroom i'll leave i'm gonna put something on for you guys to watch though but i'm gonna need like a cheeky like a cheeky eight minutes or something um what were we watching the other day 
Ooh. What the fuck were we watching the other day? Bro, we're just going to go deep. We're going to go deep. We're going to go deep into the fucking... But it's like, it's, I don't, it's like, listen, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> I'll leave you guys with this. I'll be right back. People are funny, bro. But like, shout out to that guy though, right? He was looking out for me. You know what I'm saying? Yo, low key, wait a minute. You think that works? If a dog is attacking you, you put your finger up his ass. You think it'll stop attacking you? I mean, honestly, that's, that's a fucking tactic and a half right there. I mean, I'm almost thinking this, like, what if you're fighting a guy naked, right? And you're getting your ass kicked. And you're getting your ass kicked. You know what I'm saying? You might as well, you know? <laughs> yo, yo, I never fucking thought about that. Wow, that's actually, damn, that is some high, dude, that is strategical as fuck. Because you know what, there's like, guys, there's like a golden rule. Let me ask you guys a question real quick. Hold on. This is the, okay. I have a real guys. Let me ask you guys a question and just be real. If you guys are in a fight, you see, I don't know. This is the way I see the way I see it is this. Like, does, does everything go in a fight? Yes or no. Does everything go in a fight? And in a way, in a way, if you think about it, am I, you know what? Like, yeah, yeah, yes, exactly. That's what I'm over here thinking to myself. Like, like, I want to say you shouldn't kick a man in the balls. You shouldn't squeeze a man's balls. You shouldn't, like... But in a fucking fight where you don't know if a motherfucker's going to kill you, like, honestly, anything fucking goes. Anything does go fucking biting fucking... You know what I'm saying? What if he got you in, like, a, a triangle lock, right? And your face is right there. See, Chad, let me ask you guys a question. What if I got you in... Like, what if you don't know me, right? And me and you were we're in a fight. We're in a street fight. And, like, you're scared. You don't know, you don't know me from nothing right you're by yourself and i got you in a crazy ass triangle right but it's like it's i don't it's like listen i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about, but listen but hear me out let's just say your head is right in between my crotch okay <laughs> listen let's say your head <laughs> oh my listen God. guys listen let's say let's say <laughs> I got you guys, and your head is right there, right? And I'm squeezing the side of your face <laughs> with my thighs, right? And you're low key, you're starting to lose, you can't hear shit. Like, are you taking a, are you taking a bite right then and there? Are you taking a bite, dude? That like low key, bro. That would, I mean, that yeah, I think I would have to. I think in that situation, oh, everything goes. You just take that. Like, what are you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Yo, but the fucking putting your finger up a dog's ass if he's attacking you is actually a million dollar idea. Yeah, but what? But what happens if the dog just all of a sudden starts moaning and shit? It starts to. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yo, that was yo. I, I wasn't ready for that, bro. I wasn't ready for that. Was a suggestion in the chat on what do you do when you're getting attacked by a dog? Someone, someone just, just like real quick was like, "Yo, finger right up the ass, done." Wow. I mean, I guess all the fights that I see, though, all the fights that I see, you rarely see guys going for the jewels, though. You rarely see it. It does happen from time to time. I think I might have seen one fight, maybe a couple of months ago, oh, where this guy was screaming because the dude he was fighting was squeezing his nuts. He was screaming. He was like, ah, ah. like, bro, like, <laughs> yo. People don't realize, like, bro, that's that is, it's it's our weakness, dude. Like, could you imagine like going out to a fight? Like, could you imagine going out to a club, or going out to a bar or something like that, and you're about to get into a fucking fight, and then a guy knocks on his crotch, letting you know that he has a cup on. Like, bro, tell me that's probably not the most terrifying thing in the world. Oh, why? You know what I'm saying? Outside of those ears, those fucked up ears. Like, imagine if a dude went to the club with a fucking cup on. Like, he was prepared. This motherfucker was prepared. You know what I mean? Like, how did you even know you were going to get into a fight tonight, you fucking psycho? I think at that point, I'm just running. Like, fuck it. Like, fuck the pride. I'm just going to run. You know what I mean? I'll explain it. I'll explain it to my wife. You know, like, listen, babe, let me explain what happened there. Okay? You know, don't lose hope. I'm still the protector. 
But let me explain what happened in that situation. <laughs> you got to think of the type of man that goes to a club with a cup on. That's a real fucking cycle. Because, like, what if he's trying to dance and shit? Like, you're trying to dance with, like, some, you know what I mean? Like, and you got a cup on? <laughs> you know what I mean? You got to be ready. You know what I'm saying? Are you guys ready for the zombie apocalypse? Let's talk about the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> You know, maybe, you know, you know, this is from, though, the, I'm going to tell you why I, th I am the way I am when it comes to, like, protecting It's because I was raised with women and I was the youngest. So, like, I got it. You know what I mean? So I got to I have to be a little bit different, dude. Like, I, like I already, you know what I mean? Growing up being, a, you know, not being a man yet and just being small and like, yo, how am I supposed to protect these motherfuckers, bro? You know, you got to always be, maybe maybe made me a little paranoid or something. You know what I mean? But you know what? But your boy's ready. You got to stay ready. Head on a fucking swivel. Situational awareness at all times. All the things we talked about. A little quick, a little quick recap. Like, what do you do if you're getting attacked by a dog? Yo, put a finger up his ass. Wow. Then that, then that turned into like, okay, guys. But yo, fellas, like, if you guys are in a fight situation, does anything go? Everyone is, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I'm like, damn. Got some fucking survivors in the goddamn chat. All right, now listen. What if I got you in a triangle and my thighs and my nuts is right there? Are you biting my dick? <laughs> at first, uh, at first I was afraid. I was petrified. I kept thinking how I could never live without you by my side. But then I spent so many nights oh, wow. thinking how of a god I was at this streaming shit. And how dare you fucking disrespect like I didn't put up on your favorite streamer everything they do to make you laugh. Where do you think it comes from? That's my fucking swag. They jack. Those motherfuckers never lack. But now you're back to me and you want to me fucking make a contact. But guess what, bitch? Nah, fuck you too. You ain't no real ride or die as fuck. Yeah, you could go and screw. That other motherfucker that you like to watch when I'm not around and even when I'm here You want me to turn your frown upside down? No, I won't fuck you No, fuck you too I'll fucking ban your ass and I won't even count to the number two I'll be really happy I did because I'm here for my ride or dies, you motherfucker I hope you fucking don't survive uh, no. Come out of the... <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Okay, here we go, here we go. Listen. It took all the strength I had to recognize that you're dropping other emotes in my fucking chat from some other motherfucker who never gave you the twice a day, but now you're back because you didn't like the game he played. Now go on, fuck you. You fucking left. Don't you come crawling back to me like this is some fucking white cleft. I don't care, motherfucker, what you do. I don't care, fucking what you say. You're going to screw off and watch an ASMR another day. Go on and go. Go back there. Nah, I don't give a fuck if there is no camera in the air, motherfucker. This is the fucking stream that you fucking know you love, but you're gonna fucking go ahead and... To try to give another guy a rub. No, no, fuck you. Fuck you and me. Chad, listen. We can do it. Listen, Damn, we two timers, bro. You know what's the thing, bro? A lot of two timers. A lot of two timers, man. A lot of two timers. Oh, yeah. Gotta watch. Yo, young Papa grown with another five gifted on the stand up. You got to fucking respect it. Nice. Thank you, dude. Mic check. Mic check. We good? Oh, shit, dude. Yo, Captain Charisma. End line. Evil Eyes WK. Thank you, dude. Yo, guys. So we got some time to play some video games. The question is, what are we going to play? Yeah. Guys, I'm excited for fucking Battle Bit Remastered, man. What's up, Strawberry? What's up, Zappins? Yo, Papa, man, dude. You're popping off, man. Thank you, Pop. Okay. Oh, no, no. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Don't play with it, don't play with it, baby boy, don't play with it. Ooh, ooh, baby boy, don't play with it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, let me, no, 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 we're going to do something. We're going to do something right now, hold on. Yo, is Grim Reap still here, by the way? Oh, why? Is Grim yeah. Reap's here? Because I told him I'd look at a game, uh, a fate game. 
Grim Reeves. Grim Reeves. He's not here. He left us. He's cheating on us right now. As we speak, he's cheating on us. All right, let me post that in there. Um, let me post that there. Bada bing, boom, baps. And then hit enter. And then let's do this. Uh, where is my... Where is my Twitter? It's right here. My Twitter is here, my friend. All right. I need to copy this. Okay. Uh, we're done with this. Tooters. All right. Notepad. Where's my notepad? I have learned so much at my current job. I got high hopes, man, for the future. Yo, let's go, dude. Fuck yeah, man. Pocketivity all up in your areolas, Bob. Okay. All right. Boom, we do one of those. We do one of these. Little little cock tight. Okay, so this is what we got on the list. You guys ready? We're going to do it like this. I'll fuck your face. Okay, so get boomed. Okay. Are you guys still pixel blocked? Did it? No. Okay, so we got Black Skylands, right? Which I believe. Get pixel blocked. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do it like this. Get out of my fucking face. Get out of my fucking face. All right, we'll be somewhat organized here. Um. And then I gotta put the fucking whatchamacallit on. I gotta put the timer, the stand up timer for one hour. Chat, I don't want to listen to this song right now. I don't want to listen to these, these songs. Oh, my God. I just wish I could just listen to any music in the world, man. Fucking A. It's so annoying, God. Fuck. Sorry, guys. I'm just, it's so annoying, dude. So annoying. You know what it feels? I'm going to tell you what it's like, guys. I'm going to tell you what it's like. Not, not, I'm going to tell you what it's like. Not being able to like play any fucking song I want to fucking play and not have to deal with all that annoying shit is the same thing as like you go to somebody's like, or maybe this is in your house, like you go to dry your hands and like you can't use those towels because they're for fucking decoration. You know what I mean? It's like, well, why? Why can't I just use it right there? Why can't I just use them to dry my hands? They're for decoration. Fuck. It's one of those, dude. It's like it's a similar feeling. Oh, what song? Like, I, there's so many fucking songs, dude, that I love. Oh, wow. Yeah. But I can't because, like, just again, you know what I mean? Might, you know what I mean? Might, but, you know what I mean? I don't even know that one. 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 This one. Oh, fuck. I mean, we're going to listen to that for the fucking one billionth time. Fuck it, fine. I'll put that in the background, motherfucker. Okay, Black Skylands. Oh, yo, Lords of the Fallen, guys? Well, you know we put that on the wish list because that shit looks good. That shit low-key looks pretty good. Um, okay, Black Skylands is already on the list. You guys already know that, right? You guys already know this. This is on the list. We might be fucking around with this game. We might play this game low key. We might fuck around and play this game low key. Okay, but that's on the list. Okay. Um, Punch Club. So this is like the, the logistics being handled. Okay. Punch Club, fast forward two. Okay, this is the one that we also added. All right, I'm gonna skim through these guys. So like, if, you, if you're just tuning in, this will give you like a quick little synopsis. Frostpunk. Okay, Frostpunk two. Yo, 
Yo, Frostpunk is only $5.99, the first one? Hold on. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add the second one just in case. Bada bing, boom, babs. Okay, Navalis. Navalis. I spelled it wrong. Navalis is already on there. This looks pretty dope. Uh, Jump Light Odyssey. Yo. Oh, there's a demo. What? They got a demo. Keep hope alive on your adventure to the mythical forever star. Gather survivors, repair, and build out your starship, brave black holes, and fend off attacks, all while managing the daily soap opera of your colorful crew. Shiloki. Dude, this game actually might be kind of fire. Oh, well, we're going to add that to the list. And they got a demo. They got a demo. All right. Um. Okay, now this is the questionable one. Warhaven. Is it one word? See, now this one, bro, like, what is going on here? See, these Nexon games, you really got to fucking watch. These are, like, very, like, pay-to-win games, right, guys? But, I mean, it looks kind of dope. I'm going to do one of these just to keep an eye on it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, most likely we'll be let down, but we'll keep it on there. All right, this, okay, this RTS looked pretty lit. Dorf, real-time str uh, strategic conflict. Okay. This looked pretty good. We're going to add that bad boy. Watch a little gameplay of this one. Like old school RTS. This might not be PvP though, right? Probably just. That's a dome. That's a dome. That's a dome. Oh, I like it. Hovercraft. Bro, I was blown away by hovercrafts growing up, guys. I couldn't believe what I, I was like, what? A fucking vehicle that fucking hovers on air? I mean, hovers on the water and air? I was blown away. Looks like Red Alert. Yo, Angel, really? Loki, Loki, Loki. Online PvP. Also has the online PvP. Yo! Let me get some nonstop seas lords in the goddamn for that deuteroni macaroni. In the goddamn. Oh, way. <laughs> Thank you, Papa Grunt. Papa Grunt, what is that, like 100 gifteds? What is that, like 190 gifteds, dude? Oh, my God. Oh, way. Yeah. Yo, guys, enjoy it, man. Yo, if you guys are getting gifted, man, make sure you guys thank those who are gifted, man. Gifted, gifted subs don't grow on trees. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's somebody else's hard-earned guapachines, so you don't oh, have to watch way. ads for the yeah. next 30 days. Now you guys get some emotes. Come on now. Come on now. Obi-Wan Jabroni, thank you for the gifted. Yes, Lords of the Fallen looks really good. Um, oh, way. We yeah. have that on the wish list as well. Okay, Sulfur looked pretty good. Sulfur? Yeah, this game was this game looked dope. Oh, That's right. Yeah. Oh, if this had a demo, dude, I'd play the shit out of a demo right now. Okay, but we find out that it's single player only. That's okay. I like the art style, dude. Yeah. Fuck with the art style. That game looked pretty fun. Uh, what else we got? Lords of the Fallen. Somebody said Lords of the Fallen. Was it uh in Insanium? Look at this. Oh, I, yeah. Lords of the yes we have that one on the listicles of course that one's right there I'll, I'll just i'll click on them give you guys a little quick peek oh way yeah it's next is dread pirates by the legions of adir the demon god did i spell One pirates wrong still flickers in the ever growing gloom the light oh it's oh, dread way. pilots yeah. 
Clay games. You got it. Bro, I love clay games. You got to single player. Bro, don't starve together. Yeah. Oh, way. Yeah. Um Let's make sure this one is added to the wish list. Let me watch this again though. Yo, Papa Grunt, dude, you need to, bro, that's, that, that is, bro, there's a game that we're going to make that happen. It's, it's uh, Battle Bit Remastered, bro. That's the game. 127 versus 127, a whole bunch of ride or die as fuck motherfuckers on one squad. Did I see the new replace trailer? Yes, dude. Battle bit was so much fun. You're getting attacked. Oh, he thought shit was sweet, guys. He thought shit was sweet. He thought he could farm and peace? Wrong. Is it kind of like an extraction? Dude, is it dude? I think it has like FTL vibes, bro. Except it's like one dude. Can you play it on the Xbox One? No, you won't be able to. You don't have a PC yet, Papa Grunt? I say yeah, because I feel like it's going to come in the future. Um, Replaced. I mean, I think, bro, I've seen enough of Replaced. I'm down. L let me finish this. Let me finish this. Because, like, I already know, like, Replace This looks dope. I already know that's going to be one of the bangers. Um, and that's that That game has been on the list. All right, next up, we got The Invincible. We already know about that one. That's already there. Perfect. Uh, Diesel Legacy. Introducing Diesel oh, yeah. Legacy. Oh, there's a play test. I'm gonna request access. Join the open beta now on Steam. I think I might even have access. Bro, I have access right away. Introducing Diesel Legacy. Introducing Diesel Legacy. Join Bro, a 2v2 fighting game where four Steam. players battle on the same stage at the same time. Two this unique twist of the action. traditional fighting game formula adds an entirely new layer of strategy where cooperation will become key to success. Down, but not out. Rollback Neko. Local and online multiplayer. Okay, so they got these four dudes. Yo, look at this guy. This guy is fucking creepy with the fucking tongue and everything. That might be my main. Wait a minute, dude. Rory looks very similar to someone else. Real match. Worldwide rollback Neckway. Bro, the fucking stunners? Determine the fate of the Iron City. Oh, it zooms in and zooms out? Bro, this shit might go fucking hard, dude. This shit actually might go hard, bro. This might go fucking hard. I did see the oh, new Gator right. Boss, yes. Yeah. I didn't watch any, like, recent trailers, though. Yo, Zen Hollow, man, we got you, baby. We got you. Let's not stop CSP in the goddamn. Let's get it. The natural and organs, my mans. Um, that looked okay. You, I, if you request access, guys, you get it right away. That's dope. We're still gonna add it to the wish list. Let's continue. Um, okay, this game looks sick. Parcel Corpse, bruh. Ditch the nine to five and embrace the high octane life of a freelance bicycle messenger. Forget the job security, stable salary, and basic workplace rights. Less cool jobs offer while you ride along walls, grind rails, and start and startle pigeons on your way to the corporation toppling domination. Chill. Chill. 
Yo, it just seems like they got the fucking look. They they got the animations down. Oh, they Hello? do the whole thing. Quest little teaser or video to explain why I, I just the being... gameplay. No disrespect. Dude. Embrace the giga con any colorful identity of daily life and slip into the spandex of one of our many colorful. You know what I mean, messages. chat? Embrace the game like the art styles though security, it seems like they got the fucking bikes, the movement control, down control, the animations with time, the bike moving through alleys to find gravity as you ride up walls leap from rooftops startle pigeons well it's kind of like a career in video game development all right next Except next i'm not gonna do the whole thing though all right this is definitely gonna be added wait what is this okay that's it okay next up what do we got don't 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 Go, go. Shadows Gambit. Shadows Gambit is already on there. The Curse Crew. Uh, Exo Rally Championship. This is a new one. This seemed pretty cool. Exo Rally Championship is the galaxy's most dangerous off-road racing event. Remote, unexplored, extreme ex 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 exoplanetary rally. Master a brutally realistic racing simulation and fight for every second gained on your quest to become a champion. This looked pretty cool. It, yo, Aflex, exactly, dude. It reminded me of Jet Set Radio as well. Yeah, I know, Sax Train. I know you're really big into MK, brother, but I, I used to have nightmares with Mortal Kombat games. You know what I'm saying, Sax? And I vowed to never, you know, play them ever again, even though I just played Mortal Kombat not too long ago with the boys. At first, I thought this was a create your own, like, space rover racer. I'm not sure, Doobie D. But it caught my, it caught my eye. It might be, it might be kind of dope. We'll see. Um, Stormgate, we already know. Fortune's Run. Wait, why did we add that? There's a demo for this one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like a little boomer shooter with blades. Sure. If I'm by myself, what's your favorite workout? I don't know, dude. Like, my workouts are like my fucking games, multi genre You know what I'm saying? Um, it all depends. Like, right now, my workouts are kind of boring because I'm doing a lot of, like, I'm uh, doing, like, the, the McGill Big Three. So I'm doing that whole thing to, like, get the get all the little individual muscles in the core fucking figured out and the hip flexors and all that shit. Doing a lot of stretching. Um... Oh, typically with whatever's fun, man. Calisthenics, pull-ups, push-ups, burpees are fun. Um, I'm getting a sled, so pushing that is going to be fun. Pulling that is going to be fun. Um, I got, like, clubs. I, I utilize clubs, like, different weighted clubs. I do, like, different uh, club exercises, uh, kettlebells, um, like, functional type shit. Just, just like I try, I try to like do practical shit. But right now, I'm, I'm focusing on not hurting myself. That's like key. number one. Just do things that don't irritate the lower back, just so I don't like re fucking re injure myself as I get healthier. But uh, dude, I'm, if you find yourself getting bored with workouts, dude, pop on a podcast like in the one ear. Go for a walk, man. At every stoplight, do push-ups, do air squats, do burpees. You know, mix it up. You know what I mean? Learn the town a little bit. Um. Yeah, you don't really need much, man. Everyone's different too, man. Everybody's different. So what might be fun for me might not be fun for you. Um. Where were we? Okay, Fortune's Run. I'm gonna add that to the list. We're not gonna do the demo right now, though. Uh, okay, now this game. I think I spelled this one wrong. Do you guys remember how we spelled this one? Oh, this is it. June 15th, so this comes out really soon. Let's watch this a second. Uma das séries mais queridas do planeta. 
The most important game of the galaxy is a point and click adventure game about an eight year old boy who lives with his eccentric family in the shadow of Jorel. His handsome and popular brother, based on the award winning Brazilian animation Jorel's brother. Wait, is this whole game in subtitles? I love the art style though. Uh, my height is 6'5", my weight is like 250. I didn't even realize this. Wait a minute, did they? What? Dude, I didn't even realize it was Brazilian the whole time? Or Portuguese? I mean, I'm still gonna add it. You never know. You never know. Look at this motherfucker, though. How do we not figure out what's going on with this guy with those two teeth? Well, you said that, but minus... minus but I... Well, I said minus that. I'm lost, dude. I'm so lost. Oh, okay, so you got two herniated discs. L listen, brother, I'm no... Uh, I'm no, I'm no back expert, but I, from a lot of, uh, from a lot of, you know, Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet, they say that walking is very good. If you can stand it, if you can stand the walking and you're, and you're not like feeling pain, walking is very good for like, like, uh, calibrating the body, you know, but properly walking, like walking, you know, in, in good shoes, um, I like I like like a barefoot type uh, shoes when I walk. So like low, they don't really have like thick ass soles, and uh, you know my feet like my toes get to spread in in, in my sneakers. You know what I mean? Um, you don't got to get the toe shoes, but those are really good. Also, walking barefoot is good. Like if you can find a field, you know what I mean. Take your socks off, bro. Let the grass go in between your toes and go walking barefoot. Um, because I've never had two. I don't even know, man. I think I might I have a fucking herniated disc. I don't even know, man. But walking. I know has been helping me tremendously with that, but it can't get a little boring if you're not, if you're doing it just, you know, just by walking and only walking. So listen to a podcast. Um, I don't know. Watch a stream. You know what I mean? Try to have fun with it, but try to do it every day. Be consistent. <clears throat> the real question is what size shoe I got. A, I, I wear a size 14. Um, okay, so we, we got this. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I wonder if they're going to have like English oh, dub. Like, yeah. We'll, yeah, I mean, we'll see. We'll figure that out. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. All right, Baldur's Gate, that's already on the list. We already know that. Baldur's, boom, that's done. Uh, Terra Tech. Oh, we already have Terra Tech, guys. It's in the library. We own this game. Get pixel blocked in it. Get fucking pixel blocked in it. You can't make airplanes. JSM the first. Thank you, dude, for the four months. Oh, you do walk, Papa Grunt? Gets a little boring, right? That's good, though, man. Keep walking. Never stop walking. Also, you know what's really good, too? If you guys follow this dude, uh, Knees Over Toes guy, he has, like, a lot of research that he's been doing. Um, this is a guy who had, like, fucked up knees, and he, like, has super strong knees now. And he always talks about actually walking backwards. So, like, that's another way you can mix it up, too, Papa Grun. Like, walk forward for a little bit. And then maybe one block, walk backwards. But be careful, though, because it's a balance thing. You know what I mean? So just make sure you're not busting your ass. I don't know how coordinated you are. I imagine you're coordinated, though. Yo, with another 5 tier one gifted suit. Thank you, baby. I appreciate it. Guys, can I get some love in a goddamn? Dong Slayer. I see you, dude. I almost missed it, though, but I see the 57 months. Thank you, Pop. Yo, Pop and Grow with the 5 tier ones. S uh, JS. 
Thanks for the four months. Oh, my yeah. My boy Tomcat dropping another 500 bits. I appreciate you, dude. All right. Uh, okay, Terratech. So we've been had that one. Okay, last train home. Oh, Let's see. Uh, yeah. Last train home. Which one was this one? The Great War is over. The fight continues. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one looked pretty good. Oh, uh, yeah. Single player. This one actually might be kind of dope. Command a legion of soldiers desperately trying to make their way home the amidst war. the chaos of civil war. Lead them through All the unforgiving wilderness to on board home. an armored train. Manage your crew and resources and try to survive. That sounds pretty fucking dope. To the newborn Czechoslovakia. All right, what's next? We fought for. Hello, uh, Bloomtown. Brothers and sisters. Turn-based combat, monster training, and social RPG set in a seemingly pleasant 1960s American world. Join Emily and her group of friends to save their cozy town from a demonic creatures that live in the hearts of the residents. Slow keys. Bro, the way this, this the way this little girl walks up behind his demon and kicks him in the butt is fucking hilarious. See, these are the little demon things. But low key though. Jesus, the pixel block on. <laughs> Dope. Looks pretty good. Um, and then okay, dread, dread edge. Chad, what's the space uh, Submonica game? Is it is it Death Edge? Oh, Breath Edge. Yes. Loki, maybe, 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 maybe. Yo, Moon Tang, what is that? Yo, T Moon, thank you for the 47 months. Wait, your 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 workout is walking 10 hours a day? Oh, okay. Well, here's the thing. If so, this is something too. Like, I know some of us have the type of jobs that we can consider as working out, but it's still very good to actually do something specifically for the intention of working out. It's it's actually a good, like, uh, like mental thing to do. So, like, instead of just, like, using it, like, oh, I, I walk out. I don't know if that's what you do, bro, because it sounds, it sounds like I don't know if anyone really walks 10 hours a day for an exercise. It is work. Exactly. I figured that. So I would suggest that you a lot and you plan, like, 30 minutes at least of some type of exercise and because you got the back stuff like you're gonna have to like have a very specific catered workout because uh, you know you don't really want to be irritating or triggering more injury with those two herniated discs i don't even know what that's all about dude but it sounds painful um so maybe look into something like that yo bob and brad the fucking two most famous physical therapists on the internet dude i highly recommend those guys they have a whole bunch of little exercises and shit like that and you might find something that works for you and then do that you know what I mean? Only I'm, I'm only giving him advice, guys, because he asked. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to fucking tell you guys how to work out and shit like that. You know? Because when I see you guys all at TwitchCon 2072, I'm slamming all you. So it doesn't really matter. But uh, you know what I mean? We got to do what we got to do to stay healthy, guys. All right. Uh, moving forward. Where, where are we at? Oh, that was Breath Edge? I called it Dead Edge. I got to learn how to fucking. Okay, Sand looks pretty good. Sand? But they got no gameplay. Oh, look at this. They actually have some screenshots. Hold on.
I mean, low key. We still got to see it though. So it's a first person, first person view. But then you get these spider steam machine things. Interesting. Online PVP too? Hold on. Oh, my yeah. Somebody said that it was like, what was that game that we played, guys? That had low key, it had some promise. It was it was like these sand ships that we were building. Fuck. Started with an A, I think. Last Oasis. Yes. What's that game doing these days? Oh! Oh! We lost. We got 35 hours in that game. What's up, Darkest Fawn? Yo, Papa Girl with another gifter. Thank you, dude. Timu, thank you for that prime. 35 too many. We played it with Pace, though. That's my boy Pace, man. All right. Uh, Starfield was dope. Oh, Starfield, you're making fun of my spelling. Guys, stop. Oh, my God. Chat, don't look at my spelling. I know how to spell field. F I. Yeah, I just. Uh... I just write fast. That doesn't mean I know how to spell. <laughs> All right, 33 Immortals. We Oh, 33 Immortal. Well, do I got Starfield on here? I do. Guys, I'll fucking we'll do fucking we'll do uh uh spelling uh spelling quest with chat video game right now. We'll go into a fucking full-blown esports spelling bee competition with the whole chat right now. I'll destroy everybody. Don't fucking threaten me. 33 Immortals. Wait, why don't they have this game on here? <sighs> why don't they have 33 Immortals? Was it Immortals 33? We lost. Aged Immortals? We lost. Uh, Payday? Payday 3, get pixel blocked today? Get on pixel block it. Yeah, we'll do one of these. We already know about the flight simulator. We already minced that it did it, did it, had it that one. Uh Sanua's. Hellblade 2. Do one of those numbers. Goddess. Oh no, no, no. I'm bugging. Jasant. Yo, there's a little free demo for Jassant, isn't there? Well, well, well. Cyberpunk, we rate. Well, is that going to be a different, though? Oh, okay. They're going to. Oh, it's it's DLC for $29.99. Sure. Because chat told me to. Okay. Next up, we got Towerborn. This look lit. Little Castle Crashers vibes. Uh, then we got oh, yeah. Clockwork Revolution. And then F Fable will not be on here, right? Fuck. No, that's going to be on something else. That's going to be on like the fucking uh, Xbox Marketplace or whatever. South of Midnight. Even though we don't have any gameplay. South of Midnight is a new action adventure from the com from the Compulsion Games. Explore the mythos and confront mysterious creatures of the deep south in this modern folktale while learning the weave while learning to weave an ancient power to surmount obstacles and face the pain haunting your hometown. Oh, this is from the creators of the uh, the creators of Contrast and We Happy Few. How did that game end up turning out? We Happy Few. Bro, we dropped 60 on this game? We fucking lost. Mostly positive. You gotta watch. Okay, now this was for Grim Reefs. He asked me about Fate games. Fate. Ah, these. Okay, they look familiar. 2005, we fucking definitely. Hold on. Let me see that fucking advertisement. What is that? Bro. First of all, 
Nice fucking try, number one. But look at this shit. This game is rated E10. Like, who fucking drew this shit up? This looks like fucking Killer Kali's, uh thumbnails from 2007. Wild tangent. Since oh, oldest yeah. living memory, the dungeon gate has stood in the heart of the old wood. The town of Grove has ever been the safe haven at the... I mean, I respect it, but you know what I mean? I don't know if I got that much nostalgia. E10, these nuts. Zero flow with the big boy 300 biddies. Thank you, Pop. All right, and I think we are caught up with all of that. So that's everything that we got, guys. It's everything that we got today, dude. Black Skylands, Punch Club, Fast Forward, Frostpunk 2, Navalis, Jump Light Odyssey, War, Warhaven, maybe. Uh, Dwarf RTS, Sulphur, Lords of the Fallen, Dread, uh, Dead Pirates, was it? I forgot, one of those. Uh, oh, no, Dead Dread Pilots, or it's either Dead Pilots or Dread Pilots. The Invincible, Diesel Legacy, Parcel Corp, Shadows Gambit, EXO Rally Championship, Stormgate, Fortunes Run, uh, Baldur's Gate, Terror Tech, Last Train Home, Bloomtown, Dread, Sand. Yeah, it's everything. I'm pretty sure that's everything. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, cool. Done. So I don't need to save that. That shit is done, and it's all on the wish list. And now, we still have less than we once did, guys. We still have less than we once did. In my opinion, that is good. We used to have like 600-something. And then we just started cleaning. I like to look at this. Bro, that is, that's great. Do they also show... It'd be cool if they showed that they had like a demo like right here. So sick. Dread pilots. I'm on observation duty five. Check out a video get a video of Shadowgate NES. Okay. Are we, are we, you taking me back to the Nintendo Entertainment System, Papa Grunt? You know, you know, let me see. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not the throwbacks. Oh, this is like a point and click adventure game. This game is fire. How many of you guys have played this game? How old is this game? You bought this game on a Game Boy based on the cover art? Oh, dude, I used to do that all. No, bro, I used to fucking. I initially, I bought a game. I, I I remember buying a game for my Game Boy based off the cover art. It was like a box game. It was a dude moving boxes. And then I evolved and I started looking at the back of the box. But I've done that. Mortis. I mean, I can recognize. I can recognize. All right. Uh, what are we going to do, though? We are seven hours deep into the fucking bonding experience. Negate! With the big boy, 29 schmutz. Negate, we were just talking about you, bro. We appreciate the big boy, 29. Thank you, dude. Yo, nonchalant, MIG, think of the 24 months. Where's my, where's my coffee? Mm-hmm. Oh, yo, Moontang, what was that link you were trying to post in the chat? Let me see. Let me check your chat logs real quick. Wario64, did, did I see this yet? Um, Starfield will run 4K 30 FPS on Xbox Series. X, 140p 30 FPS on Xbox Series. Uh, we do lock it at 30 because we want that fidelity... We want all that stuff. We don't want to sacrifice. <clears throat> 
So that was a link to uh, news that Starfield is going to be locked at 30 FPS. Okay, but they're talking about fidelity. Now, they are saying that this is what it's going to be like for the Xbox, for the Xbox Series X and then the Xbox Series S. Dude. I guess we'll have to wait and see what it's going to be like for um for uh the PC version. We we will find out, I'm sure. 